Good evening and welcome. So there's this new little uh, indie game that uh, comes out with an expansion today. Well, not actually today. It's in a week's time and uh, I've been granted access. So I think we'll uh, have a little first look at this game. It's called Factor IO or something like that. And there's a space, space exploration, oh, I mean space age expansion coming out and uh, we're going to try that out. So that's going to be super exciting. I hope you want to join me. <laughs> never heard of it. Exactly. Never heard of it. Yeah. <clears throat> Factor.io. Yes. <laughs> it's a, I don't know. I don't think I even noticed the name when I like, it's just factory. Factory IO. Oh, now I get it. So it is done. We were good play already yeah so it means the devs yeah um i don't know i think that okay so first plan for today we are going to be streaming until midnight potentially an hour if there is a little train um so th there might be trains it's factorio there are trains in factorio and <clears throat> we will be the first two hours we'll stay on elvis and then we will launch at <clears throat> eight o'clock which is the normal stream start time the reason why i do that is because i decided I've been sort of going back and forth whether I should start early or not. <clears throat> and I decided to start early, but then there were some people, core members of the community, who were like, oh no, then I'm gonna miss the first part. Oh, that's so sad. And I was like, you know, I totally understand that. If you're really looking looking forward to it, then it sucks that you're gonna miss the first two hours. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sort of slowly ease into it and just take a look at all the interesting things and you guys can ask questions about, oh, what about this mechanic? Or what about this? Or uh, how does this work? Or I noticed something on the stream that could you just, or on the video, because you watch the video, of course. And then we can sort of dive into that and look at uh, quality a little bit. You can't really look at much in terms of quality. We can look at um, uh, what else? Uh, Elevated trains, logistics groups, the train interrupts, and I think the train interrupts are really interesting as well. Something that we can dive into a lot, and then sort of just just hang out and have a good time. The whole map view, remote view, how that works, how awesome it is, and then it's uh, it, it will just will launch the rocket at eight o'clock, and then we have four hours to just sort of roam around and get to space and explore some of the new stuff. Okay, so there was a few... I don't get... Uh, okay, thank you, Bulky, for the seven months. And Toddy, thank you for the 45 months. And Dead Monkey, thank you for the 22 months. Hey, Sephiroth Hash, thank you for the five bits. Triggering an early train. And there was also someone who... Oh, Ibosit, thank you for the 12 months. While I was in countdown. It's a 404, thank you for the 18 months. And Hundeth with 68 months. Ooh, 68 months, that's quite a while. Quite a while. And us... Uh, I think it is the splash screen too loud or is it maybe it's okay uh, I think it was 22 months no sleep from yesterday maybe 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 uh, is there a new tutorial in the space age <laughs> I am the tutorial isn't it but uh, thank you mm, there are new tips and they're actually not bad they are not really tutorial as in build five of these and then trigger and then complete it and like, okay now build seven of these so 
Ah, uh, Gareth, what are you doing here? Hello, thank you for the 1000 bits. I thought you promised yourself not to watch the video and then you commented on something on the video and then you said you were not going to watch the stream, but now you're here. And I am not going to, I am going to call you out, but in a loving way. I'm so happy to see you and I did say I'll see you on Monday. <laughs> So good for you, of you to join in. Kupwa, thank you for the tier 2 for 44 months. Wow, there's a lot of people who saved up their subs for today. Is there a way to send from one platform, platform to another? No, I don't think so. I also thought like you could sort of, they would dock together or something like that, but that's not how it works. They go from planet to planet and there's not really any sense of space in space. You're just in orbit over this planet or in transit or in orbit over another planet. And when you're sort of in orbit over, over the same planet, you can't interact. You can send things down, you can send some stuff up, but not across. Woo! Okay, uh, I can't even keep up with. Ah, uh, let's. Uh, yeah, that was. Uh, which one? That's a million we missed. Hoi hoi, thank you for the 31 months. And Noxus, thank you for 33 months. I think we're going to be spending the first. a little bit of the first part of the hour just on uh, on people who've been saving up the subs and didn't want to waste, waste them in the last week or so or two weeks. Just been uh, throwing them in here. And Noxus, thank you for the 33 months of Prime. And. Elathios, thank you for the prime. I'll learn it when you get to uh, 30 months, then I get your name correct. And Akira, thank you for the 36 months, three years. And Berothios with two years with prime. And doing the pack gift subs, yes. Apparently, I hope you don't get in trouble with your bank for gifting subs the day before your payday. And the Rayman, thank you for 60 months and. Is the infected? A new subscriber arrives. ST Infected. Thank you for the Prime. And again, I'll I'll learn it. <laughs> Eldarex, thank you for 33 months. And Sitka Zero, thank you for the Prime. Welcome, gather. everyone. More and then Neutral Hatred. The thank you. Dropping 25 glorious gift subs. That is super nice. And DNKTRL with a five months of, of subscription, welcome. welcome hey, Belf, thank you for five Step gift subs. And Secret, thank you for 10 gift subs. Woo, I'm almost there. Almost there. I got a good 200 bits. Thank you and welcome. And Shospea with the 25 months and a space. Proliferate. Okay, I guess our views are sort of uh, rocketing, skyrocketing a little bit here. Welcome, everyone. And uh, we're just uh, trudging through a glorious train. We're all, almost at level four already. More shall enter <laughs> and break. Wayne June is getting a hell of a lot of work today. Yeah, securing that bonus hour early. Yes, that, that's that's a good idea. Good idea. A kind gesture. And Jay Bradders, thank you for five months. And Master MSC, thank you for 300 bits. And Noodle Guitar, thank you for three months. Oh, and Swimmer, oh, it must have been rough for you. Sitting on on your uh, on your hands, not gifting the subs for the last I don't know, couple of weeks or so, trying to save them for <laughs> for Factorio, but you weren't quite successful in in not gifting subs. But finally, you can you are unleashing. Thank you for five gift subs. And Lorenzo Lewis, good to see you, and thank you for the 55 months. And Jonathan, thank you for the prime and welcome. Slug magic. I mean, this is gonna stop at some point. So we when we get to level five, it always just tapers off which is totally fine and then we can jump into the game uh i also want to say that you're welcome to ask all sorts of questions about the game but with a lot of people here and a lot of welcome events back. going on i'm probably going to miss it so let's uh let's, 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 bear with me um slug magic thank you for 34 months and dead monkeys thank you for five gifts i got all the way to the end of the event list faster than Wayne june When will you start with the new series on YouTube for Factorio? Uh, four hours ago. Our illustrious yeah. <laughs> hey, Casanier, thank you for the gift sub. <laughs> four hours ago, you can do the new vid command. Or I can do the new vid command. There we go. That is the already there. So, yes, indeed. I'm sure if it's a general non-space, but... This vision chat. Oh yes. 
I'll <laughs> watch it now. No, don't go away. It, we're going to be doing the same thing uh, that, as I did in that video, but of course it's a little more crisp in that uh, video. I actually kind of interested in what you thought about the intro because it was really difficult for me to... Um, is today uh, Le Space Age? It is Le Space Age gameplay, indeed. <laughs> is the game worth getting? I don't know. I got it for free, so I don't know if it's worth it. I enjoy you getting frustrated. I, I don't know. Did anyone notice that during my, my my rapid section cut that I also included me running into a power pole? Because it wouldn't have been the same if I didn't run into a power pole. Is it released? No. It's releasing in one week's time. But me as a faithful, loyal content creator has uh, been granted access a week in advance. Like other content creators and mod makers as well. You even decided yes. I was like... I'll cut it out. And I was like, nah, let's leave it in. <laughs> We're leaving it in as five second clips. So, hey, Corinna, thank you for the 65 months. All right, so we are two minutes uh, left of this hype train. And uh, the, just for everyone, if, in case you don't know, then we have this rule around here that if we get to level five, then I will add an extra bonus hour to the end of the stream. So it is a way for us to, for me to reward. Basically, you're paying for overtime. That's kind of a different way of looking at it. Balmaster, thank you for 30, uh, 46 months. Good to see you. So if uh, you want to see an extra hour of uh, factorial content today, then uh, let's uh, get it to level 5 and then sit there. Thank you, Swammer, for another 5 gift subs. And don't wait until the last second because, well, that's not working. And Drizzle, thank you for the tier 2 for 41 months. Okay, so 43%. Okay, so Marky Bear, I'm gonna focus on the chat. You guys focus on the hype train. Then we'll see. Uh, I watched your entire Fans Factory 1.0 playthrough on YouTube. I thought it was absolutely amazing and inspired me to start a Mega Bus game myself. Thank you for your amazing content. And now move to Victoria. <laughs> That'll be. I'll, I'll probably get inspired with too. Thank you and welcome. First, uh, no, there's not a first time chat. As I mentioned. All right, we are down to the last seconds. Can we get it? Hail Nob, thank you for the prime. Welcome. 25 subs missing. Sujin, thank you for five gift subs. And Belf, also thank you for five gift subs. And Luras, thank you for the Prime for three months. Oh no, we can make it. It's so close. It's so way too close. Way too close. I don't know. That must be hard to pronounce. And thank you for the five gift subs. And retired Navy vet, also with five, five gift subs. And Zephyr, thank you for three hundred bits. And Shakespeare, thank you for five gift subs. And Memstick with the ten gift subs. There we go. It rolled over. Amazing. Woo! That would have been crazy if we didn't uh, get that here. Thank you for 200 bits. Um, dead monkeys. Got it. All right. So now, <laughs> 24 hour stream for level six. Well, I've actually already updated the hype thing so that level six will just be one more hour and Tales other things will just cumulative, cumulative add more hours. But, you know, it's. It usually gets to level five and then everyone's happy and then go, like, yay! And then we'll. You, Oh, I got glory. Then collectively be like, yeah, let's let's get into uh, let's get into the game. Discordia, thank you for the prime and for nine, uh, thirteen months. And DSM, thank you for three years. Sweet. Of our endeavors proliferate. Wait, how many hours was the base level? Don't know what that means. Base level. I remember the dark fog. Yeah, I remember the dark fog. That was crazy. That was More really crazy. Gather. More but you know. Enter the fray. Oh right, uh, the base level. Ah, <laughs> Nilo streams are usually hours. Well, that was not very helpful, Gareth. That was not very helpful. <laughs> I usually stream four hours, but today it's going to be six hours, and uh, now it's going to be five hours because we uh, six six plus one is not five. It's seven. Seven hours. So it's going to be until one a.m. Seven hours from now. And Vividias, thank you for the three months. And Trophy with the 200 bits, also getting a train to uh, to the hype train. Right, so there was this question. Uh, is it possible you played Space Age mod? There's no Space Age mod, there's Space Exploration mod. And we, oh my god. You don't need to save characters. You can write out Y-O-U and compare it to Mod Soul Dizzy. Yes. Uh, the mod is really fucking annoying, the um, <laughs> and really tedious and grindy and tiring and frustrating. Uh, the base game, the DLC, is fucking amazing. It is absolutely glorious. It is, 
it is so much better than I'd hoped for. And I, I had really high hopes for the DLC and everything I've seen, like when I saw it, played it the first time a month ago at the event, I was blown away by how much depth and how much content there is. It's, it's basically like there's five times as much content in the DLC as there is in the base game. Not really fair, but there's so many more ways to do designs that you have to figure out. And it's just, it is absolutely glorious. But there were some things that were convoluted and weird and strange and annoying and all that stuff. Um, but they've all been fixed and playing it now, just, it's so smooth. Like the transition from, from just launching the first rocket was really convoluted. <laughs> it was so weird. And... They, they fixed it over the last month and now it's streamlined and it makes sense and it's just intuitive. At least I think so. Maybe it's because I know how to do it, but it was, it, it just got a lot better. So, so that's, uh, that's, yeah, I think that's uh, a lot better. But yeah, the general idea is of course the same and the fact that Arendelle is a part of the core team, uh, the development team also means that a lot of the experience he has pulled back into the development team, such as how important it is that the remote view works so you can work on another planet that you're on, which is really difficult and really frustrating in space exploration, but it's really easy and natural in the DLC. So I think that's a massive, massive changes. Kamastrak, thank you for the 22 months, getting closer to the two years. Oh yes. Highburn, thank you for the two months, 14 months, two months in a row. Early start, woo, thank you, Jamjo, welcome for the well, uh, thank you for the 25 months and Halter. Thank you for the prime. Welcome. Welcome everyone. So if you're new around here, then uh, I also have a YouTube channel that I uh, frequently uh, make. I can make tutorials, make let's plays, guides, showcases, that kind of thing. Uh, primarily for factory games. G Wolf, More thank you for the 10 the gift subs. Absolutely amazing. And then I think we're, they have the love the master guys. Yeah, the master guys were really fun. I remember. I'm, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be a little bit uh, reminiscent today, and with a, a little, a few trips down memory lane. So, yeah, the master classes. I was thinking about making this, and I talked to the moderators about it, and it was. I was like, ah, but it just feels like it's too late. It feels like something I should have done when the game was new, and. Moderators were like, yeah, just, just go ahead and do it. And it was absolutely amazing. So, thank you very much for the Hype Train Level 5. Hype Train, congrats to the conductors. Garrett with the 1,000 bits and Neutral Hater with 25 subs. Absolutely amazing. Thank you, everyone, for joining. Yeah, so I thought it was too late. And it was not too late. It was, it, it worked perfectly. I also remember recording Vanilla Done Right, which was my first my breakthrough series, I think. I would call that Darth Bebo. Thank you for the prime. Welcome. Um, I remember it. It was like the kids were just sent on summer vacation with their mom. I had planned that on the weekend, I would just sit down Friday and I would just record all weekend and recorded 22 episodes during one weekend for this. And then I just started uploading them daily basis and during the summer vacation because i was i was going away so it was like yeah then we we have something there and it was just that turned out to like be my most popular series so cybercraft thank you for the tier three for five months yeah vanilla done right yes indeed uh, and it's 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 not a guide to your sex life vanilla done right it, it, that's not that it is not could be but um, is not Right, uh, so, got myself sidetracked on that one. Uh, yeah, I don't, re I, I recall some of my first, like, some of my first experiences with Factorio was Bob's mods, because I played it once, and then I remember going to, I played, I played Factorio once, and I loved it. And then, I was like, hmm, what do you do after you're done with it? Sora Vices, thank you for the uh, for the tier one. And then I went to Reddit and I was like, what am I going to do now that I have get, completed the game? And people were like, oh, play Bob's mods. Angel's mod wasn't there at the time. Um, and then I started playing Bob's mods and made a, <laughs> made a, my first, my first video was released on 
26th of August 2016. Factorio, a fresh start. Bob's mods. Yep. Uh, are changing any settings for this one? Nope. All right, let's let's jump into this, the um, into the game. <gasps> Yay, we're here! All right, look at it. This says Space Age, and uh, so we can of course play a new game from the beginning. <laughs> looks like oh, it looks like the moth from uh, Satisfactory. <laughs> uh, but. I actually want to. Oh, I forgot. I I I am hiding this, this chat. That's not a good idea. There. I remember the first start one. Wow, it's been a while. Yeah, is it annoying with a vehicle snap and squeak through? I kind of got used to it. Just told my partner this. <laughs> this is the man for Victoria. Invented new ways to play the game. Yeah, that's actually really funny because. Oops. I just. Ah. Uh, I think the light is still there. Um, I saw a, a post recently because I haven't been active in the Factorio community, so I kind of sort of fallen out of, of people's sort of presence of mind in terms of, uh, of content creators because I haven't done much lately. And then I saw someone like, oh, uh, what, what should I do or how should I build my base or something like that. And then Everyone was like, oh, a main bus, or no, and uh, someone like, what is an alternative to building a main bus? Which, you know, I did certainly not invent, but I certainly helped popularize it. Um, and then people were like, oh, do a city block base, and no one mentioned my name. It was just city blocks as the way to do it. And I know 100% sure that I invented the concept of city blocks in Factorio, and branded it as city blocks, and is... Um, it's so cool to see that something that I sort of, it's a little baby I send out in the world and it's all grown up now. And now it's just a, a thing that we all know and, and love and, and call the dad. I love that. It's like, if you know StarCraft, then an Atosis pylon. Maybe even though uh, Atosis is not particularly happy by the idea of an Atosis pylon. <laughs> Should have called him uh, Neos Black. No, I felt, I felt that as a... As a fledgling YouTuber with uh, with barely a thousand uh, subscribers, I felt that might be a little bit, little bit uh, self-centered. That's like an the the Euler effect. You're saying the Hoover effect, but the Euler effect, like everything, is an Euler constant and Euler thing because it just summarizes so many other things and similar time. What was that? No. Oh. Yep. Is the official date the twenty first? Yes. Or is it an early copy? This is an early copy. So this is a uh, yeah, All right. Let's uh, let's just at least go in here and just see what uh, what settings like. What we're playing is um, let me just find the settings that we're playing with because I put that in the description because of course I did. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. Uh, exit. Okay, so. There. Another loyal devotee. There you go. Another loyal devotee. Um. Yeah. So now it, it indicates what these are. Like for example, stone can spawn on Navis and Gleba, or Gleba, Gleba, and coal on Navis and Volcanus. Crude oil on Navis and Aquila. Uranium ore only on Navis, and then tungsten is only on Volcanus, Scrap is only on Volcora, Florin and Lithium is only on Aquilo. And you can see the only thing that spawns on Gleba is actually stone. And the terrain, starting area moisture, Volcanus Volcanism. <laughs> All right, <laughs> I didn't know, I don't know what that is. Does it say anything? It's 100% Volcanism. Gleba water, Gleba plants, Volcora islands, cliffs, Gleba Cliffs, Fogora Cliffs. Oh, really? That has been split out. Oh, why is there no... Uh, well, that may be on the volcanism. Enemies? What about the other planets? Why do they not have anything? And that's... So we're playing with everything on basic mode here. 
Uh, change the volcanism. We have a big plateau here with coal and then some sulfur out there. That's a good point about the volcanism. Hmm? I can't see the difference. From the minimum. This. Oh, this is scale. Illustrious champion returns. Welcome Big blobs. Home. Small blobs. Okay, so it's not everything that changes. Like all of this is exactly the same, but it it's these blobs are big blobs. Small blobs. Doesn't seem like a lot of things change. Weird. The lava lakes, yeah. Anyway, so we got tungsten and stuff like that. Anyway, uh what I want to do and uh is I want to load this one, the pre-launch. So I'd actually like to get your idea uh, or your uh, your feedback on the start of my YouTube video today. So I've been I've been playing, of course, like 34 hours. I think how much we can see here, the 37 hours on this playthrough. And I was like, how am I gonna? Am I just gonna dump us into the save? But there was like, I also need to talk a lot. So I was like, okay, can I just talk and then have the base sort of be built in the meantime, just from all of these saves? And then I calculated that I had 33 saves and I needed eight seconds of cut for each save. And then trying to tell the story of the base getting built with eight second, second clips. Um, and then, and then I was like, I don't know if it gets too frantic. It feels like a TikTok video or if it actually makes sense. Came out great. Thank you. Bit rushed, rush overview of the base would have been nice. Uh, yeah, I also thought like, so should I do an overview of the base? But it's like the, the other side of it is that people are not coming there to watch a vanilla base, coming there to see some new stuff. So I wanted to sort of get into the new stuff as fast as possible. Uh, bit too fast here in stream. You talk much slower, much better. Thank you. I think it's a. Um, mm, Yeah, I don't know. Um, I, I sometimes feel I talk too slowly on YouTube. And that's probably because YouTube is really high paced while uh, Twitch is more slower, contemplative. So it is a little bit deliberate that I'm more to the point and sort of more uh, continuous flow. Plus I'm, ex I'm excited, of course. I watch it 2x speed. Well, maybe that's the reason. <laughs> Too slowly on Twitch when I watch VODs, it's usually at 175 speed. Okay, well, yeah. I, I also watch things at 125 speed, not 175. Ugh. Slower than too quickly, plus it gets more accessible for non-English speaker. That is totally correct. On the other hand, there's also people who will lose uh, lose patience. And it's it's a hard balance. You can never get to somewhere thing that is, is perfect for everyone. And I kind of... Yeah. What is your channel record for viewers? I can't remember. We set it on, we said, oh, we set it for factorial, uh, for satisfactory, I think. That was, uh, I can't remember. Maybe a mod can remember. It was 3000 something, I think. That was the, it was, it was for satisfactory launch. Uh, which was also my previous record was also from, uh, uh, was also from, my previous record for viewers was 1917 was on the launch day of satisfactory early access and then the next five and a half years i didn't break that record and then i broke it again with satisfactory record the satisfactory so yeah we'll see i think talk on youtube has gotten a bit too fast but i can still keep up so uh, thank you i mean thank you Marlon, and i do appreciate the feedback because a lot of things will be there's a lot of you can't use youtube as very good feedback let's just jump into this game uh, because it is, um, because it's not representative. It's usually people who have like radical opinions, like people who really love it or really hate it. So if I, if I gave a questionnaire of a one to five, I would only get ones and fives. The ones that were super unhappy and the ones that were super happy. And people who were like, oh, that's good, that's nice, uh, wouldn't bother to sort of write a comment and feedback. No one <laughs> writes a comment and go like, that was a pretty okay episode. That was very very much middle of the pack pretty good so 
uh, make your videos of Twitch so much better. I feel more relaxed and emerge with the content. Thank you. And uh, I also missed Unitus. Thank you for the seven months. And then uh, Lux. Thank you for the Prime. Welcome. Right. So we're going to start with this base. This is something that if you are familiar with my designs should be very familiar. I'm using the base in a book design and it's pretty much the standardized base. It is only up to red belts. And then on top of that, I built a loop around it with the trains. And you can see that I had to sort of cut around because there are just way too many cliffs here and a lot of annoying cliffs, cliffs everywhere. Man, they're annoying. But I, I did select the save quite carefully. I looked at the save and then I was like, okay, uh, can I find a space that like the core of my base is pretty much sort of staying clear of the worst part of, uh, of, of, uh, of the, well, the, what's called of the cliffs here, right? So that's, um, it, it was not just a completely random save. It was a save that um, had lots of water because then I thought I could always expand out there or, and it also had uh, a, a big area where we could build without uh, getting into conflict with too many cliffs. So, yes. And do, 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 do. you speak fast, but I'm French, so it doesn't count, I think. I don't know. I don't speak fast in French. Have binders been a problem at all? In the beginning, a little bit when I, well, when I build at the start, when I get to like start building this one and this one for my first iron smelting and copper smelting, they're way too far apart. And then start building my hub and my first green. Like that means I have this big of a base, like blueprint or, or base, uh, baseline size, but I don't protect it. So I have to go out and push out biders all the way over here and all the way up here and over here as well. And then just pretty strategic turrets here and there. It's only sort of, when I get the base up and running a little bit that I started making this wall and then sort of a wall. I think the first wall was here and then I pushed it out to maybe here and then I pushed it all the way out here. Uh, once you have robots, it gets a lot easier. Everything is robotized here. So we are not going to launch any rockets until eight o'clock, but I mean, time is progressing fast anyway. And that's because I want to make sure that the people who are just joining for the, um, uh, yeah, people who are joining at the regular time won't miss like the big part of it, like going to space for the first time. So we have the space and do we have a number of things? Oh, uh, I think there was a problem with this here. Good. So let's look at some of the stuff that's new and, uh, yeah, let's go into it. Let's start looking at this space part. For the first one, I want you, I want you to go no biters to just figure everything out. You want me to do that? I, I'm not going to do that, because that, that would be silly. You're welcome to do that, and you can definitely do that. Yes. Uh, can you only start the DLC if you finish the base game? No, it is. Um, it it's the, it's kind of like World of Warcraft, if you know, so that. The game engine has been updated and there are a lot of new features in the base game, like this part here, like logistics group, which is part of the base game. The stuff that you can't join in is here. There's elevated rails. You don't get that quality. You don't get that. And space age, which is anything that goes beyond launching a rocket. You don't get that. It's like World of Warcraft. Yeah. In the sense that the engine gets updated and you get a lot of the core features but you don't get access to the new expansion area. Can you blueprint those logistics group? Nope. Um, we do other cool things with them. So that's kind of something that stays in the game. And when I sort of add another one here, it's a little weird. Like you go in to change the group and then you can either write it, then it becomes the name of it. Or if you select one, then it, it goes in. And this is, That's funny how this Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. So construction. So there, this zero means that there are zero places it's used. So kill it. Belts. Why do I have one that's called belts that? Oh, mm, uh, because the one I have now is called belts and inserters. 
So the one that's called belts alone and just delete that. And rocket. So we just select it and then we request the rocket. But the idea is that you can, for example, say, I'm not going to work on trains. So we disable trains and then I have this one trash unrequested. Then it just completely just removes everything. And if I want it back, then I just bring it in like this. Where are the RCUs for the rocket? Are they gone? Yes, RCUs are completely gone. Gone are uh, they are. And we now instead have uh, have this. This is blue circuits and low density structures and rocket fuel. Hey, Fennec, thank you for the 30 months. And Trainol, thank you for the three months. Good to build sinks into your build for surplus. Uh, are the new achievements? I don't know. I don't care about uh, achievements, so I don't even know. But this one is a achievement enabled uh, save and it's also available to patrons. So if you want to just on the 21st want to get started and immediately be able to launch a rocket so you get started, then you can load this this big, this base if you are a patron supporter, of course. And I, I guess you all are, right? All of you are. So, um, brown stuff. Oh, this is, uh, this is landfill. It's just changed and it's super expensive, right? But this part also here, rocket part. I want to alt, holding alt and then clicking on something up to open Factorpedia, and I would highly recommend using that. That is, it's actually really useful. Okay, not in terms of the rocket parts, but usually it's it's uh, it's useful. Oh yeah, there was this part about the debug. Let's actually remove that debug and tooltips. There we go. Thank you, Gareth. And let's try this one. Yeah, no debug and tooltips anymore. So we got. Like the ingredients, where it's crafted, what it's used in, which is really nice with all these uh, these changes here, with all the weird things like oh, copper bacteria, like what the hell is a copper bacteria? And you use, you look at it and go like, okay, so it's used in a copper bacteria cultivation. Okay, so you get copper bacteria and the output is copper bacteria. I don't get it. Like it just loops back and becomes more copper bacteria. What's the point? The point is that it spoils in one minute and becomes copper ore. Ah, so you have to wait until it spoils and then it degrades into copper ore. So that's how the only way to get iron and copper on Gleba. So many quality lime mods deprecated by, um, by Space Age. There's a lot of things that are really just pulled into the base game. Really, really nice. Jelly to lubricant. Those are all the Gleba stuff here. Right. But that's, I would highly recommend using that. And uh, I know that Kovarex would also highly recommend everyone using this. He got really annoyed with, when uh, when people were not really using it for anything. Uh, it's not using it like, how can we make, force people to use it? Like, well, pfft. yeah. Uh, let's talk a little bit about quality. Let's actually research quality, might as well. I've also not. And this uh, is advanced combinator. Yes, please. And then steel plate productivity is insanely awesome this is 10 percent steel plate productivity for just productivity science this is so good so yeah um it's good right let's start building something i'm gonna build the stuff that we also built for the youtube episode because uh the first thing we want to do is we want to get ready for the launch and the, that will be, we, we're going to start making a RoboHop up here. Ah, let's see. So we have this category. We want rocket silos. Uh, we don't have logistics right now. That's also important. Logistics is now hidden behind space science. So none of that yet. This is a cargo loading bay, which we'll get back to. And we'll also get a, a starter pack. And this one will be liked into connected. Oh yeah, by the way, um, I want to make a video of things that are new, new mechanics, obviously. And I've, I've actually played it so much now that I can't remember what is new and what is not new. So if you see something that is like, oh damn, this is new and cool, then let me know because then I'm, I have a little Excel sheet or a little document that I will compile and update so that I can keep up with new stuff, right? <clears throat> I 
Are you going to show is the super secret way Cobrax added to turn blue into the secret? Cement Cat. Yes, it was actually Boskit who did it. Or Boskit or whatever the name is. Um, you want me to show you the coolest thing yet? It is It is so ridiculously cool. It, it's not as uh, evident right now. Uh, I think that the best example is... Yeah, okay. Let, let me show that. Cement Cat, for you. Just for you, so everyone else close their eyes. We all know that you want to build a new something. This could be a new base on a new planet, uh, or it could be you want to build a new nuclear power plant. And you want to build it somewhere that you don't have rockets. So, peak viewers was 3128. You just beat it. Oh, thank you, Jamjaw. Appreciate it. Yay. Welcome, everyone. Hello, simple code runner seemed to miss the party. Well, the party is just getting started. This is just a warm up. Right, so we have this blueprint and then, whoops. Then we're always looking, I go like, okay, 308 heat pipes. Then go in and you go, 308, 308. And then it takes a while, uh, but you can take it. Mind is blown. This is insane. I don't want it all of that. And it's not documented anywhere. So it's only you 3000 plus me who know that. And I think that you want to build a new spaceship. You want to go to another planet and you need some stuff. Or you are building an outpost. Let's say you have an outpost that you sort of have blueprints. And then you're like, ah, oh, okay. But how many trains and stations and rails and all that stuff? Then you just... Take your blueprint, shove it in there, and it's now as a group. This, this is my argument why I can see that the developers are, first of all, they're playing the game, and they have the sort of right to check in whenever the hell they want, pretty much. Like, this is one of the things I've been harping on with, with the Satisfactory compared to, to Victoria. Like, this is a case where, where a developer will found this and go like, ah, oh, this would be a good idea, and then just build it instead of just going through committees and all that stuff to fix the fact that X X should not mean save and close. It should just mean close. And and this is the kind of thing where you really feel the polish in, in Factorio. And, and it's just, like, it's clear that if there's something that's frustrating and not working I mean, or that they, then the developers can go like, oh, it let me just fix that. It's so cool. I, I'm not going to hate on Satisfactory because I really love Satisfactory, but I think that it it the development model is quite evidently different from Factorio. And I love the Factorio way. I think that this is something that you should do if you are a, what I did when I was managing um, a team of developers. I gave them as much freedom as possible because they know the product better than, than I do. And they, they know what's working and what's not working and to a very high degree and it also just feels a lot better when you feel you have control of the product you're building instead of you built someone else's product so yeah and there was a bit flip thank you for the prime welcome and lenny thank you for the seven months and peter Chia, thank you no, P, no that's not peter Chia, that was pure thank you for your new subscription and center Chu, thank you for the 60 months oh just a little flurry of uh, subs there steal yourself we are building an army. But also keep out to save on. Yeah, I don't even know. I think I've disabled that a long time ago, but it's a good point. Our illustrious 15 minutes. Returns. We can do that. Welcome home. So. Gotta say the addition of the depot in such factory was huge. Absolutely. And we have not talked about trains yet. We better talk about anything. We talked about this amazing new feature of, uh, of adding that. Right, let me just uh, go through how this works. Um, so first of all, this is cheaper, but I can't even see how cheap it is because it doesn't say how many. Isn't that a little bit weird that it doesn't say how many you actually need? It used to be 100 crafts of 10 of each, but now it's one of each for my craft and i don't know if it's still 100 crafts or if it's less than 100 crafts um 
Rocket capacity 100. Where does it say rocket capacity 100? You have hmm. returned. It's 50? Yeah, I, I saw uh, uh, the Exterminator's video today and uh, it said that it was 50 and I was like, I have not noticed it. I don't think I noticed, but um, you're going to need a lot. Mouse over. Rocket parts, 50 or 50. Yeah, okay. So it actually got 20 times cheaper. Instead of 10 for each rocket part, you now need one for each part of rocket part. And then instead of 100, you need 50. So it's got a lot cheaper. Um, but you're going to need a lot to bring stuff to orbit. The way it works is you can put stuff in here. And then most uh, a lot of things are about a stack. Some things are half a stack you can transport. Uh, other things are five trains. Those are some very lightweight trains. I wonder what would we can't transfer a lot of. One. Huh. Wow. Centrifuges. Don't transfer those and <laughs> build them on site. That is a uh, heavy stuff. What about 10? Yeah. Okay. So a lot of things are about a, a stack size, but some things like uh, ammo is very low stack size because Covrex doesn't want us to send uh, ammo to space. He wants us to craft ammo in space. Uh, what are we space marines? Yes, it's Boltra ammo. <laughs> uh, okay, so this is the default way that you're not supposed to use. You're not supposed to, I think these are also very lightweight walls. Anyway, don't care. Um, you're not supposed to do this, but you can send up, manually fill it up and send it up here. And it, when you do that, then you can launch it if there was anywhere to launch it. In order for us to have something, we to, need to do this one, this function, which is a new starter space platform. And when we get that, we manually insert here and send it up. And that's sort of the anchor. You have to have one of those and you can only have one of those for each platform slash spaceship. So that's basically like the node that you build from. And therefore, you start launching that and then you create a new platform and then you use that and make your make it with thrusters and it's a spaceship and then or not, then it's just there. Then I can travel there myself, but then I have to clean up my inventory and no ammo as well. So you can't just fill up your inventory and jump out to another planet and start crafting. You have to go there naked. <gasps> Otherwise, you'd kind of be able to cheat your way to too much items here. So. Um, yeah, stuff like iron ore and stuff is uh, doesn't stack that high. I think that's just, yeah, I don't know. So basically this this is a requester. The way that you use it most of the time is using this one, which means that it will request stuff from the platform in orbit so that there is a, something in orbit which will request down from Nalvis, which means that it'll turn the rocket silo into a requester chest that request from Nalvis and then send it with a rocket ship up and then it's going to be in the platform. And then on the other side is the... These ones that we have to make. Uh, let's go grab some stuff. I'm going to be removing this. Going to need a lot of this. I think actually Afraid of the Dark is the mod I miss the most. Uh, and steel. You can also take this one out. Ah, uh, this one. Oh, need more concrete. Yeah, okay, so none of these are going to be made. I need more concrete and I need some of the Space Platform Foundation. The Space Platform Starter Pack, uh, this one is the cargo landing bay, is basically the opposite. It is a location on Nalvis or on a planet that will request from the orbit and then the orbit will send it down. Um, I don't know how to control if you have multiple spaceships, space platforms, uh, which one it comes from. I actually don't really remember or don't know, but we guess we'll find that, find out. Let's get this one built. There, let me get that one. How little it interacts with game mechanics. You could try changing the mod file where it says the version. Why would I do that? Oh, for afraid of the dark? No, I, I don't want to do that. I'm not playing with mods. We'll play it this way. We'll play it exactly as intended for the first playthrough, and then the second playthrough, and um, we'll be doing tons of other stuff, right? Just build tons of lights. Yeah, but they don't turn on. Like we have tons of lights, but they're not 
They're not turning on because it's not night time. Then we have to forcefully turn them on. Let's uh, put this uh, cargo landing bay up here. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, the, oh, right, this jumps in, in tiles of two, so it's like a train. That's why it's weird. Like, this is one above, and this is one below. Ah, I just, I can't, didn't quite get that. And, yeah. So this one, you can set up logistics groups so that you can request things from orbit. For example, you might uh, end up in a situation where you produce something on one planet and you want to distribute it, then you'll have, uh, on one planet, you'll send it upwards with rockets and you have a spaceship that flies it from one place to one planet to another planet and then you'll have it drop down and then it needs to be requested here from orbit so you pull it down, uh, down the gravity well. It doesn't cost anything to send stuff down, which is nice, and it doesn't cost much with these rockets to send stuff up. So you can basically just start working on uh, on on these logistics setup. Uh, I'm going to kill all of this because I don't want you there. And then I'm going to go over and build some something else. Yeah. Ah, this belt mechanic. I've never, never, never liked it. I tried to use it. I've decided that it's time for me to start using it, but yeah. There we go. Did you add built ghost on top of ghost landfill? Mm, you can build stuff here if you just hold shift, then it automatically places landfill below it. That's pretty neat. Uh, one thing that is not pretty neat though is this is now in map view. I know I'm just I understand it now, but damn, it was frustrating. Like, this is a map view. I tried deleting it. Usually, it's instant, but it's not instant anymore. You can see the progress bar. So, you have to do hold it down, and then it's instant while I hold it down. It takes some getting used to. And I was like, why? And that's uh, because a lot of work is being done in remote view. And they just found out that when you have a ghost base that's being built and then you work around in here then it was just too easy to accidentally delete something and i go like what did i delete you because it's instant delete previously so they changed it that's another thing you can just click on things and then it'll be commands there right i don't know how to not how, how do i there you go just do that Timing plan for rocket launch is in about an hour. Yes, that's true. Great. So let's kill this one and then build the build here. What we need to build is that one. Base platform. It uses a lot of steel, so this is might be where you need a lot of steel. Steel from. Oh yeah. Here's another thing that I that is also gonna take a lot of getting used to. Menu is still here. It used to be you just clicked it, but as soon as you research quality, you have an extra option down here. And therefore, when you click it, it doesn't close the menu. It stays up. So that's something that is now two clicks. Double click, or it is going in here and then clicking and then that one. Because you might want to create it in higher quality. And if it just disappeared when you clicked it, you couldn't add the quality. I don't like it. I think it should. I would rather have it like 99% of the time I'm going to craft things not quality. And that means 99% of the time my clicks are now one click to two clicks. That's inefficient. I'd much rather have that you have to change the, this and then you click here. Um, so that you'd sort of the rare cases when you want to change it, you have to change the, res, the, the rarity first. And then click the recipe. And then it would sort of, as soon as you click the recipe, it closes the menu. I'd much rather have that. But alas, that's not for me. Again, like you're used to just clicking and then they close. If you change the quality, that means it now wants to have copper plates inbound. 
uh, uncommon quality copper plates in order to uh, produce uncommon quality uh, copper cables in a normal one. Alternatively, you'd build some... Um, you would take the normal one, like the normal recipe, and then you'd put some quality module in, which would sort of increase the likelihood of generating higher quality items. This is the much more common way of doing it. Common, ha. And uh, let's get inbound, and let's get the outbound, and then we can go. Oh, no, in, in, and out, out, and power line, power line, and that one, and then no more flipping glip. It's now called horizontal and vertical, so that's easy. Let's see if I remember this part. Uh, that's inbound, inbound, and then outbound, outbound. Good. Might as well adjust it. Like. It's fine. Three, four, and five. Look at that. Like, that is so nice. And look at that. I don't have to attach the power poles to each other. I don't have to change the, make the belts connect. They actually just connect when you make blueprints right next to each other. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> look at that. What do you know? Something got messed up here. There you go. No one saw that. Let's get it just here so that it's ready nearby. And that will be... And then steel is coming in here, I guess. There, that's one. Uh, can't you get to play early? Yes. <laughs> I guess that question has to be answered a lot of times today. I feel so rusty with my uh, vectorial skills here. Our illustrious champion returns. Illustrious oh, champion. Oh. Thank you, Moon, for the tier three for 27 months. Thank you so much. Good to see you. And we get something more. And this one will be the last. There we go. And do we want to get another one of these? Yeah, sure. Let's do that. Got it. Is it working? Eh, kind of. It is. And Executor, thank you for the tier 2 for 52 months. Thank you so much. All right. And we got lights in here, but they're not turning on yet. I would, I really wish they would turn on at this gloominess level, because I think it's kind of gloomy. I'd like to have a little bit more light in the space, or maybe it's just my old eyes. Blueprint color change. What? Oh, oh, that's not what I wanted. Is this 2.0? Yes, it is. Any new music on the new planet? Yes. And there's actually a hidden thing which isn't hidden because you're going to see it. But the first time you land on the planet, the music is extra loud 
and there's a special hero's arrival music uh, that plays so when you land on the first time crank up the music and just uh, enjoy the soundscape it's a pretty cool idea so there we get 11 we need to get a little bit more we need to get 60 in order to make the starter pack we're not gonna launch it but we're gonna get started then we're gonna take a look at um, <coughs> uh, what is it trains do you leave the planet yet? No, Moon, we're waiting with that until uh, 8 o'clock, so the people who can only join at sort of the regular stream time will also get to see that. So we're doing a lot of preparations in uh, in advance, and then, uh, yeah, I guess we'll we'll do that at pretty close to, to, um, to 8 o'clock or after 8 o'clock. There we go. Now we can get one of these. I want to delete that. Yeah, still... About the time zones. Yeah, okay, so it's in one hour. Sorry, I should uh, be clearer about that. Um, let's see. This one we only get one... Yeah, when we send the starter pack to space. Item. Space platform starter pack. It's it's not a good name. It, it It's descriptive that it's a starter pack, that it only serves a specific purpose, but I don't like the idea of calling it a starter pack. Oh, I, I, this is bugging me why it does that. Because this is a copper train that somehow got entangled. And you just got to saw a little bit of the stuff here. So, we're going to put you in here. Our illustrious Start attack. Now we can make a new space platform. Welcome You're going to have to wait a little bit for that. Broda, thank you for the 20 months. What would you call it instead of a starter pack? I'm currently thinking about exactly what it's... That for the translation into German. Oh, okay. Uh... I don't know. It, the thing is, like, Starter Pack actually describes it really well, that it only serves a purpose to start it. But you could also, like, it could also be something like a Nexus or Command Post or something, so that it, it would, not for translation-wise, but for sort of the name that, like, it seems weird that, oh, let's build a spaceship. Yes, let's build a Starter Pack. Like, ugh, Starter Pack. It's, starter Pack is, a, like, a Reddit post for, uh, for, for weird things, like... You're a kid of the 80s uh, starter pack or that kind of thing, but yeah, contextually it just seems weird. <laughs> Nilo's called branch office, yes. <laughs> but I don't know, like something like a, a hub, yes, a hub. It's a hub, it's a space platform hub. There we go, it actually functions as a hub as well. Um, we also have some other things down here added to uh, the bus. Oh, there's some things I need to change for this part because it doesn't quite work. Uh, this one. Here's a problem. I set this to 48 because I 48 corresponds to two rows of this. But when you see this, it says rocket capacity 50. That means that it will never request things into here unless it can request Another a full stack devotee. or a full rocket load. So if you are requesting one in space, it'll try to pull in a full rocket load. And a full rocket load is 50, but since I only have 48 in my inventory, it's not like it's going to request 48 and wait for the last two. It'll just go like, nope, don't have enough. So you must have enough for at least one rocket load in all your buffers. And that's also the problem for some things down here. Maybe that one? Nope. But this one, definitely. Nice that the focus is actually already preset to the quantity, so you can just type it. Nice. Um, I think those are the ones that are not set up. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, 200. That sounds good. And then let's also build something here. Some other ones. That weird selector combinator. And yeah, okay. That's actually a perfect place. And the other one is this visual display thing. 
I don't think it serves a purpose for me aside from... Yeah, I don't know. It, I think it's a good thing for multiplayer, but not really for... For me. It's... Basically, like, writing messages to each other. Our illustrious champion returns. And Welcome that will be home. the selector thing. Good. There we go. Hey, Yasser, thank you for the 67 months. And it is 7 o'clock, so I need to take a break. I need to be really strict about my breaks, and I also will take a little bit longer break, maybe at 9. Uh, maybe at 10. I think maybe at 10, so I can get a little bit of... Uh, of uh, of managing my inputs and outputs. This is a factory game. Also, this factory needs to work. So managing inputs and outputs is important. Good. So we build this in one hour. <laughs> I wish. So I'm going to be uh, taking a short break now. And then I'll be... Oh, my God. There's a lot of people here. Hello. Uh, be back in two minutes. So I always take a two-minute break at the top of the hour. So don't go away. This is where most streamers would play ads. I don't because I fucking hate ads. And uh, I know you do as well. So be back in two minutes. Welcome back. And let's get everything back online and back in the game. And we were not overwhelmed by biters. Uh, Samogar, thank you for the 20 months. The best day for our anniversary. Good evening. Yes, uh, two metric years. Feel like you've been around for longer. Hey, Bitflip, you uh, upgraded to a tier two for six months in advance. You just subscribed an hour ago and now you are upgrading to tier two for six months in advance. I love that. that that's a clear signal that you, you watched a little bit, liked it. You watched a little bit more, liked it a lot more. I love it. Thank you. Much appreciated. Mega Beef, thank you for the Prime. Okay. Um, T-Boon, thank you. Good evening. Damn, the hype is real. It's absolutely real. So, trains. Let's have a look at it. Um, I have managed to do a little bit with trains. It's insanely awesome. The best thing I think about the new train... Whoa, Sanislav, thank you for the five months. What? It's but the hype train is on, on cooldown. There's no reason to do all of that craziness. Also, it, that's super nice. Remember the, when the icon over there, or there, I don't know, is uh, yeah, is, is on a cooldown, then it's better to wait, unless you don't like hype trains, of course. Like, I love this. There are now train groups. And that means that if you... The, the, these are trains that are set up ident with identical configurations. And that means if I wanted to build another train. Hmm. Um, then if I wanted to so, sort of assign it to one of the groups, I would just go up here, train group, and then like that, it already has all the configuration. That is ridiculously good. Except, 
I built it the wrong side of the road <laughs> of the train of the track. So it's not really going to work, is it? Uh, but I think that's amazing. Will you have the starter base for the DLC for patrons? Yes, I will. It is uh, it is available for, for patrons. This is kind of the other half of it. Like I wanted it for myself and I was like, I might as well just make it a really nice crisp base because people will ask for it. So let's make it sort of nice, nicely gift wrapped for uh, for patrons as well. Have they got the racetrack yet? Yes, they have. Here. Only way to traverse these stupid cliffs. There are so many cliffs out here that I can't get around it without just bouncing, jumping up and down. So I was kind of thinking not to do it, but I kind of had to. So, yeah. There are... Can you walk on elevated cliffs? No. Don't? No. No, you don't. You can't walk up there. I don't think so. I mean, should be easy to find out, shouldn't it? Also, when you then uh, here, you don't go up here. It's actually from down there. You build it over and yeah, there's something about the connection that's sometimes weird. And then, yeah, you, you can't walk on it. This is a building. It's a building that has this size. So no walking. Oh, oh, that's so cool. Did you see that? When I take this out, because it can't take it out without, I was like kind of thinking, can I get those hanging in the air and then it'll look weird? No. And Vega, thank you for the new subscription, brand new subscription. Welcome. DLC is on sale next week. I don't think it's on sale, but uh, it's just being released. No stuff hanging here. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Yeah, they don't embrace that. That's true. Uh, let's see. So, right. Let's look at the trains. Let's look at them, at how they work. Because that it's weird. Use an iron train. So, this one says, train is in a group. And that means if I change this, I change the entire group. I think. Yes, I think. Anyway, so what this does is I have a single location that says it goes to an iron pickup node and this one each of the iron pickup nodes has a capacity of two and then there are three of these four of these so i can have a total of eight iron trains that will that's exactly what i have so eight iron trains because they always need to have a place to park and what you can see now is that there are two parked for each of the locations uh yeah these are the three different locations this one matches that one this one matches something I don't know I cannot see it but they they keep sort of moving back and then they're sort of idling this one is unloading uh, let's try to find one so what happens is that if uh, let's see they go back to this one hmm and I'm, I'm just trying to figure out the best way to visualize what's going on I want to see Let's just take this one. This one is idle and it's filling up. So once it fills up, it inter it triggers the condition for this interrupt. And then the interrupt here is saying when full cargo, then go to an iron drop off location until empty cargo. That's this interrupt. So it basically, it only has one stop, which is the pickup. And then it generates a new stop when it's full. Then when it's full, it goes, okay, let, where should I go? Then we'll go there. But it's not going there because that station is not open yet. Um, it's train limited. So it's now it's just waiting for the requester station to actually open. But it's ready to go there. Then if it has insufficient fuel. Hmm, let's take one of the other ones. That one. Actually, like, I'd like to take something that is um, not loading. Oh, this one's coming in. Okay, so if I take this and just... Oh, I don't know if I can do this, but I'll, I'll try to see if I can unload this. This will now send... Okay, let me just run there. Run, 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 run. Ex 
Int Marcus, thank you for the 46 months. That, did you change your name? Ah, no, 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 yeah, yeah, and then, yeah, okay, so now let's watch this one, it doesn't have any fuel, it goes to temporary fuel, yay, the interrupt works, the interrupt works, so this interrupt is saying it allows interrupting other interrupts, and then it says if any fuel, if fuel on any locomotive is less than five, then go to refueling station until fuel is more than 50. Right, so here's the thing, hot mod. Why not just make one pickup and one drop? Uh, why use interrupt for drops? Yeah, that's because I can, because I wanted to show you what it can do. Um, you might, you can, in this case, you could do it the normal way and it would be perfectly fine. I think that the advantage of this, oh, by the way, also notice that these change Use the destination of the train stop. So what is the advantage of this is that, and, and I'm not sure that I, okay, how do I say this? Um, it seems to me that they have devised a way that they want this to be used. And I'm not sure that that's the best way to use it. It might be, but I'm not really feeling confident about it yet. What does that mean? Well, they have a kind of, you can use it the way that logistics train network the mod works so that you basically have a this one is a loading or a standing a still a station that's that's just idle they're just idling at this point and then they don't have any schedule they're just standing at the idle location then when a train is is available or when 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 i need more iron then it will generate a request maybe by sending out a signal so that the, the, the trigger for the interrupt is the signal that it says either I have a load ready of iron or it says I want a load of iron depending on whether you are supply driven or demand driven. Um, and then it generates that, goes to the pickup location and then it has a another a, a drop off that says if you're full of iron go to the iron drop off. So they're linked. I The reason why I don't like that is because that means all the trains are going to be at a central location. That means when when it generates a train delivery, transport is actually the, the, the term in uh, in freight forwarding. When it de determines, when it generates a transport or a shipment, then um, no, there is a shipment and it generates a transport. It generates the transport. Then it will go from here to go pick up and then spend the time on picking up and then go back. So that's way slower than my setup where it's always idling at the supply side because I always want supply side to be greater than demand side. But maybe on other planets where you have multiple items, I'm thinking Fulgora here, and maybe you don't want to have many trains for every single product. You want generic trains that says, Oh, you actually have a lot of blue circuits. Let's ship some blue circuits from this location. Now there's a, it has generated a full load of blue circuits. So let's generate a train schedule for the blue circuits because it's not happening often and it might just be, hey, it's there. Bring it back to the main base, the production base, for example. And then a little bit later, it generates a, a, a truck, a, a train load of concrete and then you send the same train over but now it's bringing in concrete that's where i think there's a really big advantage to it uh was any kind of storage added bigger than one by one nope parking stops close to drop and pick up well how do you know which one which drop and pick up it's going to be using like if this one is, or that one in if then i can't control if it's going to go to this one or that one so it, it's so for me, I think that on Navas, it's perfectly fine or it's most advantageous to have trains that just go, this is an iron train, this is a copper train, this is a stone train, this is a coal train, this is a potentially uranium train, and that's it. Those are the only ones. But if I was making a train base that was sort of um, all products being sent by trains, maybe it would be worth it to have more generic trains. I was it. Thank you for the tier two for six months in advance. Oh, you also upgraded to tier two and six months in advance. Nice. Also a new subscriber just upgrading. You're the first subscriber of the day. 
Is there quality for train wagons? Oh, that's a that's a good point. I didn't even think of that. Sandy's love, thank you for five more gift subs. Trying again. Uh, let's actually look at that. That's a good point. Here, train stations. And then we look at base health. The only thing that changes is base health. Okay, they are not Tales worth doing. They are no certainly different. not worth upgrading. So it doesn't increase the storage size because there's not this quality indicator by it. Hmm. Also base health. That's sad. What about stuff like this? Also base health. Oh no. Wow, that's sad. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy that it doesn't improve the stack the storage size. <clears throat> this one increases the storage size. Weird. And Swammer with five more gift subs. Thank you so much. And Silver Seasel with two and a bit. And four seventy-three. How do I was that I supposed to pronounce that? And thank you also for two and a bit, triggering a train. I don't mind increasing storage or not. Just means you don't have to worry about it. That's true, it's true. It's just weird that it, it doesn't do anything. Like adding adding um just More shall enter the fray. Adding just extra base health to a, a chest is not worth the quality update. L Wizard, thank you for ten gift subs. Thank you so much. Uh, can cargo be used as a big chest? Uh, yes, if you are putting it. Ne the cargo base can only be placed next to a starter pack. More so. shall gather. Whoa! More shall enter More. the tree. More Bonkov, thank you for Bon Cow. Bon Cow, thank you for twenty gift subs. Wow, what a progress there! And Swimmer with three hundred bit more. Mighty Mech, thank you for three months. Have fun. Will do. Do wooden chests have quality? Of course they have quality. Everything is quality. This one is quality. Also more base health. Woohoo! Yeah. Your there are some things that are really valuable. Like, I think the most valuable thing that has the biggest impact is actually these, the asteroid collectors. Because, look at this, it has mo multiple arms. And that's just awesome. A multi-armed thing. Uh, and also another thing that I'm going to be using I actually like your your input your input on this. Uh, Jello Angles, thank you for the prime, brand new prime. Uh, Fulgora Volcanus Gleba. Uh, I'm gonna do Volcanus Volcanus first because cliff explosives, and also better belts because I want to have the better belts when we get to Fulgora. That makes a huge a huge change. And Sadislav, thank you for gifting a sub. What is the best change in Space Age in your opinion? I don't know. They're all good. I, I, I don't know how, I don't know if there's oh, one thing, because then it's like, is it a quality of life thing that's Welcome that's better? Home. Or is it um, like a, a big thing like, oh, adding four more planets, that's the best thing. <laughs> I don't know. A simple code writer, thank you for the tier three for 66 months, 66 months streak. Sweet, it's already level three. Um. All right. Uh, yes, something I wanted your your uh, your feedback on. Here, supply area increases. So I'm actually thinking that I'll be using uncommon substations as my grid size because 20 by 20 grid is a really nice size. 18 by 18 is really annoying. Um, I'll try to illustrate why. Even if I do this, I I just found that there are so many things that just don't fit in this grid. I feel that this grid is just a little bit too many, uh, too much space being taken up by powers. Also, um, this is fifty by fifty, so if it's eighteen by eighteen, then I kind of have to set them up pretty close to each other. So, at the beginning, I got a faster pace to launch the rocket. Yes, absolutely. You can launch a rocket at Blue Science, though I don't think I would recommend launching them as fast as possible uh, because you're missing sort of the whole logistics setup. Thank you, Bell, for the 500, uh, 500 bits. 
So when do you make a build to guarantee on common substation? That would be very interesting to see. See, that is the problem. Um, what I want to do is we need to... Yes, that's what we want. I'd want to do that, but I can't really do that. But I can start building some of it. And Swimmer, thank you for 300 bits. 300 bits more. Ooh, Memstick! Wow! There we go. That is almost a level 4. 20 gives ups. Yay! Thank you so much. And Hilothan with 42 months. Finally, some Victoria. Finally. Almost level 5. No, it's almost level 4. This is level 4. Our illustrious champion returns. Uh, yeah, RoboPorts are unfortunately not affected by... Uh, it's not affected this part or this part. It's affected base health boo, but also uh, speed. It's it's charging faster, which is nice, but... Mm, mm. Hey, Gareth, thank you for another thousand bits. Okay. Quality. So, if... If, let's say, we wanted to make something in higher quality, then... We would want to get quality modules. Our illustrious Heck. champion returns. Quality. Welcome home. We only have this measly one, which is a 1% chance of improving quality, which sucks. The next tier, which requires that, which means we can only get it in a in a little bit of time, is actually 2%. So that makes it much better. So 2% and then we have four modules in a assembler, so it gets to be 8% chance of getting a better one. That also means it's 0.08% chance of getting a, um, in, a rare one. We can't get higher than that. Uh, let's see. Master MSE, thank you for the 200 bits. Joining in on the hype train. And Tech, thank you for 38 months. Wanted Reaper, thank you for the brand new Prime. Welcome. And Hohenberg, thank you for 17 months. Uh, beacons? Yes, and Beacons... Uh, no, it's not vegan. Speed modules ruin product quality. Look at that. Minus 1% quality when you are applying speed modules. So you put some quality modules in and then you put a beacon with speed modules on and then you ruin everything. That sucks. But it's it's a good thing change because otherwise, yeah, it would be, it, it would be weird. Mr. Dog Food, thank you for the tier one and welcome. And... Dead monkeys, thank you for the 1500 bits. Ooh, look at that, 1500 bits. You're on the leaderboard. You're on uh, third position for the month with uh, with that. To disassemble buildings and modules. Exactly, do you need for Gorotech? Because that's the thing that I wanted to show you. Uh, recycler, that thing. You can't really do anything meaningful with quality without a recycler. What I mean by that is Let's say we make some quality modules, which we're going to do in a second. Then I put them in to, for example, my substations. But that means that any time I create a substation, there's only an 8% chance that it'll be a uncommon or better substation. That sucks. But what I want to do is then take the other ones, maybe, and just scrap them and, recycle, and try to upcycle them to get better ingredients to get uh, in there. But I can't do that until I have a recycler, which is a Fulgora tech. So before Fulgora, you can just basically add some some beacons, I know, some modules, some quality modules to things. And then once in a while, you get a, a good one, right? Which is cool. Proliferate. Coloro, thank you for the prime for four months. And then Belf with the five gift subs. All right, two seconds left. Uh, I'm just able to say it. Thank you for uh, five gift subs. Wow, they, you guys are insanely uh, uh, donatious. I think that's the word we're looking for, donatious. Swimmer with the five more gift subs. Thank you so much. Tales and we're over halfway through the level five. And if we get there, then it's another bonus hour of streaming today. To make... Higher quality, but higher than what? Than the machine's quality level? Yes. If you if you if you build something like this, then it just becomes normal ones. Then if you put quality modules in, there is a chance that it upcycles by one ingredient. The only way to get better in better things is doing that. Barn cow, cow, thank you for twenty gifts ups, trade. completing the the level five. That's another hour. Well, I'm never gonna go to bed. This is gonna be Good thing the kids are not here, not getting up to school tomorrow. They're with their mom. Uh, do you need quality to build quality modules? No. Well, 
uh, okay, I think that there, I think I have to explain it in a different way. There are two ways to increase quality or two ways to make higher quality items. One is like this. If I take green quality electronics or uncommon quality electronics, then I get automatically without any quality modules, automatically get an uncommon uh, module here. The other way is to put quality modules in, which has a chance to take the normal recipe here. And this has a chance to just get it into a higher quality. So you can either put normal items in and then put modules in and then get it to a higher quality, or you can make it for the green circuits, for example, put quality modules into all of this and then sort of filter out your quality green circuits and then use the quality green circuits and the quality red circuits to go in and funnel into quality modules. Which was better? I think it's better to, I, I haven't done the math, but I'm, I'm feeling that it's better to only put quality modules into the final product. The reason for that is that I'd much rather have productivity modules out here. And then I get productivity and get free stuff. And then I use this for the specific things. Also, if I have this and it starts generating 8% uncommon items and 0.08% uh, rare items, then I need to filter those off and store them and track them and bring them back into some other loop, some production loop and balance. And it's just hugely complicated. And I don't think it's something I want right now, especially because I can't recycle it. Definitely when I recycle it, then you can also upcycle. You can actually take a normal item and then break it down. And if you put modules, quality modules in the recycler, which you get on Fulgora, you can actually get uncommon, like better quality subcomponents out, which means you can sort of, yeah, ups, upcycle them. And then you get the better quality components out. If you can also, if you take an uncommon item, you break it down, you will by default get uncommon components out of it. But the, if you put quality modules into a cycle, you can also get rare quality. And therefore, it's sort of, there are many ways to sort of loop it up. <laughs> 60 legendary wire per second when? Not now. Not this week. Right. This is the next tier quality that we don't have, but I might as well just design for it. So this will be green and this will be combined red and I don't like that. Let's do this one as red and then another one for blue. Red, blue, and speed modules. Uh, can quality modules be put in beacons? Nope, they cannot. Do we like this build? I could also just take it as a combined build of red and blue. Maybe. I need beacons. Where are my beacons? Uh, I don't want this. I'm not going to be going into combat anymore. So let's uh, get this transferred into beacons and then modules. It becomes an absolute mess when you need to deal with components of various uh, size and stuff. Your power? Hmm. Uh, let's see. Done your research. 7,000 or 5,000. We'll take that one. Yeah. Oh, right. Uh, also, filters. You can also filter by quality here. Greater than or equal to uncommon, for example. Then it just takes any items, but only the uncommon or better quality. It's quite useful. And this one will be... Oh, I can limit this, even though I don't have it. 
Hmm, interesting. And that was the hype train tracker. Thank you so much for the glorious level five, another level five hype train. Dead monkeys and found cow. Thank you for everyone who joined in on that train. Great. That's an extra bonus hour. Bonus hour, bonus hour. This is Space Age preview. Yes, it is. It, it, it's not a preview, it's the full game. It's just. Uh, only available to us content creators and mod makers to get their mods ready. And yeah, okay. So I'm going to build this. I think I want... Oops. And in this one is increased by the beacons, right? We need to get it closer, somehow. This can be more compacted. Like this. Ah! And then this beacon will hit everything now. Yes. Everything has default sounds now. Some of them are weird. That that's <laughs> that's a weird sound. <laughs> I like it. Uh, I get a, I get a little confused. Is biters disabled? Nope, nope. The biters they are they're outside. They're outside the fence. Um, they biters. No more biters. So, this is how you deal with biters. Just, pew. Um, how fast is this? Not fast. <laughs> that sound is just killing me. Uh, the next question is, how do I even module this? This could actually be put a little bit further over, couldn't it? Uh, no, no. I can't move this over, but I can... This feels weird. I don't know if I if I like this setup. Oh, now I do. Oh, 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 this one. No. How do I do this? There we go. Shift control. You hold shift control and then it automatically puts that in. That's cool. Just press all the buttons. That's exactly what I did. <laughs> That's really nice for specifically this purpose. I think this is important for us to remember that in the beginning, we have to be really diligent on learning the new mechanics. Otherwise, we just some someone if you're old and um, and set in your ways like me then then yeah you're probably not gonna remember it um there yeah. oh oh it's still oh, it's still perfect it's perfect I like this build this is a very nice compact build and we have a couple of inputs here this is a combined red and blue this is a com uh, red green belt sure. I like this. Um, so, mm, I don't like this one going out on that side, like out of the template area. Oh, hold on. I do very much like this. All right, cool. Two, uh, three, um, and four. Because I need four modules. Sure. So, I need greens. Lots and lots of greens. And we need reds and blue. So I need to bring blue down. Okay.
Yeah. This one. So you go in here. Does that make sense? I think it does. The question is then, am I overusing this belt? I think I might be. Especially the red. So now we can use the feature out on the right hand side where it says crafting speed. So it says 0 0.66 plus another 0 0.66 plus this one which is I guess half. Yeah, we can't do it yet. We don't have these yet. Um, oh yeah, by the way, this is not what I wanted. I didn't want to make all these. So uh, which one's the most important one? I'll do productivity modules as second one. Actually, I don't think productivity modules are the mo most important one. I think actually, I think efficiency modules are more important. Why do I think they are more important? Because we're going to need them for spaceships. Everything on spaceships needs to have uh, modules. And all the other planets, we're going to be struggling with power in the beginning. So being able to just make things a lot cheaper power-wise with some, some modules is incredibly useful. There. Good. And then when we get the next tier, then this should be upgraded. Cool. What is the research cost? The research cost is the fact that it requires the space module. So we need to launch a rocket in space and build some kind of spaceship before we can actually do it. But this one, I think, should be working fine. Is this playthrough on YouTube? Uh, there is a playthrough on YouTube, which is pretty much the same thing as what we're doing now. Um, and of course, today, with having eight hours of streaming, we're going to get a little bit further than my one-hour YouTube episode. But uh, we'll see. Wait, there are three kinds, four kinds. Green modules are far from useless. Uh, I think it's actually probably the ones that I have used the most in this, this playthrough. Uh, let's actually try and see if I can find out. Can I do a search here? Module. Okay. Uh, this is because this is used for, for science, so that's cheating. But if we subtract the 11k from the 12k and just look at the net then this is a net of 1k that I'm using on buildings. This is a net of 1.2k and this is a net of 4.3k. So 4.3k efficiency modules is what I'm using. Yeah, green modules are amazing. I'm just putting them in here for every single one. I put two of them in so that I'm using 60% less power. It makes a huge difference. Uh, if we look at our consumption here, the biggest one is the machines, then it's radars, that's just on me. Robo ports, that's always high. But look at that, 1.6k mining drills is only using 30 megawatt. Of course, a lot of them are idle, but I still, this is nice. Name of the series, which is similar to this playthrough. It's based in a book. Based in a book. Ooh, 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 we know, we, ooh, ooh, what the hell? What? What? Oh, okay. Okay, there's, there's no problem. It's just, of course, its production is equal. What? That's still weird. Oh, it was dropping down. It was like, it's getting night. It's nighttime. And now we scale up on the accumulator side. And I don't think there should be any problems. What the hell was that spike? Oh, that's uh, this one. Yeah, okay. All separate. It would be nice if these... It seems, it's weird that... There's a separate drop down for all of them, but they all follow the same. And let's see if they fixed it. I reported this. Yeah, they didn't. I mean, fixed. It's just like if I wanted to have all merged, 
yes please then please also next time i open also i'll probably also want it all merged so this is our quality module thing which isn't really working yet uh, we're gonna take some bad quality modules just to show the idea ha ah, this is starving ouch uh that's not good okay i think we need to do some adaptations here yeah the greens are pretty bad Oh, let me show you something. I showed that on YouTube, but I want to show it to you if you haven't watched my YouTube yet. This is a new feature as well, which is super amazing. Look at that. Entity setting module slots. A new subscriber arrives. You can change it module slots with, with an upgrade banner. I think that's amazing. Yeah. And then I just do all of this. Go. Slow is, thank you for the prime and welcome. That is super nice. And here comes the flurry of activity. And why are these why are these red? Hmm. Weird. So many quality of life, yes. What does quality do in modules? Um quality modules increase uh, make a chance to provide higher quality items one two three four five six i think i'm going to take these six lines these four lines and only put it into this and nothing else so let me just do that here this is only coming from second this is coming in from third and this is coming in from fourth so that's fine that means all of this needs to be merged back together to a single You have returned. Who might that be? Who has returned? And still for you. Thank you for the two for the two months. Welcome back. And then I actually want to kill it up here because we'll take the other here because these are barely used and these are overused. So we'll need to do some tinkering with this. Actually, since this is just going to be two outputs, then I might as well do this. There. Yes. And that means all of this gets taken out. And now I need to get this here from the other side. This one is the inbound. Sweet. That actually worked quite well. Like that. That comes up now too. And the next one is here. That'll then be number one. Let's get this part and these are not really consuming much. Yeah. And oh. Will be number three. Our illustrious champion returns. And number Come four. Home. These are just small tinkering things we uh, we have to do here for cleaning up, making it a little bit more balanced. Ah, stupid steel thing. Oh look, this was my intention all along to do it. Build it exactly like this. Much nicer. Of course, much nicer. And this will be number four. Which will then go in here. And then I'm going to do a rebalance. This feels like so old school to build this manually. Feels nice. 
No school like old school, and if, if I'm not old school Factorio, I don't know who is. Belt copper two not connected. And belt one not connected. Why not? Oh yeah. There. Thank you. Only a little rusty. I mean old school is not <laughs> not exclusively a positive thing. Yeah. And then I'm just gonna take Yeah, and there you go. And then it gets rebalanced again with whatever's left. And then I need to do that up here because this one is dead as well. I don't think I have anything further. No, that's it. That one. That one. Oh, that's a lot of copper we have here. Uh, ah, right. Let's just throw it in here. Oh, these ones should also get some modules for sure. Yeah. Sweet. Uh, maybe it's time to do that unrequested? Sure. Just throw everything out. And then... I don't think I want defense. So let's just delete that. Which means all of our defense things get thrown out as well. Including, unfortunately, the uranium rounds. But... I just... I'm not going to get in a fight. One more copper is not connected. I guess it's this one. Always, always, always... Verify. Trust but verify. Which means don't trust. Yeah. Good. Whew. This is fishing for engagement. Commodore, thank you for the 43 months. There. That's good. Uh, this looks weird. I don't need to carry two of those up here. Like, obviously, we'd want... Oh, look at that. We're not actually getting enough of this. Hmm. Is that because our hub is not really producing enough? I mean, obviously it is. Oh, no. That's important. This is important. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, this is already upgraded to the tier ones. I mean, I suppose this one could also be upgraded. It's not that expensive, but hey, let's let's do it while we can. <laughs> and I guess you're going to be a little bit more busy as well, so let's try and speed you up. Speed you up, and these are already sped up as much as they can. Yeah. We will transition away from using Mark 1s into Mark 2s as soon as we have those, but well, we don't have them quite yet. Good. Uh, your bus video on YouTube was such a tremendous help to me. Cool to see it still in action. Oh, awesome. Yeah, it's it's my most watched video on YouTube with 1.2 million views, which is a lot for me. I think it's a lot for anyone. Well, not for anyone, but it, it's a lot by, by any stretch of the imagination. That it, making a... It's, a, <laughs> it's something where I, I thought about, like, okay, I, I built... I made a video and it got 1.2 million views, which I'm over the, the moon about. Especially because it's not a reacting to let's game it out video, but it's actually my own content and my own guide. <laughs> Stab at all the content creators who decide to leech off of let's game it out content and do a reaction. Uh, I don't. Easy 1 million, easy 2 million, uh, 3 million views there. Anyway, that was a little bit of a sidetrack. No, but I was thinking like, like 1.2 million views and I was thinking like context wise, Danish public radio. Oh, public radio, like the the news, the, the TV channel, is uh, they had twenty three programs last year that had more than a hundred, one more than one million viewers, and I was like, that's the Danish public television channel. Like it's it's it sort of feels weird to go like yeah okay so Danish public radio they they when they make content. They like 23 times over a year managed to get more than a hundred one one million views. Yeah, that's that's pretty sad actually. If I'm the date to talk to me, they might. Of course, I mean there's a million things, but it's it's also like my budget, I, I promise you, it's a little bit less than the 
Danish public broadcasting service. DR isn't Danish, right? Yeah. If they stream links and factory content, I would watch them. Really? You would? <laughs> Hello from Bramming. Don't know where that is. Jutland, I would imagine. Not going to get into a fight. Let's see if we will regret this later. Oh, you're just uh, <laughs> you're just you're you're just saving it for future reference. Like um, Marky Brownlee, who said who had a Twitter where where it said like don't charge money for something that used to be free, and then he made his fucking wallpaper app for fifty dollars. What a silly cash grab. That's still weird. Still weird. Have your early designs changed much? Not at all. Like there's a minute changes in DLC. Like uh, let's um, let me just show you. Like the only changes that are really there for sort of basic things. These ones require copper cable. They didn't require copper cable before. Same here, copper cable. And same with substations. They also require copper cable now. They didn't use to do that. I don't know what they required, but not copper cable. Have you ever had any streams? Nope. And I'm not going to either. Not my intention. Right, let's see how we're we doing. We are oh, 321 of those. Oh, man. Why does it go up? How did that go up? Oh, because it... No, I don't know. Well, you know, just noticed... Listen, you're from Denmark. Have you ever dreamed about Factor all the time? I mean, I usually dream about stuff that sort of takes over my waking hours. It's kind of how it works. Okay, so let's see. Um, we are idling with this this is just chucking along it's going to be fine we are ready to launch are we yes i think we are we have all the things ready for the launching we have set up the hub we have uh and i forgot to take my save damn grumpiest bunny thank you for the eight months okay welcome home so some of the things that just don't work very well in this this space is plastic and and that's because oil is working pretty poorly I would actually really like to get upgraded to better modules. I could put modules down here, but I just don't have enough oil coming in to support. Do I? No, this is empty and over on this side. Oh, this is full. Okay, so that's a little bit, a little bit of something coming in. Are you going to do a basin book for the new DLC in two years, maybe? Yeah, uranium belt is junk. There's no way for me to get, get this juiced up. It's just not great. <laughs> and the next uranium is out here and I'd like it. But I also don't like to go through the expansion process because I don't like building like a a salient. This is a salient. I've learned that. This is a salient if we do that. A bulge. But I'd also like to get the oil and then there's more stuff. But I do think that the next move would... Ooh. 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 Shut up. <laughs> oh. No. There's so many good stuff. Oh, crap. No matter what, it'll always be... Oh, yeah. By the way, another quality of life feature. Oil? Isn't that nice? Except except they still haven't done that. There. They go like, ah. Boiler? <laughs> Morden, thank you. And then you can then search like, ah, where did I make the processing unit? There's my processing unit. Ah, there we go. Isn't that awesome? Uranium processing. Yeah, so if you, you can, <laughs> if you build an insane spaghetti base and you can't remember where you build stuff, not gonna happen to me, then you can just search for it. It just, this is not a trivial feature. I don't know, it, it, to me, it doesn't seem like something that would be easy to do, but then then it's, as a non-developer, it's not, e not always easy to figure out like what is easy, what is hard. Some things that seem easy are really hard. Some things that are really hard are super easy. But, like, you have to find it on a map and you isolate and highlight and you zoom to. And yeah, there seems to be a lot to this one. Like, okay, am I out of. Uh, how much stone do I actually have? Like, stone is a good example because you can never find stone. And when we get to volcanoes, you cannot find the coal deposits to save your life. So writing coal up here and realize that oh yeah it's right in the middle of my base it's just because it's black on black background break before the yes we're going to take a break and then we'll come back at the 
in a the way developers don't know either. That's also true. Yeah, it's just a little, literally just one line fix. Like, well, technically anything could be a one line fix, but yeah, I think that we're gonna be just uh, spamming more solar panels while we can. Oh no, I shouldn't do that. Not yet. Why? Okay, I can do one. Um. Because I want to put quality modules on my solar panels and then filter out all of the higher quality solar panels that we generate. So this way now I enable them to start working again, which I really shouldn't because I want to just wait until they get their quality modules in. So that I'll get like 8% chance of, uh, of getting better solar panels because I'm going to need those for spaceships. Uh, are there any new energy generation methods not counting fusion? Uh, no. Yes. Fulgora. Fulgora, you uh, get uh, lightning power, which is weird. I haven't figured it out. Sometimes you don't have any power and sometimes you have way too much power. It's weird. I mean, I kind of figured it out, but I haven't figured out like the scaling of it. So when I say I haven't figured it out, yes, I, it doesn't mean that I run out of power, but it just means like I haven't figured out the scaling. So the thing is, you build lightning attractors and you build accumulators and then during the nighttime, which is really quick uh, day-night cycle, during the nighttime there are storms, and they hit your lightning collectors. And the chance of hitting a lightning collector depends on how much area you've covered, but how much power does it give, and how much is it dependent. So when you are out of power, you build more accumulators, you build more area covered, and then you go like, "That's probably fine." But like, I'm really uh, understanding the mechanics. I I haven't figured that out yet. Welcome home. Andrew Bolton, thank you for the 13 months and Glum Enraged or Glum Enraged, Glum Enraged, thank Our you for the 42 months. Welcome home. This kind of search isn't trivial, but it's not a brain buster either. No, no. Oh, no. Yeah. Uh, oh, right. The new uh, liquid system. I talked to Raygard. Uh, I haven't talked to, don't, I haven't talked to Raygard before. I've been mod makeup before. Uh, super nice guy. And I mean, they're all nice, but I thought uh, Rega was particularly nice. Talked about the the uh, liquid system. I love it. I think maybe he was even more friendly because I was praising it so much. Then he was like, "Oh, let me go to the country creator who actually praises the stuff I did," <laughs> because uh, apparently the ra the the pipe system or the liquid system was something that had made people quit before. And then he, when he joined, he was like, "Here, new guy, take this shitty task. Go ahead, fix it." And he actually fixed it. Uh, it works so well now. So the way it works is that everything in a pipe, like connected pipes you can see here, it's all connected. So that is a pipe network. That is one box. That's just one container. And they will all instantly have exactly the same. So it's not something like you push it in one side and then sort of have to wait to for trickle through. It just, it's available. It's in this area. The only thing that it doesn't do is like, for example, out here, I used to just have one line of uh, going all the way around for for oil. I don't have enough oil to feed these and I don't really need them. But I can't do that anymore because if I take these out, then it just becomes a too big of a pipe network and then it stops working. So if you have a too big of a pipe network, it stops working. And so you have to be a little bit mindful. For example, if I had like the whole bus being one pipe network, then it wouldn't work. But that's why I put these in here also just to, well, I mean, it used to also increase the pressure, but it's not really right now. Now it's just mainly to sort of separate it into different areas. And this means that when you hook up things like a train station with a liquid train station used to not work. It was just impossible to get it to work, to balance out so that the each of the station loaded evenly. It does now because it's just like one network and it will automatically self balance everything. So it is, for all intents and purposes, fixed. There's, of course, a little less uh, depth to optimization because you can no longer have like this idea of, okay, you have to make, if I want to keep up a pressure of 200 per second, then I have to have a maximum of 17 segments. But that's really not a fun optimization. That's something optimization that, own, that only someone like me can see. They, God damn it. Hmm.
<laughs> I can't have that going through my uh, my concrete. It's, it looks stupid. It, it's so annoying. So annoying that decoratives go through concrete. So I'd unfortunately have to take them out, which is I think is sad because it looks a little bit bland. But I, I can't have it. Okay, this one is now Twitch 02. And we... Oh, uh, look at the tint of the screen. It's yellowish. That's the night vision goggles. Oh, and we lost our night vision goggles. Damn it. There. 20 night vision goggles. Get here. All right, I'm going to take my break. Um... Night vision goggles make things go a little look a little bit icky. Look at that. Like we can see better, but it's a little bit too oranges. Only have one. Distraction upon the Hey Jeff, good evening. How's the uh, factor band coming along? Now let's uh, let's go out and do the map view. That's a good place to look at this and then i will take a short break oh holy smokes that's a lot of people here hello everyone welcome we're gonna launch a rocket as soon as i come back from the uh, the break i think this is a new record for sure so be back in two minutes Right, we are back, and I'm just gonna find something. Look, a kitty! A little orange kitty wants to say hi to everyone. The cat cam. Oh, a curious kitty. Okay, we'll we'll put you down again. There you go. <laughs> if we have level 5 every hour, then the stream will never end. Something like that. Okay, uh, welcome everyone. So now it's 8 o'clock. This is the time when we normally start our streams. I mean, honestly, normally I would be rambling at this time. So, uh, yeah. Let's see how many are still missing. Oh, it's okay. 161. 
Right. It is time for us to launch our first rocket ship spaceship thingy. Champastain, thank you for the 14 months. This is the time where you launch a rocket. Absolutely. New space platform. So we have to put a space platform starter pack that takes uh, some... We have built down here. That one. Take some of these space platform foundations. And then we just launch it. And then it goes to remote view. And then we have over here... We are going to call it Nervous. Whoops. Science. Platform. Yes, I'm good with names. Good. Is it okay to ask about spoilers? Yeah, sure. Uh, upgrade solar quality for for some for quality first. I can't do that yet. Um, I want to get the tier two uh, modules, which needs means we have to go over here. So we got a new research. And that means we can now do asteroid collector, we can do crusher, and we can do cargo base, and then we can do these things. So before we go up, I oops, I actually want to get those things crafted. Yeah, yeah. The fact that you have to double click, just have to get used to it. Oh, here's the thing. Uh, let's see. That's good. What? Oh, here, yeah, right, that, like that. Um, sure, a lot of that. Right, and this is trash unrequested. We need to build this, so we need steel. Welcome home. Here. What's going on with the Shattered Planet? Did you research it or at least viewed what's going on there with cheat mode? I don't know what you mean by Shattered Planet. Uh, the new one, Aquilo, the latest one that was announced in the last Friday Facts. Um, I saw someone who reached it during the oh, uh, during the live event uh, when I was in Prague, and it looks amazing. I did not get to myself. I didn't even get to Gliba except just land land there. Uh, and I I played solo. Everyone else played multiplayer. Surprise, surprise. So I decided that I wanted to play more on Volcanus and Fulgora and not really, and then save Gliba and uh, the last planet, Aquilo, for later. So that we have something, yeah. There's another endgame thing that's not Aquilo that hasn't been in it. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, I know I haven't done that. Uh, I don't even know anything about it. And I, like, there's probably something down here, some research thing that we can do. That's the final research pack, Prometheum Science Pack. And there are some things that we don't know yet. So, I don't know. I, I, I am, I'm honestly, so the thing is, I'm not super curious about it. I'll, I'll get it, I'll see it. And if I just, right now, just click through and just look at all, all of it, then I, I force you to be spoiled. And, and I think that we, I want to spoil you at, at the pace that we're going at so when we build something we do there instead of just data mine all the new cool things so that's that's kind of how i want to do it and it's, it's not like a hard rule but it's just we spoil things as we now go to science platform this is now the first time we, we look at a science platform but that we don't want to go into a cheat mode and look at other planets and stuff that's kind of how i feel about it so we need to have at least 10 of each of these, uh, because otherwise that's the stack size. Oh, and it needs to have 10 in order to transfer it to the space station. Yeah, this one, how many? This one is then that one, up to 10. These ones really want uh, quality modules, but don't have it. And let's see. And thrusters will also get that afterwards, but not right now because we don't have thrusters yet. Are you going to do a let's play based on the book? I might do that, but not now because remember, based on the book was something I built after the uh, after I done uh, master classes. 
So that was at a time when it was really mature. This is definitely not mature. And if I did a base in the book, then it would just not be high enough quality. All right, so I want to make sure that I have 10 of each here, because that's what we are going to be, which will be the stack size we request. That's nine, and the next one's working. This one is eight. And steel plate, let's get, yes. It's such a weird number. Seven, nine, and this one's working. This one's 10 and working. This is still going. You okay? Yes, there you go, you're okay. Good, let's go to space. Sweet. <clears throat> so let me try to explain what um, what we want to do here. Hmm. There we need. Nope. And then stuff up here. What else do we need? Uh, solar panels, maybe. No, thrusters. I guess thrusters will go here eventually. Solar panels we need. Anything else that's uniquely space-oriented we need? Not now. We'll find out. Batteries? No, no batteries. Miners? No miners. Okay, so the thing is, this works in a really interesting way. You can't go up here. If you go up here, because you're transferring from planet to planet, then you will stay inside this building. So there's no walking around like in, in space uh, space exploration mod. So you're staying in here in safety <clears throat> in the space platform hub. Why do they... See, it's called the space platform hub. Why do they call it a starter pack? Well, never mind. Uh, starter pack becomes a hub. <clears throat> no space biters. No, nope. well, kind of. These ones are space biters. The equivalent asteroid chunks. Um... And that means there's no drones, no robots, no person, no power poles. Uh, so how do things get created? Well, they just get sort of propagated out by this. So if I build something down here, Welcome holding shift, back. then Your it tries to build it. It only builds with the stuff that is available here. Galaxy Inferno Code. Thank you for the three months. 3K, 4K viewers, new record. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> it's a space platform hub, not a space platform mall. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Why did I think of that? <laughs> Absolutely. Good thing I have tons of red wool here. All right. So let's talk about this UI. It's awesome. When you get... This is the inventory. It can be made bigger by using these cargo bays. They add 20 inventory here. So that's good. Then these are requests. This up here is default request. This is request for construction, as it says. This is basically saying, with what you try to build with ghosts up here, we're missing 24 platforms and one assembling machine. Then it says in red, no rocket silo accepting requests for space platforms. That means down here, if I enable logistics request, they would immediately start sort of pulling things in and sending them to orbit. We might as well do that Your because I kind of know what I want to do. So I'm going to do... All of these will now enable. Oh, yeah. by the way, there are two rockets here. Fuji, thank you for the 10 months. And Sudoku, thank you for the 5 months. Okay, so you can see now they change to yellow because they are now en route, avail uh, on the way. And once they get up here, bloop, then they auto construct, which I love that. It has a little bit of a Borg feel to it. I don't know. It it's it looks good and it works great. It's such a clever way of solving this. They always take full stacks. Well, they always take full rocket stacks. Um, because, for example, this it's not a stack is is fifty, but there can only be twenty five in a rocket. So right now it's waiting for the rocket. It's actually weird why the rocket is. Oh, because I enable this and it was just. Uh, lining up the two, que two requests and in sequence instead of in parallel. There we go, and that gets constructed. Now, if I take this one out, it just goes back here. 
So that's good. But stuff on belts disappear. But that's okay, because we have basically have uh, infinite resource. If you build something out here, it doesn't work, because it's not connected. You have to connect it with the rest of the network. There, and then when it's connected... Then we've now requested this one. So let's start requesting the stuff that we know we're going to need here. And just request them up here. Here. We're going to need some belts. There. We just need one of these to get there. We need some... That one, and... That one, um, some solar panels. What else do we need? Uh, I think I actually need some, or I do know I need some of that and some of this. Hmm, what else do we need? I think that might be it for now. Technology, we got a research because we built Entity. Oh, because we built the asteroid catcher collector. So now we can make space science. Space science, in, when I played it a month ago, this also required uranium, which meant you had to send uranium from Nalvis up in order to make space science in space and send it back down. Crazy. So now we can make space science. Woo! And we make it with pretty basic stuff. Ice, iron plate, and carbon. But ice and carbon is something you can only do in uh, space. So... Uh, that's another thing. Also, under conditions, actually, I think I'm going to do this, then I can look at it. It says gravity zero meters per square sec per second squared. Hmm. Yeah, so this is a. Uh, yeah. There you go. And then you can see here that they are now requesting all these things inbound. The ones that are yellow are en route, and the ones that are red are just either not available in large enough quantities, or they're not um, just they're in queue. If we go down here, uh, you can actually see this is requesting longhand and so does. Oh, modules! We need modules. Our illustrious champion returns. Welcome. Home. Let's uh, actually put those modules in here. That one and also speed module. I don't think I want speed modules, but let's just get speed modules up here just because. Um, I thought the early FFF mentioned uranium. Yes, it got changed. It, it's a good thing it's changed. There was also, it was a lot more complicated because the way it worked was that you started by sending satellites up and then those would get 10 science points or 10, but and then you'd have to sort of do that a couple of times and unlock the first things and then you can start building it. They've changed it now to be much more streamlined so that when you are up here, you build all of it in space science. It's much better. Up to keep the space science casino running wasn't fun. Yeah, it was It was a little bit, I, don't, I thought it was a little bit unintuitive that we were sort of building things in space, but you had to get things from Nalvis up there that was then 90% recycled. So. It, it just made it a little bit more complex instead of sort of as it is now it's really clean it's like space science in space that's it all right so all i do now is just get stuff in here let's uh, make a little platform um so we start also requesting some more there we go that should get us just a little bit we don't it's easy to make this too big so the this is a space platform but it could also be a spaceship if you put thrusters on it it's a space uh, it's a spaceship Right now, this is just going to hang out here in Nervous, collecting some uh, idle asteroids, and then uh, set this up. Right, and then let's see here. Yeah, now there's a lot more being requested. Sweet. Hope we get some of the other things first. I want to get some of uh, the other the ingredients here first, so that we can start doing some design work. What? Careful, the long insert, and I mean... Oh, yeah, that's true. Ha! That's crazy. It yeah, That's actually really, uh, really interesting. Oh, oh, crap. Damn it. How many platforms can you make? As many as you like. Add more space platform. So, defuse. Oh, look at that. We got uh, a little bit of power, and then that one enabled, and is now picking up the first asteroid chunk. So the idea that the supply chain is 
these collect chunks. The chunks get crushed into either iron, carbon, or ice. And those are the ingredients we need. So once we have all these things uh, available up here, we can start uh, doing a little more design work. This one can also be taken up. And this one sits... Oh, crap. Don't do that. Because I want to get those in here. Did they just fall down to the end of the line? I think they did. No. Hmm. So now we're... Yeah, okay, so rockets are not really getting in there, and let's do... Oh, I was standing right next to it, so let's get them a little bit faster. There we go. 0.65. Yeah, that should have been done a lot faster, yeah. That's coming in. This one is requesting. This is not requesting. Why not? Why is it not requesting anything? Shouldn't it? Or well, doesn't it? Re it only requests when it's at 100%, I guess. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Because otherwise, it you wouldn't know if it would get there. So now you're at 100%. Why are you not requesting anything? Is that because everything is en route? Oh yeah, okay. Weird. Okay, so when it when you see down here, when it's at the bottom of the icon, that means it's being requested. And then when the rocket is ready and this item is inbound, it moves to sort of the top of the line. There we go, like that. Then it goes in and then it has a new requester inbound. And this one's also launching. I don't want to use manual launching rockets. Uh, I think it's too complicated. I really want to use this part. The only, well, the main bad thing about this is that if I suddenly, I don't know, put a train or something silly up here that I don't want, then it starts the process of requesting it into a rocket, sending the rocket up here for something that I really didn't need. You want to get to a position where you don't really care about the cost of a rocket. It doesn't matter. Um, and this is why I think that even though you can launch a rocket when you're at blue science, I think it's very much worth it to have a nice functional base that can produce stuff before you actually get anywhere. Uh, because now I can just launch rockets and not really care because I know that this base can take care of launching rockets at a decent rate. Uh, space science isn't the last science anymore. No, it's not. It's, it's very much not. Uh, let me just show you. How do I show you that easier? No, that's not it. It's uh, that one. Science. There you go. Science packs. That's a lot of science packs. And we're just working on this one. And then there's for each of the planets. And then some bonus one at the end. Yeah. So every time now we are just working on the last foundations. Okay, so I can start working on design. <laughs> and so now I, if I take this out, it doesn't really matter. So let's see, this, this one can take out because it's already here. These are cargo bays and you can see that the inventory gets bigger when they get enabled. Big inventory, yeah. Nice. So what I'm gonna do now is, I'm gonna build kind of the same thing I did on, on YouTube, but uh, maybe we can make it a little bit better. But it was actually quite good, the one I made for my YouTube episode. We're gonna make a sushi belt, because oh my God, are they amazing in this game now. They are so good. I'm unsure if I want to watch this. Okay. Yeah, the animations of the platform is amazing. It looks so cool. And also, really nice detail. They come into random one of these cargo bays, so it's not like they're just useless junk, but they're actually sending out and coming in, but they don't work. You can't... Very important thing is that you can only interact with the middle one. 
in the sense that this is the one that has the inventory, these are just dead buildings. So you can't pull out from this or put into this. You have to put in and pull out from the middle one. Very important. So the reason why sushi belts are amazing in this game, in this, uh, this setting here, is because of a new feature. Read belt content, hold all belts. First of all, it looks so cool that there's now a rim around it, but this means that it's now tracking everything on the belt at once. This is, without this, it just doesn't really make sense, right? Uh, yes, you can daisy chain them, yes, you can daisy chain them, but you cannot interact with them. This is why you can't interact with them, because otherwise you could sort of build out here, and then you could basically teleport items by putting it in here and pulling it out there. So that's why it, it doesn't work like that. I have a very I just watched this on YouTube. Yeah, I know, I know. I, I don't know, like, I wanted, I, I'd like to do something different, but it was just so damn good. <clears throat> it's kind of the same place, uh, playthrough as YouTube. It's it's kind of in parallel where I will be, okay. Then I think it's a good idea to explain it because I've done this for pretty much all my playthroughs for the last three, four years, and I love this way of doing it. So there's a YouTube track YouTube track and a Twitch track. Basically, the Twitch runs for four hours and makes some progress. Then the next day, I take the progress that I did on Twitch and then a little bit more, sort of rounding it off to a nice deliverable. And then I sort of make a YouTube episode that gets us from here and up to maybe 10% more than where we were at. And then next live stream, I start from the YouTube episode and then work four hours of progress more, sometimes five, and then the next day on YouTube, I take this progress and I make it into a nice YouTube video. And then that's kind of how they, they sort of follow along. That means that on Twitch, we can spend more time and coming up with cool designs. And then on YouTube, I can just pretend that I just come up with this brilliant idea in the, my first try because I just spent four hours and had hundreds of people, maybe even thousands of people looking over my shoulder and go like, have you tried this? Oh, space pipes. Yeah, there's also pipes, yes, but I don't think I need pipes for this. So, uh, where do the large asteroids come to play? When you travel away from Navis. Navis is a safe space. So, no uh, big bad ones are going to hurt you here. Uh, that means... So, let's set up asteroid catchers here and here. Are they overlapping? No. This is the area they're covering, and then that means that anything in here, they will start catching. If there's power, like that. Yoink, yoink, yoink. <laughs> Looks so cool. So so silly and so cool. I don't know. Still not a square. No, it's not supposed to be a square. <clears throat> so now I want to get the items we're mining, put it in here. And then I want to get it in from all sides. So I could do that one would probably be correct. Because then it's exactly in the corner. Oh, this is weird. This is not at... Oh, this is correct. Okay, so like that. We're making it a little bit bigger than on YouTube, just so that it's different. Because we're not moving anywhere, so why not just... Uh... Oh, why are these not... Oh, they're not getting built because I'm missing some platforms. So we're waiting for more platforms to come in. There we go. They're coming in. And then these get built. Nice. It looks so good. So good. There. And that one. Here and here, I guess. This fits perfectly here. So why does it not fit perfectly on that side? Weird. Oh, right, it should. <coughs> okay, okay.
There we go. Right, so now we have coverage all the way around. So now we need to get all of this fed into this belt. Uh, menu set request. Yes, I can just uh, use uh, request groups here. And then just uh, have specific things. For example, when I want to make this into a spaceship, then I might say request modules or belts or something and then put it into a spaceship, fly the spaceship manually over to another planet and then drop it off at that planet. <laughs> Much more, yeah. But th there's no reason not to. I mean, the only reason, the only disadvantage of having a big platform is when it's moving that you need more thrust and therefore need more power and then need more um, chunks of stuff to keep it flowing. flowing. Are you able to automate spaceship deliveries? Yes, I have automated spaceship deliveries. Everything, if I just craft, uh, build something, then it will automatically request it up here. Waiting for Torah Train is warping you into the Shapes 2 universe. Maybe. <laughs> um, or Factorio is exactly like Satisfactory, except we didn't land with an AI. We had to figure everything out ourselves. Do we know the time of day? Mm, I don't know, but today the embargo was lifted at 12 UTC. So I, my guess is it's going to be the same. Right. Let's think. Um, I need this on belt. Okay, so let's get this in here. Sorry. Got a little bit of a cold. Sorry about that. Horizontal flip. Like that. Another horizontal flip. So let's start by doing this and then use this space around here. That was a dab sneeze. That's how we do it. <laughs> Okay, um, so if I do this, uh, let's let's uh, let's make the mistake and then uh, fix it. There we go. So what happens now? First of all, they all output in the right locations, so they all put it on the inside belt, which is great. But of course, if I keep doing this, it will. It'll overflow the inside belt, and it might overflow with the wrong kind of uh, of things. So what I want to do is I want to check what's on the belt. We already have it. And then guide it so that it doesn't pick up, for example, metallic chunks if I have too many. <clears throat> that's, the, that's the plan. So this one can then look on um, that one. Is it less than 20? If it is, then I'll put a signal to say, yes, just get more of that inbound. Ice and ice. Okay. And then let's get the lights. This one will just be enabled when anything is greater than zero. Good. So we see that these are active. Okay. So the next thing we need to do is just to actually block them off. No. Okay. Um, and this one... Don't read content, I think. And then all of these will be set filter. So now it stops getting these inbound. It'll only monitor for ice, ice baby. Come on, there's an ice, ice one, that one. So when this one comes into the area, then it will be picked up, but the other ones will not be picked up. Come on, you can do it. 
And it goes into the bus. Or the spaghetti sushi. And this one is still active because it's only at 11. I mean, I, I, it just comes naturally for me. It, I, I don't know. It's my age. I'm... I'm Are you forced to do... No. Can you use poles to extend the logic cable range? Yes, you can. You can use power poles. I just kind of try to avoid it. There are no trees up here. True, true, true. And it's also a nice design challenge. So now what we've done is we have ensured that things are coming in and it's not overflowing with the inputs. Great. Now let's work on the reprocessing. I want to build the signs down here because that's kind of what I did before. So let's also do that. So let's do the crushing. There. And get these here. So this will have a recycling. 20% of the chunk just goes back. It's it's so weird that 20% chance of it not actually using anything. So let's um, get that first. That means I am going to... There. That goes pretty damn quick, and there's a lot. Oh, now I know what I'm missing. Now I know what's missing. I'm missing these ones. So now it issues a request immediately to get these up here. Because obviously that needs to be built here. Get those in. And this goes back on the outside belt. Filling it up on the outside belt. And then we need, of course, to get... Oh, here's another thing that's uh, a new feature. Look, the wires keep... The wires attach. Isn't that amazing? So when you cut something, it lets the wire follow. That's also really convenient. Uh, I'm actually going to write that on my... Uh, Cutting, um, what are they called, these ones, circuit thingies, combinators, combinators, keeps the wire connections, there we go, and they got built, and these will also get there, and now I think I need to block this one from working. We make more circuits. So I don't know how to build this without... Well, you, you can build in many different ways without circuits. You can just sort of throw it out what you don't need or something. But I find that using circuits is a really convenient way to do this. So now instead of the metallic, we can then monitor the final products, which is the iron, aeronium, and then the carbon. And the Isium. There. Okay. And then that needs to connect over and tell these belts. Don't go there. I think I'll enable them rather than setting filters. I think this is safer. There we go. And now it turns off. And these two turn off. Sweet. How much do we have on the belt? We have way more. Okay. Uh, I think I need to set the this one down because it's actually loading too quickly up outbound here. There we go. All right. And the carbonium and the isium are going to get there too. So we're going to do this kind of thing. This is going to be ice, and this will be carbon. And this will be carbon if it's greater than zero, and this one will be ice if greater than zero. And they go out. 
Oh, and they need to be hooked up to this one here, so that they actually get a signal. And then I'm uh, keeping these lights on. Okay, and then that turns off. Go. So now we have on the belt, we can see how much we have on the belt. I love this part. I'm trying so hard not to watch. I'm sorry. Uh, how are you creating those structures almost instantly? Is that a space age feature? Yes, when you're in space, things just get built. There are no robots, there's no hand crafting things, so things just propagate out from the hub. Yeah, the new covenant is, uh, is uh, yeah, it's very nice. So basically this is what we need. Um, I can see that I built it way too big. I think we're gonna trim it down a little bit. So let's build some science. Two, three, four, five, six. It gets a lot more complicated when you also need to deal with with enemies or not enemies but uh, explosions or what it's called yeah uh, bigger chunks so you also have to have defenses we don't need to have defenses right now so this should be fine uh wonder if i could get it could i get it in here So this will be our space science. Oh, productivity. Productivity, let's get productivity up here. So we need uh, productivity modules in. Yeah. Check that out and copy this one instead. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. So now I just want to see if I can. Our illustrious champion yeah. returns. Welcome Does it work? Home. Carbon. Paxigum, thank you for the 33 months. How does repair work in space? Um, you, when things break, you have to have replacement things in here. But when they are when they're just taking damage, I don't know actually how they're repaired. I can't remember. Uh, power is something we can only see here. It's not great. So if only we could just oh no, smash something down here. Looks so good. And we get this inbound, and they get built instantly. Oh, I lost, uh, I used all my belts. Okay. <clears throat> so now this is kind of, to me at least, obvious that I built it too big. Uh, can you connect these supplemental belts from the furnaces by joining them into the belt oh, network? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, right. Yeah, that's a good point. I think I... Could do that, right? Yeah. And then this one would also be full belt. Kind gesture. And then that one as well. Here. Full belt, yes. So that would be like the whole thing. So all of the stuff that's idling nearby is also counted. Hey, so I'm thank you for 200 bits. And Digital Wolf with a 40 months. Love that you got early access to show us. Hate that we have to wait a week to experience it ourselves. Yes. You know what? Uh, while this is chugging along and we're building some science, which isn't coming in until we get <laughs> the last transport belt, let me take this opportunity to go my official rant about um, about this thing because some people absolutely hate it, and some people don't mind it. Like uh, on YouTube comments, like why do content creators get access? So first, the facts: content creators and mod makers got access to this when we, um, we we got access to it a month ago when we were invited to Prague to play it on the on site at a LAN event. So after we got access there and then after that we retained access. And that was a surprise to me when they were like, oh yeah, and you can keep access. And the embargo lifts before Our 
uh, a week before go live and i was like whoa so that was the facts then my response first Belf, thank you for the gift sub and Vichu, thank you for the tier three for 69 months nice there we go and i can i'm gonna start saying nice a lot with the amount of subs it's that means it's now 69 months ago since i started as a full-time content creator because that's the highest number of uh, of uh, <laughs> months of subscription for the people who been been around since the beginning lots of ram thank you for the gift sub Britzel, thank you for the 10 months. And Immortal, thank you for Prime. Okay, so now, when, immediately when I thought about it, when I heard about it. Sweetius, thank you for the Prime. And Fior, thank you for the Prime. Ooh, lovely to see so many new Primes. Okay, so. Then I they immediately I thought, damn. Because I was planning on playing Satisfactory, and then suddenly there was this pressure for me to to create content for Satisfactory, uh, for Factorio. And I talked with the moderators, and thank you very much, moderators, for providing some really good feedback on the, on this. Because for me, as a as a creator, it's of course advantageous that I get early access, because then I can uh, there's less competition, and there's sort of a hunger for for this. So from it purely business perspective it's awesome that i get access <clears throat> and if i then had a lot of videos ready and this is how to do this this is the perfect setup for this this is a i think all these designs ready on day one it would kind of suck because i would then do all of the discovery on my own and it would be limited because it would just be me and it wouldn't be a communal effort and that meant that everything that i would be streaming would be like oh i already know this so there's no sense of discovery, no sort of dialogue about how we're going to do things. So that was kind of my my um, sort of uh, hesitation about that, th giving it. I understand commercially, generally, but I don't understand it from Boop's perspective in this case. Um, yeah, I don't think it makes sense from a business perspective why they give access to us for one week. I talked to... So, uh, to Coverex and some other developer that I can't remember who it was and about this and I and I think Coverex said something along the lines of now I'm paraphrasing of course something along the lines that he would hope that people wouldn't spoil everything and then the developer was just laughing and go like of course they'll spoil everything immediately and he was like yeah I guess so which to me sort of indicated that it wasn't like a we considered all the factors and this is our best business strategy moving forward. It was more along the lines more of, oh yeah, tray. hmm, yeah, that, that the consequence is that everything will be spoiled on day one. Oops, we didn't really think this through. Uh, that's kind of the sense I got from it. That might be completely wrong, but I didn't, I didn't get a sense that it was a cold business decision. It was more along, I, my guess, this is purely on me, my guess is that it was more along the lines of, oh, we want to give access, we want to get content creators to get experience with it. We want to have some reviews and stuff to build hype before release. And so we need to give access and what can we expect? Okay, they can get access one week earlier, you know, those kind of things. And then not sort of thinking all the consequences do. So me as a gamer, I hate it. I think we should all have access at the same time. As a content creator, I would have preferred it to be more restrictive NDA, basically saying you get, you are allowed to stream it three days before the release and you're only allowed to show Volcanus. So no Fogora, Gleba, Last Planet, no, none of that. Then it would be like, okay, cool. We can, as content creators, show you something and get you hyped about it. But right now we can spoil everything. And it's only up to us to not spoil, which means like the race to the, to the bottom. Someone will be uh, spoiling everything in the game immediately. And I think that's a, they give, they give too much access or too much, yeah, they gave too much uh, freedom to developers in the, uh, to content creators in the beginning. And I think this is because they're handling it themselves, so they don't have experience with it, while other companies usually have an agency that will then go like, okay, if you do this, if you do this, then you need a contract and you need to sign this and you need to have a very More limited, uh, you know, all those things, right? And, and Vuka just managed it themselves and they are sort of keeping it close knit and they I don't know how they if they contacted like the biggest streamers or 
anything because I don't think they're going to do sponsored content. Um, but they will sort of hope for the, the, the word of mouth. So for me, it seems like it is, it is they kind of stumbled into this decision. And then once you once the cat is out of the bag, then yeah. Or once the toothpaste is out of the tube, you're not going to put it back. So that's why I decided that I wanted to do it this way. I spent the time preparing, but preparing as a vanilla save or a space age save without the, the rockets so that we could do the rocket launching together and we can go to the planets. And I've seen a little bit of Volcanus, a little bit of Fulgora, but not everything. I haven't even seen the demolisher because it didn't spawn. So. Anyway, so while I was a uh, Yapping away. Uh, blank Overtone with a brand new Prime and Glowing Mushroom also with a brand new Prime. Thank you so much for the new Primes joining. Uh, it's so nice to see new people here as well. Nether Wars with a three years and then Moon jumping jumping in with 20 gift subs getting us all the way to almost to a level three. And then Ideas of March uh, with 10 gift subs getting us to a level three. Thank you, everyone. So that is, that's my take on it. I would have loved it to be more restrictive review but I can't just I chose to go a little bit soft on this <clears throat> and not sort of optimize the hell out of it because I want to get the sense of exploration with you as well how do science specs go back to novice gravity yes they're starting to be crafted here that works by me uh, <clears throat> sorry I didn't mean to track a rent no the, it, it was a uh, it was something I needed to talk about and I just wanted to talk about it when we sort of got started and there were more people here. So I could hopefully not have to do the same rent multiple times. <clears throat> anyway, uh, power. So, oh yeah, it's not, not quite there. Oh yeah, this is because this is way too expensive. Uh, well, let's use the fact that we have a big platform to just... Do some more here. Paxicum, thank you more for 10 more gift pray. subs. Wow. What's the best for space science? Originally, it seemed to require uranium. Yes, it doesn't require uranium anymore. They've removed that. So it now is ice, iron, and carbon. Two, twice as much iron. Which means with this recipe, you're going to be ice starved, which is annoying. Which is also what we see, that ice will probably be the one that is starving the most. Um, because this one is one chunk to five ice this one is one uh, carbonic asteroid chunk to 10 carbon so you get twice as much carbon and then for the iron one it's even more it's 20 iron so yeah the only thing what we could do with this is we could try to sort of gather it all around a beacon that would be some more. Whoa, Addison March, thank you so more much for 20 gift subs. Wow. That then suddenly it's a level four again. Four XRs. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Yeah, we're running at two thirds power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um let's see now if we're if the power is getting better. Not really. So I don't think we can keep this. I think we might want to uh, to do this one. I think that'll help out quite a bit. And when we get better modules, we can also throw them in here. Did it get better? Yeah, almost, almost. And if we had higher quality solar panels, that would also help a lot. This is why higher quality solar panels are amazing. Uh, this thing here, I don't really like it. I think I can do... Ooh, can I do, can I do that? Yeah, we can do underground. Interesting. Right hand side in the direction of travel. That means this is not merging in. Damn. But over on this side it is working. Hmm. We also want to play the new DLC. I understand. And swimmer with the 200 bits. Alright. Are we going to sacrifice symmetry? I don't know. I don't want to. But uh, I don't know. Is there any way that I can do this? 
Oh yeah, right underground is not placed. Yeah. This one works, this one does not. Hmm. Yeah, but if I, s if I snake the belt here, then I can't put this in here and here, which is what I really wanted. So now I can do now I can do this, which is nice. But on the other hand, I'd actually like this one to be pushed a little bit closer, which it can't do when I do this. So I guess we have to keep this out on the side. And then No. Take these two out. Kill that line. I got a little bit closer. Mm. I can actually make it. And hey! Masto, I beat Vanilla Factorio earlier this year with the help of a few of your videos. Can't wait to play Space Age. Nice! Thank you for the 1000 bits. That's gonna take you the hype train. Oops. Just kind of thinking if this one could also be moved one back, right? Yeah. And then all of this is kind of useless. I can still do it like this. This still works. Yeah. Then this one can go even further back. Yeah, I lost my filter. I know. Alright, so one minute left on the hype train. There's a long way, but we've also been doing uh, quite, quite well on this. There we go. Yeah. I just really like symmetry. I don't know if any of you have noticed that before, but I like the symmetry here. Uh, why is... Oh, this one can go one in. Okay. That looks good. This one can actually go one closer in. Let's do that. <clears throat> oh, wow. It actually kept that information. Hmm. And looks like we're going to get that lovely train. What is that? 42 subs. Oof. I mean, oh, not everything can be symmetric, but it can look symmetric, and it feels symmetric. Even when I paste it like this, it still retains the symmetry. Uh, is this the same? Yes, it's the same. I need to filter enabled. Yes. And that was the train. Thank you very much. Woohoo! I managed to not get like three hours of bonus, but I still got a massive hype train. Thank you for the level four hype train. Uh, this one can then also get inbound. I can. No, it can go there. Like this is just trimming, nothing important about this. Uh, if there was if there was any other place, then it would be important to keep it keep it powered. Okay, so let's see. Right now, the only thing that's online is the ice. So let's have a look. We're at 18. That's good. And this is keep chugging along. Back of you is nice. If it made it to level five, we would soon need to gift. Red Bull instead of gift up. Yes. Well, we do. Oh, it's one. Uh, it's nine eight, nine p.m. So, uh, I need to take a break. I like this. If we look at this, it has full coverage. It has a little bit of overlap. And what is the crafting speed? This is um, zero point three nine times six. That is two point three four science per second times sixty. That is one hundred and forty science per second, uh, for per minute. And the other designs on like underground are about the same so this is definitely keeping up and this is stable 
this is this one is just fire and forget this will run for the rest of the game uh, without maintenance at all so yeah that's pretty neat right can you rotate solar panels no I'm rotating sound of me rotating Maximum number of platforms. I don't know if there are maximum number of platforms. I don't think there's not a fixed number. Uh, can we take a second one just to copy paste? Yes, we can. We can just do uh, this one and then uh, copy. What? Oh, copy. And then go into blueprints and then uh, put it in here. There. Space platform blob. There. -da. And then we can make another one if you want. Uh, I think you need a shape with more edges to have enough grabbers. Uh, this one is keeping up. I think. Maybe this is kind of, but anyway, let me take a break. Yes, let's, uh, let's look at this one as we take a break. And, oh, I'm also going to need to save. That is Twitch 03. And let's go up here. You can use the arrow keys to filter between the different uh, platforms, which is super handy. All right, I'll be back in two minutes. Hello, brought the other kitty. Brought the other kitty up to say hi to you. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Just casually putting his claws on my neck just to show who's the boss. Let's, let's, let's not do that. There we go. All right. Well, now I can't play. We can just sit here and watch because uh, it's time to do that. Did you take the power again? Oh, that's a good point. All right, now I'm going to sit you down again. There we go. Back to the job. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> There's a lot of ice chunks in the inner half. Um, there's not a lot of... There, there's just... There isn't a lot of this, or there's not too much of this. This is... Uh, it, it balances. So, for example, now it turns off. So now if there's ice chunks coming in, they will not be picked up. Like that one. 
until there is a demand. Let's have a look at uh, power again. That's a good point. Power is a little complicated to look at. It's it's balancing. It's it's good. Uh, Would be a lot better. So now let's get stuff down again. We are building an army. So we go over here. I'm going to make a new group. That's called. And Shadow D R G N. Thank you for the prime. Uh, space age. Science packs. Plural. Because this one will always just request all the science packs. 200? Sure. There, 1000. That's better. So, this goes in. And we just kind of get used to using this. And it goes in, merges in, so that's perfect. Right, so that means this one is at, what was it at? Also, there's a new feature up here. Overlay, so that means it's 1 minute and 18 seconds. We are missing, I get 125 signs per minute and the one in space was creating 140. So it fits pretty well, honestly. The next thing we want to do is look at, um, get started on some science. That one is the first one. And then, no, logistics is the first one. Logistics is most important, then quality modules, then maybe coverage. No, we don't really need that. Platform thrusters, then I think we just get these. And then maybe thrusters. Yeah. And then after thrusters, we unlock the planets. Ooh. Yep. Come on, 98%. Get on with it. One minute. We can wait one minute. Just finished watching your upload on YouTube. It's funny how coherent jumping from YouTube to here is. Yeah, if you just finished it right now, Engineer Candyman, it is pretty damn perfect timing. Because uh, <laughs> it's, it's literally ending when the YouTube episode ends when I research logistics system, which is going to be like two minutes out. So pretty smooth transition. Could you always move science like that? What do you mean, could you always move science like that? Rearranging science queue, isn't that normal? I can't remember. Is that a new thing? And then we want to upgrade all of these. Nope, new. Oh, okay. Well, then I'm going to put it on, uh, on my list of sort of small features. Reordering... A uh, science queue. Ta -da! And working on the logistics system. And once we got the logistics system, we're going to be setting this one up to be a hub based. <laughs> Legoland is superior to Disneyland. I don't know. I don't have. I don't know. That break costs 150. 1500 viewers. I think it's because of uh, the promotion thing, the front page thing that sometimes then falls off fast. I don't know. Who cares? I got all the important people here. On a main bus base, how do you decide what to produce on the left side and on the right side? Uh, yeah, for me. Our illustrious champion returns. I was. Welcome I, I kind of wanted a theme. Of saying I want all the science on one side and then I was just looking at how much that would take of space and then on the other side of it it was logical to say circuits on the other side so once I decided that it's circuits on one side and science on the other side there wasn't really a whole lot left in terms of space and of course like the first thing you want to do is green circuits and the hub so once those are built everything else sort of follows along then okay well if i have green signs uh, green circuits then i also do red circuits and if i do green and red then blue makes sense and then likewise if i do the science then let's do all the science because they're going to be collected to a single science point that it kind of sort of evolved and then whether we do this one here or not then i don't know but it kind of don't forget to, yeah but we don't have those yet we um we, I'm not going to do it until we have this one unlocked, which is 500 off. So we're just kind of waiting for this uh, logistics system to complete. 
which it will in 17 seconds. <clears throat> so many undergrounds mean I like... Okay. It doesn't matter. It's a static cost, so... Okay, oh, right. Uh, this is not actually where we want to go. We want to go to the hub. Oh, by the way, this should be something I want to show you. This is a random thing. Uh... Because we obviously want to add this to the hub. Otherwise, it doesn't work. That one. That one. That one. And this will be... Yeah, yeah, and... Yeah. Get that in, and... That one, that one. That one, that one, that one. And then constrain it to be greens. And this one. Next is, yep, yeah, purple. And this one. Good. And then let's get the... Uh, no. Really? Look at that! You can put legs on your tank! <laughs> it's silly! But it's awesome! Uh, can I start a save today and be okay with the DLC or should I wait? Mm. They are really recommending not doing it, but if you can't help it, then that, yeah, there might be things that don't work. I know it was a month ago, but when I tried migrating my base, it didn't work. Now it's a mech, not a tank. <sighs> but it's pretty cool that you can put this in here. Go away. Interesting how that one also disappeared. Never mind. And we got the modules. Quality modules can now be put in here. Quality modules. Ta-da! And then this one should also be assigned to quality modules. That one, that one, that one, and that one. Good. All right, moving up and then setting up. Uh, hold on. This. Fifty. I want to have an upper scale on everything. Great. <clears throat> Buffer chest, yes. We're gonna get buffer chest. Like, everything has changed in this uh, playthrough here. That one. And this is now also gonna be this here. Good. Then we get productivity module soon, and then they get started. And I take this out and get you in here and I don't know we'll keep the train because the train's kind of useful here I can't make the thrusters yet champion returns welcome home Who is that? Uh, Oxdaffy, welcome home. Thank you for the 17 months. Okay, now we just copy paste in here. Yeah, should be fine. And yes, electric engines are not gonna be great. Let's uh, take this out and use those to put. Oh no! Stop! 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 Oh no! Ah, panic! Panic! More panic! All these need to go out. 
Ah, shoot. Actually, I want zero of this. Zero. I don't know if this is a good idea, but... And then I want all the good ones. 50 of those. 50 of these. And the most important one. That. Mm -hmm. Then I can get here. Productivity module 2. And speed module two. Our illustrious champion returns. And the speed module over here. Nope. That one. Paste, paste, and paste. You got it. Alexis, thank you for the 12 months for your support. Hello, Bogoshan. Um Now I need these to be removed. And then down here, that one. That one, that one, that one. Yes. Boom, boom. Boom. What does this give? This cannot be. Oh, look at that. This. There's no impact for this, uh, for quality. So that can't be qualityed. Qualityed. What about a uh, rocket silo? Is just going to be faster. Don't think that matters. What about this one? Radar coverage. That's a weird one. Because it also works uh, as a radar coverage. Because when you land on a new planet, this is the first building you want to stamp down, if you can. Efficient models have always been great at reducing power and pollution. Yes, but power and pollution have never really been a concern. But they are a concern now, and therefore it's also interesting. Therefore, they become valuable. I did not feel that they were valuable before. Sure, for miners, you could throw them in there, but... It wasn't strictly necessary. It was easier just to spend less resources and just making more solar panels. Speaking of solar panels, let's up our solar panels. Yeah. Let's switch this one back to that one. And go, 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 go. Right, and then I will be... This one should not be constrained by the quality. This should be all quality. Oh, look at that. Any quality. Please just... Oh, that sucks. That I have to do that manually. No, 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 no. You, you are going to be here, and then it's going to be quality greater than or equal to uncommon. It fills you with determination. And J. Paul, J. Roll Gomez, thank you for the prime. Welcome. What planet order do you recommend? Now I haven't played it, but I'm gonna do Volcanus, Fulgora, Bleba, and then uh, Aquilo. The reason I want to do Volcanus first is twofold: cliff explosives. That's the main one. The second one is better belts because you really need those better belts when you get to Fulgora because. A lot of things on Fulgora will end up being belt constrained and you want to go like really fast loops. So you want to have those. <laughs> Show how much better solar panels get. Uh, yes, of course. There. There. They get 30% better each, each step. And then the last step is better than 30%. So. Wouldn't you need to know to now limit your solar panel See the block to normal quality blueprint to not waste high tiers. No, it is already. Like, everything is assuming normal. So my blueprint... This blueprint is normal quality. It won't, in, uh, it won't insert any higher quality things unless I tell it explicitly to make it higher quality. <clears throat> Let's do Covarex and... Uh, Let's do Kovarex. I bet that's the reason why he decided to name it after himself so that people would go like, let's do Kovarex. I'm sure that's the reason. We're not going to be launching these yet. 
And let's also upgrade. Let's do an upgrade planner here from... I think I'll take this out. And then do from productivity 1 to productivity 2. Yes. And actually go from this one to... Oh, do I also want to upgrade here to here? Yeah. Upgrade. This one really needs modules at some point. Uh, let me see something that I can't remember. This is speed minus 10. Oh, not what I want. Speed minus 5, speed minus 10, 15. Okay, so they do get slower. Hmm. This one, yeah, the modules down here are not really working because we're not getting enough inbound here. I think we need to do something about that so we get a bigger percentage in. Oh yeah, and now in order for us to trigger this, I want to make more solar panels. So now I want to make more solar panels. And look at that, they actually just put landfill underneath them immediately. Really nice. Okay. can't remember what I want to look at. Hmm. Oh yeah, it's the module production, this one. I know, this is a little bit cheeky, isn't it? It feels so old school to build these manually. Yeah, there we go. We've got a lot more pressure in here, which I think is necessary. And these are coming in here as well. Oh. Uh, okay, this one, I also need to change this. to get two outbounds here. So if this is number four, then this one should also be. Oh, there. This is a little bit, it's not exactly a hack because it is intended to be like this in the original blueprint as well. That it goes in from both sides. Then I need to do the same thing for this one. Now number one and number three. Yeah. Our illustrious oh, I got the wrong side. Oops. Welcome home. Uh, I need to go to the side instead. There we go. And found here and that one. Wow, this is not doing very well. Why is it so bad? Oh, it's because it's the end of the line. Okay, no. There. Uh, Ilchas, thank you for the 21 months. And uh, Epic, thank you for gifting a sub to Merlin. 
Is the main boss the same or is it different? Uh, this is the same. The same as what? So right now our issue is that, let's see. I mean, it is of course copper that we're running out of. There's not really much I can do about it. They're consuming, they're working. I could sort of do, can I do this? No. That one, that one, that one, and that one. How much power is this? This is 30, and this is minus 10, 10, and 10. So that's actually a nice balance. Seventy-two? Do I have seventy-two? Don't think so. But we're also just straining it a lot, so not really a big surprise that we can't really keep up with this. But it's one of those things that will stabilize eventually-ish. Do we have tier two solar now? Nope, there's no tier two solar. Good. This one's working. And did we get anything? Yeah, look at that. We got a, a single one, a single Kagabo, which has five more slots. And a single one of these crushers. Yeah. What about our solar panels? Ooh, look at that. This one is 96 kilowatt. And this one is 78. So the thing is, I can't get these up to space until we have a full stack. Unless I send them up manually. So for example, on our platform here, 30. So, for example, when we get 30 solar panels, I could take them up here and then uh, replace it so that we get just get a little bit more power up here. Can you show how you define, refine them to legendary? Um, I mean, I can't. Here, this is epic and this is legendary. That requires cryogenic, agricultural, electromagnetic, metallurgic, and space science, so it's way far away. Look at them. That's the stuff they were teasing. Oh, fishies, fish breeding, nice. <laughs> just, I just get. Ooh, what is this? What is this? <laughs> right. So at this point, uh, we have a number of things. Let's uh, have a look at power. Just, oh, just I'm freaking out with this. Ooh, not so great. Not so great. Okay, we'll get better once this one actually gets uh, gets through. So there's definitely something we need to do here on Nalvis, and that is uh, capture this uranium, because we need... Oh, Kovarex. Let's actually build Kovarex. Then um, let's do Kovarex. <laughs> uh, and... Yeah. Uh... Don't want to get those up here. Let's get this one. Just these. I think these are supposed to be the Cobrex build. I don't know what this is, though. I have no idea what the logic of all this silliness is. Like, one of them... This one is definitely supposed to be requesting rocket fuel in bath. I know that. That's going to make nuclear fuel. There. Not that. Ten. And that goes in. That, that I can recognize. Uh, this is my Kovarex build, so that's fine. But is this a Kovarex build? I don't know if that's actually the case, or if this is a recycled thingy build. No, it's not. I think it might be the recycled one. Yes. I think that makes sense, right? And then it comes out here, and then it gets input, and then prioritized back on this belt. Yes, that makes sense. 
Do a little bit of quality earlier, but at massive scale, it's much, much later. Yes. So quality is an endgame thing, not something to do before getting all the planets. Mm. Little Diamond, I would say it's very much a late game thing where you really go crazy with it. But there is there's a sprinkle of it, which is what we do now, where we sort of say, oh, I'd like to have like 8% of my solar panels that I built would be nice ones because they then I can use those in orbit. Cool. Also, ah, the most important one is actually over here. Um, so that's the first little teeny tiny thing you can do. What is this? Oh, damn, I get distracted. Transmission is just efficiency. Okay, that's good. Oh, look at that. There's a graph in here. But, oh, empowering decreases. Ooh, beacons are really good. There you go. Quality beacons. Um, right. Anyway, what I was saying. Okay, yeah. Quality. And then the next step is once you have Fulgora, you have the recycler. So that means you can set up process that sort of rolls the dice, the gambling, to try to sort of increase things and then just have it rolling and just consuming resource. And then you need to check back later and you have some rare materials. Um, and that's, that's really good, but very expensive. Quite expensive. And then the late game, that's when you can go completely crazy and we don't know how that works yet, but that's how it is. It's quality rails, does the health? Uh, I don't know, is there... Yes, base health. Not particularly valuable. <laughs> also base health. Spider-Tron, base health. That might actually be useful to have it. And storage size. Hmm. But not the grid size, unfortunately. Ooh, what about... the? Um... <gasps> I actually showed it. I accidentally showed it. This one? This is the best thing. <laughs> this is the best thing. Yeah, so... Why is this so good? Why is this so good? So you look at it and go like grid size 10 by 12. Okay, so it's just a little bit better. And like those stats that make no sense. What's the point? The mech can fly. It can fly. Oh, it's so good. It is like when you get it, it's like, oh my God, this, I didn't know how much I needed it. It is so good. And it, it's awesome as well. No, through space, you just, you ignore you just walk straight through buildings and it just jumps and it, it looks so good. So it is really nice. It and it, it's not it's not shit like the one in, in uh, space exploration where it just has this uh, you go in direction and it goes like that's not where I wanted to go. So yeah. So it's, it's really nice. <clears throat> Let's get these two going on our Kovarexing. I feel like something is missing from this Kovarex build. Like, maybe the actual... That sound was like, ah, oh, panic! No, wait, that's not it. There. So we just get these two, and then see, this is being 0, 0.0... No, 1.3 per minute per second. Oh yeah, okay, so it's 0. 0. 0.04 per second. Okay, that's fine. I think it's time for us to... I don't know if these feel valuable. Electric weapons damage. Beam damage for the destroyer. I mean... Maybe we research this one so that it's done. All right, so we now have a infinite supply. Yeah, looks good. And this one is also working. This uh, is uh, constrained so that it only does it when there is a storage of more than 400. Because I don't want to accidentally Make, uh, I actually get in a situation where I can't get it. So now we can actually activate nuclear power. 
uh, because we have Kovarex build and we have it up here. But we don't really need it, but it's just nice to know that it's getting a little bit, a little bit critical. So I think the next task is for us to start designing a spaceship. Still 16, 59 of those productivity modules. Oh, yeah, I see it. I see you. I see a problem here. Modules are not doing so hard. I really want this upgraded. That's weird. Why would they change some of them to speed modules? No, that's definitely not what I want. Because of that one. We get more speed, but it doesn't really matter with more speed since we don't have more productivity. Uh, I'm thinking maybe... So clearly the blue circuits are a big problem here. Because we just don't have any. And that's because green circuits are a problem. And green circuits, we can't really get any more of that in uh, any reasonable way. A little bit extra from productivity modules. But honestly, not so much more. This, I mean, we're using six lanes of copper, uh, eight lanes, uh, four lanes of copper, and how much do we have? We are only, we could actually increase this somehow. Yeah, we do actually have more, so I could bring it up on, if I just had some extra belt that's not to be used for anything, this belt, for example. Oh, that's a pain. That's a pain to do that. But you can see here, this goes into these two lanes. And then up here it merges in with that. So if it didn't merge, then I could actually have... How is that not working? Like, why? Weird. Weird, weird. Um, yeah, the thing is, I don't want to overstrain the space. But it also is pretty much idle out here in the, the network, so I can easily, I can easily support more. I can get twelve belts of iron, and I can get sixteen belts of copper, and I definitely need more copper going in. So getting extra belts in here would be nice. Oh, here I guess. I guess it has to be these ones. I guess so. Normally I would upgrade to blue belts, but I'm not going to upgrade to blue belts yeah. because I'm going to skip blue belts completely and go straight from red belts to green belts. And then we're going to use everything on green belts. So let's think about this. I guess we'll just take maybe these two and send them up into the next one, I guess. that like that and then so this part was pretty easy let's kill this part That's done. And we'll do the same thing for. Hmm. 
I really wanted this one beer, but I, I can't do that. Um... Damn it. So I kind of have to just go around again uh, to this belt. Let's do that. Let's let's kind of use this as... There we go. That goes over here. And that goes into... Right, so that means the lower one is now going somewhere else. No longer going upwards here, which means that's coming exclusively from... I'm just a little bit in doubt about this. This is one, two, this is three, four. It, it should be correct. It should be correct. I think. Right. <clears throat> this one is ideally taking... If it takes one full iron belt, then it's taking one and a half. So it's going to be one and a half plus one and a half. That's three, six, nine belts. And I can get eight belts inbound. That's pretty close, right? And I've already made this one ready here. And I believe that this is supposed to be something like this. Okay. Hmm. Trying to, f to get this, let's see, that and that. Good. That's one outbound. Um, now let's do it exactly like the other one. This one is going to be like half of one, half of two, half of three, half of four, and then the last two will be merging as well. Let's do exactly the same way. That's the only thing that kind of makes sense. I don't need this because it's already... Oh, we got the next one. I'm going to leave these unresearched. What else do we want? No, always do some of that. Is there a reason you don't have priority split off into buildings? Yes, I don't like that. Uh, because I'd much rather have multiple things running at a half rate then I'd have something like if I prioritize this then nothing works up here I'd rather have everything working a little bit than just some things working 100% and other things just not working at all look this is what um, we're seeing I am just casually working in in map mode and not even caring Because map mode works so nicely that it really... You don't need to be next to it. Anything anymore? Oops. Oh, that one. It's... Yeah. 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 Oh, shoot. It has to be on the inside. Oops. Well, that's still an option, isn't it? It gets a little bit complicated to figure out what the hell's going on when it's just all these on top of each other. Uh, that one, that one, and in. Inbound. Mm -hmm. Why is this... Oh, it's not dead. It's just... It's coming in.
And then the next one is on the inside, so that's here. Got it. Next one is... And perfect, perfect. Good. So at this point, we've now taken everything out. There. And then the last two come in at level Got it. and the second one or the last one is coming in at this one so it always takes a little bit of time to manage the the bus design here but honestly it's i don't know it it doesn't feel too overwhelming to me at least I'm also thinking like how long time would this take if I didn't have a bus yeah so this is now being happy and fed and that means we can probably scale it up which means the funny thing becomes oh crap we actually need more iron <laughs> So how do we get more iron inbound? Ooh, uh, yeah, wait a minute. We don't have any place to get that in. We'll see. Isn't that part of the belt going into the circuit? Okay. And it's also like really nice and symmetric and now we'll start drawing in more from this. I like it. It was pretty pretty smooth build i think this one gets removed and i could clean this up if i wanted to but it looks fine and it gets merged up here good and uh, the copper on the top two builds missing I don't, um, I can't see it. Sorry. But, uh, oh, this one. It's this one, I think it's this one you meant. Yeah. Middle build, yes. Right, so now this is actually, you can see it's saturated for all of it. So I could do something like this if I wanted to. Come on. Boop. Boop. Ah, oh, man. I love modular builds. I love modular builds. It's so nice. There we go. That should get us too much. That actually gets us six lanes of of uh, green circuits. Ah, then we have the green circuit build. But then we have other things. It's always going to be something, right? But I think it's time for us to, to close our eyes to all the problems <laughs> and hope they go away. All right, this is ah uh, this. Let's see how are we still oh, we're still missing some productivity modules. This is definitely what we want to do. We definitely want to add more product, better productivity modules to this. Let's get thirty additional in here. It's important. How many do I have? Do I have any? Yeah, I have forty-two. So let's go and put those in. I think that's the most important thing: getting more oil. Quality patrol. Nope, no quality petroleum. Just more productivity going in here. Not that one? No? And I just check here. This one is empty. And this one's empty. Okay, so we are consuming everything we can. That what we could do 
is actually upgrade up here. Data speed module out there. And also then we use the function here, oil. That one. Scale up the oil. And then oil. I didn't need this, but I, I think it's uh it's it's just nice to showcase this function. There you go. Good. Quality pump jacks. Quality pump jacks. You get high quality oil. Uh well quality pump jacks, that's actually a good point. Would that do anything? What is what do quality pump jacks do? I love this. Where it's just just like uh what does it do? Base health. Resource ooh, resource drain. Well it's kind of irrelevant once it is drained, but that's remarkably good. Wow. Missing power on the right oil field? Ah. Uh. Okay, for one of them. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, maybe not useful on those, but yeah. I think it's very useful. Right, so what is the situation here? The situation is we have 50. Ooh, look at that. So I will just go here, go to the platform, and then I'm going to... That will be some things upgraded, yes. But I also want to upgrade... This is going to be a temporary one. That one, two, uncommon. Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. I don't actually think that's valuable to build, to put productivity modules in this. Because it's infinite resources, so why do we even care about this? It just slows it down. Yeah, because it's it's you'd usually do it to save resources, but here, don't don't care. It's already coming in. Do you ever have so many viewers? Unfortunately, not. But you know, it's nice that uh, it's nice that it is factor. There we go. Boom. <laughs> Upgrade everything just got updated. Nice. Uh, that is Factorio that kind of breaks records. There we go. And then we do separate. So this is 30% more than we had previously. Nice. Um, and I also did this. So then now we could sort of go like, okay, would there be something that would be valuable to speed up maybe? I want to drop. How do I... How do I drop this? Huh. Shift left click or control left click to menu and move items there. There we go. Just drop it down to, to the ground because there's no reason to keep expensive stuff up here. Yep. And then we go up here. Oh. Ah. Yeah. That was... Dropping down to orbit from orbit from is free, yes. And let's get this up to 2,000. And then it gets stuck in here. So we need to do filter. That one, blacklist. Illustrious champion returns. Welcome home. Yeah. So everything that is not a, a space science will, and I'm dropping down from here, will just go phew, off. We go somewhere. Axak, thank you for the 29 months. So happy to watch you playing Space Age. Hope you enjoyed it a lot. Oh, I very much enjoy it. I'm, I'm sort of pacing myself to not go too fast, but I think it's time.
It is time, right? It is time for us to make a new... Ah. Undo the ruse. There. We are going to launch... Make a... So, in the next hour, we are going to spend time on making a design for a spaceship that will get us from here whoosh, over to Volcanus. Ooh. It's spaceship time. Oh, thrusters. Yes. Let's actually make some thrusters in the meantime. Kind of important. And also, that's important. Because maybe we'll get some better thrusters. Copy, paste. And this one will be 10 thrusters. Yeah. Save Nilos. Yes. Save Nilos. Save the world. Four. And then we're going to be... This one is ready to click the launch. I this is halfway through my eight hour stream and I don't think we're gonna get more glorious hype trains. So I'm thinking I'm this might be a good time for me to just take a little bit extended break to get a little bit of cereal breakfast. So uh, so I it's it's kind of managing my inputs and outputs, uh, building up a buffer for uh, later consumption. So um, it's not gonna be a two minute bonus hours are unlocked. Uh, two bonus hours are unlocked. If you can't say Nilos, yeah, it's true. It's true. Uh, yeah, we've been at it for four hours and we have four more hours to go. So I think that this is a a little bit of a longer break. So maybe like eight minutes. Is that okay with you? Do you can you can you endure an eight minute break? It might just be seven minutes, but I'm gonna say eight minutes so you get uh, you don't get too disappointed. But I'm not gonna force feed you eight minutes of uh, of ads. I'm just gonna leave it as. Uh, yeah, um, with this blinking overlay. So, be back in a little bit.
Right, I'm back. Sorry for the delay, or, well, the extended break. And thank you for your patience. Okay, well, this is good news. Uh, this is 147. Nice. It, funny thing is, like, I, I take my break, and then I run up the stairs. Like, that's going to make a difference. Oh, my God, it's Timbo. Oh, my God, this is... I, who is that guy? Good to see you. That It has been... It's been too long. Just sneaking in during my break. <clears throat> yeah. So I run up the stairs to minimize, to get like one second uh, back faster. It's been years indeed, indeed. But uh, ah, I have stopped crying myself to sleep. But uh, that you uh, you have abandoned us. But, but yeah, you know, it's okay. It's okay. Hope you're doing good. Or doing well. I mean, doing good is for Superman, right? Uh, right. So what we want to do is... I'm going to set the expectation. We are going to build another spaceship. But I want to build a really cool spaceship. So I want to build it slowly. And spend time on doing designs to get it... Welcome instead of just going like, Ah, this is fine. It'll get us there. But just make something that we can go like, This works. This is good. So... Yeah, Estiwaldo, thank you for the 17 months. <laughs> Will it be dick-shaped? Not intentionally, but now that you say it, it's probably going to end up like that. <laughs> this is uh, an anonymous gifter gifted five subs. Thank you, anonymous gifter. Fills you with determination. Uh... It's probably going to be blob shaped because I can't help myself. Uh, so this is going to be a new subscriber arrives. It fills you with determination. Volcanus Express. That's the one. New subscriber. In shape. Steal yourself. We are building. And then it an should be launching by itself. It's going to be city block shape. Yes. Was you an alpha test of Victoria Space Age? No, I was not a sp A new subscriber arrives. It fills you with determination. Um this one. There you go. Some of that. Come steal yourself. Oh, welcome, we thank you for the prime. They're two-dimensional ball cubes, right? And Freak, they give it the 28 months. Yeah, so Timbo, um, I mean, I've been doing the same thing as usual, streaming a lot, but uh, also picked up some interesting hobbies that are not for sharing here on, on stream, but uh, we have been sharing a little bit on, on that. Um, yeah. Then I left it to all the great guys to continue the amazing job. We are building an army. Yeah. Senior fight. Senior fight. Fiance, thank you for the prime. Welcome. Two dimensional cubes are just squares. Yes, they are. That's why there is, it's a city block. All right, let's go up here and go to our Volcanoes Express. Well, it's not, it's kind of underwhelming. Uh, oh, uh, we also need to set this one back to. Oh, what? Why did it bring another one in there? That was weird. Oh, we got to a level... Somehow we got to level one. Oh, it's the anonymous gifter. Hmm. If it ends up like Cosmic Yeah. It it kind of does. And we're going to switch this back to our overlay here. So this one will need to have additional... It won't need to make science. But it will need to make fuel and ammo to shoot stuff. So. I had some of stuff. I'm not completely out of the loop. Ah, I was amazed. You're not surprised about those things, oh, of course. Yeah, we don't know what's going on with you, but that's uh, you're always welcome to uh, to to hang out and come back and uh, just chill at the at the edges of the community if that's what you uh, what you want. These are coming in. Okay, I think I just want to get all the stuff that we need up here. Um, 
Yeah, just getting those. Ooh. Yeah, we don't have those upgraded yet as better. Mm, this one actually going to be going away and then be replaced with uncommon quality. Ooh, because we only want to use the uncommon ones. Combinators, yeah, we're also going to get combinators. Uh, we're also going to get ammo turrets now. So let's get that one up here. Because we're going to need to get a lot of that. Uh, that one and that one. So now we have sort of everything we kind of need to start building this. Hmm. Whoops. That one. A new subscriber. Come, steal yourself. We are building an army. I kind of think I want to do this again. And then basically... <sighs> oh, undergrounds. Yes, undergrounds. Good idea. Probably need them, some of those as well. And lights. That's probably it. Oh, walls. Walls are needed as well. Every item is quality. Yes. Set Chuba as uncommon to over uncommon to need further migrations. Uh, I don't know how that works, honestly. Assemblers? Yeah, definitely assemblers. Oh, and um, a. Whoa, More Lord X, gather. thank you. Oh, that was 20 gift subs. Oh, and by the way, Ben Gun, Ben Gun, thank you for the Prime it's sneaking in there without me noticing. And then thank you, Lord X, for the 20 gift subs. I thought this sub, this uh, hype train was just gonna die off just, just like that, but. <laughs> You you managed to save it. I think I feel there was in the last second, but don't know. Thank you so much. And Swimmer with the 1,000 bits. A new subscriber arrives. It fills you with. Why is it? Oh no! Need to rename it. Luckily, you can do that. There, Volcanus. There we go. Thank you. Uh, am I not mistaken the need quality modules to get into the quality? Yes, I do have quality modules. So, I'll show you while uh, we get this. Um, let's go here. I have my quality module production facility up here. Ooh, look at that. And they are going up to Mark two quality modules. Whoa, stuff is happening. Damn, I can't keep up. Um, this is not really keeping up, but it's a thing. These are now Mark II. What it else would be more important to add as Mark II upgrades? Science, I guess. A new subscriber arrives. It fills you Maybe this part. That's expensive. Oil? Yeah. I guess oil is probably the worst gather. case. More shall enter the fray. Okay, I. I... Okay, I'm. Uh, I've, I've, I'm not keeping up. Uh, these might be a thing. This would actually be useful. Uh, More shall More shall let let me fray. figure out what the hell happened. Because I got overwhelmed. So after Swammer gave the 1000 bits, then Eagle, some number, 13. Thank you for the Prime. And Auspexus, thank you also for Prime. Ah, I love those uh, brand new Prime subs. Because it's so nice to see that when we stream for a lot of people, then there's actually um, some people who choose to join. Thank you. And Demo... Moist. Moist? Maybe? Thank you for the Prime. Welcome. Skigan, thank you for your tier 1 sub. And Thalor, thank you for the Prime. So that was like five additional brand new subs. Welcome. And then Ghost of Phoenix stopping 10 gift subs. Thank you so much, Ghost of Phoenix. And then Dancing Charmander with 28 gift subs. 28. I don't know why it's 28. Was that just exactly what was needed to complete the sub? To complete the... Um, the level and that means we're now sitting sweet at a level four hype train welcome home can you show us a time plate on the server i can show you 14 minutes ago it was 40 hours so thank you neo for 34 months and uh, then yeah okay so again if, i'm gonna say it, if we hit a level five then i add another hour we already got two bonus hours but it is also overwhelmingly awesome uh, that we are we're back Hey Timbo, thank you for the 2,500 
for bringing me back to Factorio again and wanting to play again. Uh, I'm sorry, or I'm happy. Uh, you're very welcome back, and uh, there's always a space for you in whatever uh, part you want. That's the, that's the reason, I mean, that's the reason why I don't kick old moderators when they sort of lose interest. Is it, you never, there's always a, there's always a door open. So, look at that, level one, just like that, bit leader number one. Look at that, remember in the good old days, you could not take a bit leader with 2,500 bits. Ah, oh, let's see, um... Is the current book available somewhere? No, I don't have a book right now. Yeah, it must also be nice that you you you've been away for a long time, and then you could sort of sneak back and say hi, and then recognized and appreciated. That was that was nice. Right. What am I doing now? Uh, oh yeah, I just got back. Okay. So what shape do we want? It's really difficult for me to not make it square or rectangular because it is oh don't do that uh it's just so convenient to make it rectangular because then you can do these kind of things right so maybe i want to make it steal yourself real big innovations here maybe i want to make two collectors up front and then three on either side and then nothing at the behind behind because we are going to have thrusters there Swimmer with a five gives ups. All right. And uh, Lockman, thank you for the prime. And Farzak, thank you for the prime. Yeah, so it is. Um... Jedi, thank you for 27 months. All right, we're 32, a third of the way through this hype train. Yonsunik Gantron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they can sort of stick in between. Um... You. It's hard to see what's the middle of this. I'm gonna put you out there, and then that's no good. More shall Ooh, gather. God. More shall enter the fray. That's amazing. Oh, what happened? Disappear? What? Oh, can I build the space platform? A new subscriber arrives. It fills you with determination. I just see things scrolling. Uh, Summer God More joining him with 20 gives ups. More that was must be like the majority break. of the progress on the hype train. And s smallest big deal, thank you for Prime joining in, sneaking in between all the glorious gift subs. And sh Dancing Charmander with 20 gift subs, thank you so much for that. And that more must be completing the hype train. More and Ideas of March with 10 break. more. Whee! And Ghost of Phoenix adding 5 subs in that sudden how process in a weird way. Staying up all night. Yep, that means it's 3 a.m. I mean, I don't mind. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, sorry. Pressing tab, I just have to get used to not doing that. Okay, so that's there. And this one is here. So that's the middle. So this one actually has to be drawn one out. That is the middle. Right. And come steal yourself. We are building an army. Here, yeah, but I think I need a little bit of overlap a like this. Subscriber arrives. It fills you with determination. Tales of our endeavors like that overlap? proliferate. Or that overlap. Here? What? I don't get why it's not symmetric now. Tales of our endeavors. Four by four in the corner. Why does it reach further that way? Uh, I guess that's because this one would have to go one up. Then it would work. Come, steal yourself. We are building an army. Still, still weird. Why is it so weird? Our illustrious champion returns. Welcome home. Now that looks better. That's better, right? More shall gather. More yes. shall enter the fray.
I'm trying to just make the outline. And once I have the outline, it's probably here. I don't even know. I don't think I want it this big, but let's just try and do something that's a little bit different. There. Yeah. Okay. Woo. Um. Hachu, thank you for five gives ups. Wow, this is getting even closer to the level six. STV Indal, thank you for the prime. Welcome. The Drunken Bunny, thank you for 14 months. And ST Waldo with 10 gives ups. Thank you. Uh, and Nindi Dar, thank you for the 200 bits. That's your ticket to the train. I keep pressing tab. Stop doing that. Yeah, I don't think I like this part here. I have a very specific. Whoa, G Wolf, gather. thank you for 20 gives More ups. Oh no, this is way too much. <laughs> um, I have a specific shape that I like for the back of this one, which I've sort of developed and sort of like. More than just sort of like, I Tales really love it. So let's have that. Like, munch, munch, munch. Why are these not coming in? Oh no. Not enough to fill one rocket. Well, why? Oh, because I don't have steel. Oh, the horror. The horror. I'm not requesting steel. Okay. Well, that's silly. Well, that was it. We know. Neem, thank you for five gift subs. Whew. Yeah, I'm never going to go to bed. I can take this out. Maybe it would be better to build it like this. So I have more room on the side. Uh, our illustrious and then returns. like that as well. Welcome home. really like those side by side. I don't want this many. I think we'll keep it like this for now. Okay, let's do look at thrusters. Oh, I forgot to request the thrusters up here. Our illustrious champion returns. Welcome home. That's the edge of the big one. That's the edge of the big one. Good. And Sullivan, thank you for this tier one for six months in advance. And Neferu, Nef Neferu, thank you for six months of prime. More space up front for ammo production and turrets or fuel production. Fuel production is more complicated. Aluminous shoots Maximus, thank you for the two months. Welcome back. I feel it is more complicated. Oh, now I need to keep it here so that I can actually request it. Not enough to fill one rocket? Really? It's a steel again. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, okay. So we're getting the steel down here. Good, good, good. It's coming in. It's a long way off, but it's just kind of silly when I have it right here, but, you know. Where's this one? You, you're fine. Getting the thrusters. Back up. Oh, I don't like you actually working now. I want this all to be idle. And then, so the issue is you can either build it like this or the other way around. But it's really important that you merge these here so that it's less spaghetti. And these cannot be flipped. And it's so annoying. Why can it not be flipped? But anyway, we, we have to do it this way. So. Let's build... Oh, one more thing that I'm missing is a box of goodies. There we go, that one. 
here, potentially. Oh, and pipes. And underground pipes. Sweet. That we needed as well. So that could go in here, and this one goes out there. Our illustrious champion returns. Welcome home. Not super keen on this. Then obviously it could be something like this. But then the question is where... Oh, oh. Oh, well that's not awful. That means they could actually be closer together. Four apart, two apart. Well, they can't because then they're going to be collapsing. Yeah, that's it. Unless. Heptrain's over! I did this. Hmm. Or like this one. There is no way to just... Nah. Uh, Scythar5, thank you for the eight months. Just uh, joining in at the last second of the train. And we have now got a level six type train. Oh no. No, you can't move mirror the boosters, unfortunately. They are unmirrorable. Unmirrorable. That's a word. Um, this is shapes too all over. Not really. But I do uh, do see the similarities in sense of I have a little bit of limited space and you're sort of fidgeting. Can I jump over here? Can I do this? Which is a funny thing because it's very unlike what we're used to in Factorio where we usually have space and enough space and it just careless about space. Here we actually have to consider the weight of this damn thing here. A uh, weight 200 tons. That's not much. And then the, the heavier it is, the more, the slower it'll move and the bigger thrust. Oh, these are not coming in, are they? No. Not enough to fill a rocket. Yeah, that's this one. 50. Here we go. Okay, now the space to space. Does it prepare us for the last planet with space constrained with heat pipes puzzle? I don't know. I think that's a completely different puzzle because you have to manage the heat pipes more than anything else. So I like this build. Oh, they look beautiful, these ones. Hmm. But I also don't. I'm kind of leaning towards the other design of where this one is here. Then I can do this. Yeah, I like this design. Let's keep it like this instead. One, two, three, four. And then you can be here. And then the question is, can I now... Ah, 
We're not exactly winning any any prizes. <laughs> Kill it with fire. Well, it's full of fire. It, it can be worse. Thank you. Um, I not a lot worse. It it couldn't be a lot worse. It's the part when when things are symmetric but reversed. It's super difficult. Here is an option for... It has to go right this far down. The issue is preventing... It's pretty much the same, right? It's... it's I'm not even going to say it's marginally better because it's pretty much the same. So, I mean, what we can say is that it is possible. Five in the middle, there's four in the middle here. And that's because of symmetry with this one. Um, yeah, so there's a... The other argument is... Maybe just do it like this. I might actually... And then good thing I promised myself that I wouldn't rush this. And that moves one closer, and then this one. Uh, they emerge together. That sucks. That's not intended, right? Hmm. This is actually nice if I could do it like this, but then... Yeah, I need to get into this one, which I'm not. Damn. Uh, adding an extra thrust in the middle doesn't work, does it? Whoops. No, then it's going to be even... Like, the the problem with this, in in my opinion, is that it it seems like they really want us to do, like, this design. Like, make sort of a, a silly build like this, which I, I'm not going to do. But five thrusters is actually a sexy idea. Did not even think of that. Whoops. Remove that. Here and here. Does it work? Why are we not seeing any... Uh... There, alt mode. There we go. Fire, fire, fire. There, there, there. That's actually not bad. Maybe that's better. I like that. Good idea. Did not come up with that. So, these three are connected with the cooling and these three are connected with the fuel which means that if I could do something like this is going to be the fuel Then all I need to do is get these to connect. Like, mm -hmm. 
then this one is now feeding all of it with coolant. Then I need to do the same ish thing for this one, which I can only do. I can do that. Why are we cooling something that has to be heated makes no sense. Ah. I mean, it's not 100% symmetric, but it's actually pretty good. Right, it's close to being symmetric. It's much more tolerable. Whew, this is about as big a compliment as we can get. <laughs> much more tolerable. All right. It's oxidized. Oh, yeah, it's actually oxidized. It's not coolant. It's oxidizer. Oh, right. I forgot one more thing that we don't have over here. Oh, chemical plants. Yes, let's get that in here. The thing is, do we have any clue about how many of these we want? No. <laughs> it put a turret. Yeah, but you need to be able to to find it. But it, it is true that this is this is enticing, right? This is enticing to put that here, not because it's needed, but because there's exactly room for it. It's it's just a little bit too nice. What about having the middle one on top? As they extend uh, downwards, I don't think that's going to make it easier because then um, yeah, okay, uh, I like. I'm going to try that, I just, I can't cope with how it's going to look, so I, <clears throat> I need to, uh, to, to see it myself here. Let's do that one. That one. And this one is here. And then these two are... Does it get easier to build it in here? So if I put coolant, that means now it's here, here, and here I put coolant, and here, here, and here I put fuel. That's actually probably better. That is so much better, actually. I like. This is much nicer. Mm -mm -mm. The Kalpol Man. Kalpol? Kalpol Man? Don't know what that is. But thank you for the four months. And if it's two turrets. I don't know. I don't need turrets back here, I think. Oh, actually I do because I, when it's parked, then it's still going to be attacked. So I do need turrets here. Uh, but I don't think I want to put turrets in early. I think I want to sort of do the big strokes first. That is beautiful. Damn, I love this. I love you guys. Like, what would I do without you? I don't know. Play by myself. So now the next part is how many? Thrust of fuel and... Oxidizer. Oh, that needs iron ore. That sucks. A new subscriber. Come, steal yourself. So, we are building an army. Two seems really tempting. But I'm not sure that's... And if I put it in here, then the turret base is gone, which is not really a big deal. Ah, uh, I... Here was better by eleven, maybe. Hmm. But we have to. The next thing we want to do is figuring out. Like, is there any way we can figure out how much this one is? It says six per second or hundred and twenty per second. So if it's running at max speed, which I don't care about, 
then it is 120 times 5. That's a lot. That's 600. Yeah, each of these are making how much? 75. So that's 150 versus 600. So it means that I can run at quarter thrust. And like, honestly, do we need six of these or five of these? No, probably not. Do you want a direct feed and remove the tank? No, I absolutely need a tank because you want to sort of have it parked and then gradually stand there and fill up slowly. And then when you go from one place to the next, then it will just stand still. And then during, while it's standing still, it'll build up uh, the fuel to fly. So it flies faster. And 45K at is 200 seconds of thrust. Yes. 200 seconds of thrust, but it's also 220 per second times five. So it's 40 seconds of thrust. Maybe more than one tank. I I think I actually want to. I'm more inclined to do this. There's also an alternative, and of just going one of these. Well, actually, maybe two of these and one of those. That will make it. Oh yeah, they're not 37.5 and this one will get us, what is that, 20 speed, 30 speed. Yeah, that's a two second craft time. Oops, I actually forgot that. So, is the speed control? No, it goes as fast as it can until it's out of fuel and then it doesn't go any faster. So we are requesting these inbound, I think that's important. And I think that the quantities consumed are the same, right? This is 75. This is the same in terms of thrusters. So that's going to be the same as well. We can make sort of adaptations. Now that means... This is 5 water per second. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's 30 water per second. Let's find out what a water thing that makes. Water thing makes 20. 20 water per second. So I'm going to need one and a half of those. But I'm also scaling it up with the speed module. So we're going to need two more of these. Mm. Yeah. Lorentek, <laughs> love your blueprints. Thank you. No, there's no uh, automatic calculator built in in Satisfactory. And my God, you look uh, absolutely handsome, gorgeous, lovely with that little golden train next to your name. Uh, does a spaceship without thrust slow down? Uh, does it need to break on arrival? No, it doesn't need to break on arrival. Uh, it's not like it. It's not the expanse where it, ro it, it flips and uh, counter thrusts. It's uh, there is drag in space. Don't ask. Let's say that it's because you get into the gravitational field and whatever. But it it works that it. It's not like it it uses thrust to get up to a speed and then it maintains the speed and doesn't use any power. It. In order to maintain speed, it uses fuel. Don't ask. <laughs> Vacuum is a liquid. Yes, it's a very viscous liquid, apparently. Ah, right. So you can see that already now, down here, we are in a little bit of space constraint. It is space, so. So we're going to get carbon in here, and we're going to get iron ore in here. Iron ore sucks. I'm kind of thinking maybe something like this one would have to be here. And then that would come in from picking up from this belt in the usual manner. Man, not great. Welcome back. 
Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. I'm still seeing if there's any way that I can capture these two and this one. And then an underground that would have to go there. Hey, Lunkerman, thank you for the 10 months. Oh, uh, no, thank you, Lunkerman 10, thank you for the 3 months. Then the whole thing can just be shifted one tile down, and then we can use longer hand, long hand inserters, which is probably better. Or we need multiple of these. Or we use more power. So at this point, you kind of have to gauge whether, like, how much fuel do I need to create in order to fuel this, and the bigger I build the platform, the more fuel I need, that means I need more buildings than it's like the classical rocket fuel conundrum. Will there be a mega let's play how to for the DLC on YouTube? Yes, but not now. Crusher has massive throughput. Um, it's 20 per second, 20 per two seconds, so 10 per second. So that's not going to be a constraint here. Yeah, it's actually nice music you got there. The outserter one and add a horizontal belt. Yeah. Because I need to, if I want to keep it like, oops, like this, then those are the options I can put into these two locations and into that location. That doesn't work. Or it would have to be these two and that one we should make it like this the issue is that if i go in here then i can't really get into that one unless i do that of course and then just have the other one on a long belt like that that's also that's probably the option i need right in and out and unfortunately, we have to endure all the blinking because otherwise they start. It doesn't actually matter that they start uh, doing that. They'll grab whatever. KSP2 got cancelled. Yeah, but it was not really a good game, was it? It was a good idea, but it. So we need to get the water in somewhere. I'm kind of thinking that this thing might be the trigger. Okay, I'm gonna do this. One down. <clears throat> oh, that doesn't work. It doesn't quite work. Because this one also needs something inbound. That one, that one, that one. This is the carbon. So I need carbon in here somehow. And then we need water, but this is not good enough for water, right? This is this is not the right place to do that. Or it's it's not enough water. Yeah. Maybe rotating this is better. So this one goes over here or even these two and that one. Uh, it doesn't work because it has to be over here. No, even over here. Because of that one. If I want to bring it in together. Don't like this. 
Send your engineer in the space platform. Is it controlled remotely? Um, if you do that, then you're going to be stuck in here. You can't walk around on the platform. You, If you go here, then you are just standing in here. So everything will be remote controlled like we do now. What does the quadrant belts do? Um, health. So nothing. I mean, having a little bit faster belt would also be weird. Hot sauce. Is this the hot sauce? <laughs> yeah, this is just me trying to rotate things around. Um, right, so another thing that is a potential is that I say... I'm going to get water in. Let's say here, for example. And that's water is just for that one. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Maybe like that. And then do... Yeah. And then one, two, three. Those are then the inputs. This will be... So this... Six point four five. Ah. Six point four nine. Four nine. Four nine. Six point four nine times three is nineteen point four seven, and this one is producing twenty. So this is actually producing exactly enough to saturate all of this. Woo! -hoo! Well, that's something. <laughs> so it's Powerade and hot sauce. Sure. I, I mean, I can't. What can I say? Uh, I like this. This is not awful. I don't know what I'm going to be spending the rest of the space here for, but... Um, yeah. I can't bring it one down. Solar. That's a good point. This is sort of in the middle, so... Ah, it doesn't quite work with this one. This one needs to have an inbound as well, so. Yeah, missing something. Missing an inbound here. And another crush on the other side. No, this is taking carbon and I'm I'm my intention is to do the same trick as I did before and let that run around here. Which means that this one has to crush because it's actually iron belts that I need. Uh, oh, we, oh, yeah, okay. Oh, we also need somewhere to make ammo. It's <laughs> uh, tricky. Could that be a place to make ammo? Oh, that's, that's something. That, it's, mm, no. Just no. But almost, almost yes. Almost yes, but no. <laughs> Did I even get that up here? No. Well, that's... Yeah, so I could build it here and then it can go directly in. Or I could build it like this and then I could get it from these belts. But then I couldn't get it out anywhere. Something like this. It's not using very much. It's using... Oh, one per second. That's actually a lot. Uh, then it's the space up here that I need to allocate to both crushing and ammo production. Mm. 
Could crushing be done here? It could, couldn't it? Because you're going to get inbound, and then you're going to get the residuals. Like these things, uh, the recycled ones, they're going to go out into the inner belt. And then it'll need to be like this for the other one. Okay. This one will be... Ice, and this one will be exclusively carbon. <clears throat> I use the space a little bit better now. This is just probably not enough. All right, let, let's do some calculations on this and just kind of gauge this in, and see if it's okay. Uh, how do I input one? Like if I control click, that's everything. If I shift click, it did something weird. Oh, it copied. Huh. Yeah, it doesn't work. I thought it was the set key, but the set key doesn't do anything. Alt? No. Control is all of them. And... Uh, Carbon Crusher can be put the same way as Icon on the left side. So, as, oh, as Iron, okay. Uh, that's a really good point. Thank you. That looks so nice. So nice. Symmetric. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. You know, that's something I like. Yeah. But this is only going to be used for these two. Yeah. That's not bad. Uh, the question is then, can I... What can I put in other, one, other than that? I can actually put two more. And that could be the ice. Because I'm going to need a, quite a bit of ice here. Because ice is only producing five each. So that might actually be the one that's starving. Wow, that's too much focus on symmetry, isn't it? And then an ice stand in the middle. Yes, an ice cream shop in the middle. Yep. Have an inserter with a circle condition grabbing off the carbon belt to add to sushi. Um, oh yeah, I kind of have to because... Yeah. Now it goes past here, then it gets picked up and then remainder goes out here. And this one should be ice. I think we might want to start testing this. No. Yes. No. Also ice. Good. Right. So, um, 
There was a comment on YouTube. There's always a comment on YouTube. Let's see if it uh, it is true. Someone said, can't you do that with a new overlay? Do all of it in one circuit network. And I was like, yes, I think you can. So instead of having multiple as we used to do with one condition each, you could just add conditions. So what if we just do a single condition here that is um, that one less than 20. I'm actually going to go 15. Then output that. Add condition. Or Oh. But does it only send one signal out? I don't know. Does it sort of... Yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. There's nothing on the belt. But look at this. Why is why why is it only two of them that are output? Why did this one not? Oh, because that one. There we go. I do not know. That's the interesting thing that we'll find out. So, um, let's take a short break, and then when we come back, we're going to be hooking up these ones with conditions, so that we can see if it actually works. It'll break, maybe. Then uh, we'll learn something new and exciting. There's about a million more hours uh, remaining of the stream, so we are going to be doing a lot. And I actually think we can make it all the way to Volcanoes in the, today. Crazy. How many cases? I don't know. How does that won't work? Yes, I think you're right, because it'll, it's an OR command. It's not separate commands. But, you know, then uh, test it. So be back in two minutes and then we'll see. Welcome back. You're steadfast. go we're back all right let's see if let's see that it doesn't work um we also need to scale these up here yep and oops that one that one and that one here nope okay nope and this one is set filter. Oh, that's that's that one's busy. There and there and this one. Woo and let's set that up here. And set filter. Ding, 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 ding. So, what does it say? Yeah, 
it doesn't work. Okay, well that means we can't set it here. We have to set it somewhere else where there's more room for it. Spiders are attacking. Look at this. It's actually really nice that we have like a little pop-up. So we don't have to go there. We can just like, uh, okay, I don't care about this one. This is a, this is fine, right? That's a nice little feature. Okay. And this is, I can't live without these lights. And neither can you. Enable and this is anything greater than zero. Yeah. Ah. Uh, yeah, that's um. This one probably should have been constrained as well. Just you know, probably. Let's do that. Iron plates. Which we're not creating yet, but uh, we are producing the carbon. So we're spending an, spending an inordinate amount of time on this. But if we make a nice, cool design for for, for this, then first of all, like uh, I can reuse it for multiple setups. Then secondly, you can use it if you are a patron and you get the safe games. Then you can just take take this if you want. Um, there, this one goes up. That one, that one, and that one. You're going to be enabled when that is greater than zero. You're going to be enabled when this is greater than zero. And that's okay. And we just delete. Okay, so let's have a look on these lines here. It says iron, yes, but the other ones, no. Mm -hmm. Let's get that to in here and in here. What? Just set filter. No, I don't want to set filter because I might have too many. See, the thing is, filters don't work if you have more than five items. So in this case, I have six and this one can only set five items. So if I have a filter that now has 10 items, then the first five will be put in here as conditions and that means I can't control which one is the last one that is not going to be there. Fuel will not get carbon, that is correct. Um, now it will. This one will like always do that. I think this is the right way to do it. So now the ice is lacking. <laughs> Very much so. Let's get some more inbound. flip and then we're gonna get these out here and first it's gonna fill up with all sorts of junk because there's all sorts of junk in here which I then can hope I can get rid of Might not need. Okay. 
Uh, Fennec, okay. Uh, do you even need the combinator? Couldn't you hook up the belt to the inserters and set the condition for the inserters to require the mount? Uh, yes, I could. But how would I control these? Then I would also set... This one can only set filter, so I still need some kind of condition to set the filter here. Why do I need that on the main sushi? Ah, uh, that's actually a good point. Why do I need it? I needed it for science, which I don't need anymore, so... I guess I don't need it on this uh, main. That's a good point. Does it make fun? Yes! You can automate fun, so, uh... Tons of it. Tons of it. Tons of fun to be automated. Uh, that's a really good point here. Let's grab this. Yeah. Oh, but how am I now going to get... Make sure that I don't keep... All right, these are dependent on chunks while... Yeah, okay. Yeah, so it works. Now everything needs to be grabbed, sure. I guess power is pretty shit right now. Our illustrious yeah, it's iffy. Returns. Iffy Welcome at best. Home. Get that one. And Antigov, thank you for the 44 months. Been waiting for this moment, absolutely. I think we all have. <clears throat> so the next thing we want to do is we want to get uh, ammo production and turrets everywhere. Easier said than done. This thing here, I don't know where to put it, but I really don't like this location because it kind of feels a little bit too much in the way. And then lo I love this feature. It keeps connected. Well, I mean, almost. That one. Okay. <clears throat> I need uh, like this. I need like this. And then into a an ammo production. Which will then go out on the outside belt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a fun way of doing it. And this one is just going to be bad ammo which will instead of this one mm, hold on I think I should want to do it in a different way I want to just put the ammo in here because then I can use the storage much more efficient and Do you need to protect your space platform from harm? Yes. Oh, yeah, green uh, green modules, yes. Absolutely green modules everywhere. So we get a sense of power consumption for everything. There. This one is overkill. And also... So this one is actually producing way too fast. So maybe I should make a belt here instead. Because this is only producing 0 0.62 and this one's consuming 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I 
need more space. Unless I use the use this one here. Just need more space. This is not two, three, four, like Maybe another option is to try to build this in the middle and then get these out on the side on both sides. And then what? I don't know. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, this is obviously not a good idea because if I build two of these when I don't need them, that's a bad. That's waste. Movie light suicide, yeah. Let's just get it in here for now so we can play with this. Like, this is an extreme waste of space. Because I have two of these where I should only have one. So how do I mitigate this? Just a really bad place. Don't need that much storage space in the center. Um, yeah, I I agree and I disagree. It serves two purposes. Um, I don't need it to get from A to B, but I do need it when I want this to be my landing craft for volcanoes. Then it's going to be full of stuff like two thousand belts, three four thousand belts maybe. Um, like, it's going to need a lot. Like, robots, for example, I'm going to need a thousand bots, uh, at least 500 of each type. So that's just two rows as well. Um, I'm also going to need to bring stuff so I can build a rocket silo pretty quickly. I can't build a rocket silo, but I can build the stuff that I need in order to build a rocket silo. So that's a thousand concrete, a thousand um, steel. So... Does cargo add weight to the platform? No, it doesn't. Rocket parts, not so much. We can we can build those as we need it, or we can bring that in. But it's, yeah. Well, okay. So this is definitely better. Like this is super nice. But the problem with this is, it's a really shitty location to have this. Make the ship longer, I guess. Yeah. Might be the option. It's just growing and growing and growing this ship. I do like this one down here. Like this, this is nice, compact, really nice here. Yeah, flip the arrow belt top to bottom. Then I don't know how to get the stuff inbound and outbound. This has to be next to the belt because it interacts with the belts a lot, so. <sighs> Jump under the smelters one tile higher than sushi belt. Uh, actually, I don't know if this is what you meant, but actually I think that, that is just kind of 
A simple way to get back. Just thinking, is there a way that this could work? No. And these two have to be reversed. That means this one has to go up. That one has to go here. I'm just kind of thinking here. That means this has to be here and here. Copy paste. That could work. Then you're gonna be here and then that one comes in. That's a thing. And then on the other side, let's do the same thing. Because I have an idea. Inbound, inbound. Outbound, outbound. What do we win? We won one tile. One tile, we won that. It, it, it's... This is what, <laughs> what this game is about. It's like, yes, we won one tile. Yeah. Is this a mod? Nope, it's the new DLC that's coming out soon. Um... Next. The inserter can go one down. What inserter can go one down? Don't know what you mean. Time to work. All right, PJ Tower. That's a uh, late work, but yes, that's how it is for you. Right. So now, oh, uh, I also need to constrain this. So I don't need this at all, but I can then change this to ammo instead. That's not it. That one. Ah, I don't know how many I need, but 30 is definitely not enough. So here the idea would be that I'd actually really like to put it inside the inside the storage here, which I can't because that would have to be out here. Well, I mean, it could happen. That's as much space as we have. So, can I use this space? Fuck. Ah. I can do this to output... ...ammo. Right? I can do that. But I still need to make sure. Then I need to get it in here, which is impossible with this build, unfortunately. Hmm. Yeah, output of course needs a. It needs to be constrained so it doesn't overwhelm it. But I do want to have use this for buffer for my ammo. Um, This is working. There we go. It works. Then I, that one doesn't need to be as silly as that. There we go. It actually doesn't need to be as silly as that either. And then this one is going to... Ah, then I need to do recontent. Okay, uh, this... Is enabled when this uh, the ammo is less than this is the grabbing when it's less than 1,000 then you just throw it in this one is enabled when uh, nope. this is enabled when 
the red wire there is this is how much is on the belt that can't be right 60 ah no it's reading the content here because damn it that one oh no Yeah, so I want to read it for the green wire, but I don't want to read it for the red wire. That's unfortunately not. Send, read, read, moving from. You're going to, oh, right, this. Disconnect red wire from hub. Yeah, but then it, it gets a lot more difficult than, than that. <laughs> oh, they don't want these power balls here. Really don't want them. And there's no space at all to just even squeeze in a little power. Just a teeny tiny power pole. Makes it a lot more complicated. Oh, the ammo is outputting a carbon. Yes, that's true. Thank you. When it's less than, yeah, 30 on the belt. I, th I think we don't want the more than 30 on the belt. So this one is outputting when you are greater than zero. How much we got on the belt now? Five. So this should be. Oh, right, it's because it's not coming through this one. There we go. This is reading zero. Oh, it's disabled. Yes, this one is... You are reading the content here. So this one keeps building up to 1,000. But it will only put 30 out on the belt. Could be putting a little bit more. 50, so it's so rotating a little bit more. There's space for power poles if you use undergrounds on the sushi belt. That's a good point. That's a good point. Uh, that's actually some. I think I'd actually want to do that. It actually feels. That's actually a lot of space we buy ourselves by doing this. Eh, can't do it up here. Oh, actually I can. This is the middle, right? No, these two are the middle. Ah, no right. Is it a problem that hub connects content get mixed up with the decider? It should be all different items except ammo, and for ammo you can use different signals like A. Yeah, I could, but then I, it, it's less intuitive. I know this is not exactly intuitive, but I, it just feels less intuitive when... Uh, I actually like this option here, although I would probably prefer to have it here, so that I can guarantee that you can come in before. Alright, so let's have a look at this part here. I kind of want this one, two, three, four, five, six is up here. And then. Okay. So now comes the next part. I, I need to figure out where I'm going to put this part because that's uh, really annoying. Hey, White Raven! It fills you with Couldn't you bounce the wire through inserters that don't react? Yes, I could. 
But that's again one of those things where if I have it connected to an inserter, I would instinctively think that it does something and then get confused when it doesn't do something and start adding a random condition just because it feels lonely. So I think I, by putting it into a power pole, I'm like, that's just transferring it, the signal. This one is disconnected. The thing is, this one is the same space as two of these, so maybe we'll just... It's definitely not going to stay there. Definitely not going to stay. I don't know where it's going to be. Just... Here, then. Alright, let's look at ammo, uh, ammo turrets. Oh, I can't get up there, can I? Oh, uh, can we? Not good. I like this, I think. But that's a wasted space, and that's a wasted space. If I could find one more wasted space, then I could squeeze this in. Start like this here. Daisy chaining them is super important. I think this can also be working. Daisy chaining out here, daisy chaining out there. But I need something up here. What happened? Oh, right, uh, it's not connected. This one is not connected anymore. There you go. Then they get stopped again. Our illustrious champion Melbourne, thank you for the 10 months. Welcome home. Yeah, feed direct from assembly. Yes, that's what we do. I don't know if I have enough up front. Like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I don't know if that's enough. Like, I can also do here, but that gets a little bit too far forward for my liking. And then on the side, this one is designed for this specifically. Boom. I like this. And then we need something in the back here, which is going to be really difficult to get it down here. Or is it? I've lost all of these. Oh, okay. I'd like to get it. Get one more. But I don't want it out here. Maybe just like this. Turrets blow up asteroids. Yes, they do. And does this get enough coverage in the back? No, it does not. It absolutely does not. And then we do walls around it. But it's pretty obvious that we don't have enough power. We don't have any power on this. Yeah. 
Power is, is surprisingly good considering how little I have, but that's probably because these are all idle. Yeah. I think I need to take this crap here and um, kind of spread it out a little bit. Like, how do I how do I add more power to this? Time for rare panels. That's not even a. a it, it, I mean, yes, sure, and we do have them. Um, we do have enough to actually use them, and I think we do want to use them for this. Uh, I know we do, but um, we have 29, so that's perfect. That's really nice. Do you need that many turrets on the side? I don't know. And it's also like, this is also a, a, a buffer as well. So that's also something. I don't think I need this many turrets, but then if I take some of them out, like... I go from four turrets on the side to one is not great. Uh, up here, up front... Woohoo! <laughs> I got one more in. <laughs> be cool if I could get that one but then the other thing is like maybe I don't need to put it out here I don't know it's it's always a compromise right I can also build these out here You just barely have enough space to get out. Mm -hmm. This thing needs to be put somewhere else. How do I do that? I have an idea and I hate it. Oh, that one is actually out here, so I did, couldn't couldn't do that. Here I can place two of these. <sighs> I just don't like having them spread out everywhere. But I could, if I didn't have the lights. But the, having the lights like this is super nice for me. Like you can just at a glance see. Oh, it's it's actually struggling a little bit. It's. It's not really getting what it needs. Oh, uh, that's interesting. Kind of amazed that church can shoot anything since 2.01. And then we also need this. Modules and smelter, that's a good point. That helps a lot. They are actually some of the most expensive things. Power-wise and this one as well. Good point. This one also has ice. And actually nice if we could see like the overlay of all of the turrets. So we have a majority here on the side. We also have quite a lot in the back here. Which I think is nice. How much of the new game is platform stuff? Um, okay, I think I would say like there are five new layers. Like in, in the base game, there's one layer. That's Nalvis. These are the rules that apply to Nalvis. You already know those. Now there are new rules that apply to space 
platform so of course it's the same thing but it's here so that's another layer it's the same kind of build but you have new rules to apply same with volcanoes but different set of rules same with Bogora, different set of rules same with Liba, different set of rules same with Aquilo, different set of rules so a different set of rules for each location and you sort of have to work with that so we spend a lot of time understanding how this works here and what to do but ultimately yeah how big of a how big of a thing is this i i don't know yeah i don't know <laughs> I could also work, right? I am I may be overbuilding turrets. But I've just had issues, maybe that was uh, earlier days, that it was problematic. <laughs> so I like this. It's a nice square thing, no rounded corners. I would love this one to be here, but I just can't input anything into it then. No, like this really should be here, but alas. As a square block. Definitely all building. The thing is like the one time I did it, I flew to Volgora and then my spaceship in orbit just got overwhelmed and died because it couldn't defend itself probably actually because of production but hey anything worth building is worth overbuilding there's a little bit of overlap it's it's actually a problem this is actually a problem things coming in from this side Maybe it's better to just do this and then... There we go. We'll do that. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. How does one expand the space platform? Uh, you have this space platform thing and you just expand it out and then... Materials will be brought up from the ground and then uh, it'll expand itself. So right now, iron is still... Go, 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 go. Why? why? Because we don't have iron on the bus anymore. Ah, that's interesting, isn't it? Yes, so we don't have iron on the sushi belt. Mm -hmm. That means this one can actually just go out. Which disconnects the other things, but still. And the ice is needed for here and here, so that still needs to be there. Okay, things are getting better. It is now five assemble uh, five, five combinators, and I can do one, two, three here, and then I could do two more here. Oh, I hate it! I hate it so much. No, not like that, actually. Hmm. But I could put one in here, and I could put one in there. Like, I can squeeze them in here and there, but it, it's not great. Also here. What, one, two, three? I can put them in there. I hate it. I don't want to do that. Room in front of the thruster. Yeah, like this. But that's a little bit too far away from everything else. Like, one, two, three, four. I don't like having them here. And then the ammo, I can put that up closer to the actual ammo just to make it feel like it's on purpose. Oh, it's actually, it needs to be here because this is where the ammo thing is working. Ah, uh, damn it. The ice inserters one tile up. Ice inserters. This is ice inserters one tile up. Is this what you mean, ice inserters? Middle. 
Oh, these? Yes, you can move them one tile up. Yes. Um, which gives a little bit more space here, but one, two, three, four. Hmm. Again, it's gonna be like one, two, three, four, but I'm still missing the fifth one. And I don't like this. But, I mean, I can probably... Mm, don't know. How's my energy now? Uh, unreliable, because I am... These are not working. So I can't really trust it. But, you know, th there is a good point. Let's uh, just keep it as it is now. And... Because I, I really like the lights. And then upgrade all of this to... That one. And then I'll go... 12. And I'll obviously say it doesn't have enough. Yeah. 12. Not enough to fill a rocket. I know, but could I just get it in myself and then send it up? And then send a manual rocket load up. Can you blueprint space platform? Yes, Gunther, you can. And uh, I already have one blueprint. That one. The blob. The space platform blob. Space Science Platform Blob. <laughs> yeah, Space Platform. This is 2.0 Space Age Expansion. Yeah, it's very crowded. doesn't look expanded at all. You're right. It does not look expanded at all. There we go. And I'm going to launch. And then when you click launch, I, I really wish that like, when you're clicking here, when you see this, you just, like, where does it launch to? And only when you click where you think that you're committed by clicking this, do you get a pop-up. Like, a, a little arrow or something. A little triangle to indicate that it's a drop-down that opens. Subtle things, right? And then when it comes in, let's look at the power. 2.8, 3.5. Certainly is better. And this one goes back down. Hmm. See, the thing is, I kind of want to take it for a spin. But I also want to make sure that we can survive, right? Oh, I forgot something. I should, of course, have done, have looked at these here. And at least taken that one up there as well. And maybe the crusher, not really worth it. But yeah, I got a two thrusters, two good thrusters. Better take it for a spin before you load up all the goodies. Yeah. Yeah, let's do a stress test. Fuck it. Let's do a stress test of it. I don't need to be on there. Ooh. Ooh, space map. Oh, this has changed. This used to be down here, but now it's out there. Ooh. So, novice, we're here. And it has a little pause signal because we have spaceships available here. And then we can go to Volcanus. That's the this one is lit lit up because we researched it. Gleba. Oh, look at that. Day night cycle. Wow, one minute and thirty seconds. That's a quick spin. Gravity is something. 
Magnetic field is something and pressure is something else. Solar power in atmosphere is a lot. 400, yummy, contains lots of weird things. Solar power in space, mm, look at that. So lots of power from space. Oh yeah, that's actually a problem. Solar power in space, 200. Solar power in space, 300, okay. So when, for example, we go to Gleba, we'll actually get less power in space. Oh, look at that, there's a, there's a fish in water, not a, not a fish anyway. I mean, surprisingly, that's in water, yes. And then Fulgora is 120 power, so we actually get less power, but day-night cycle is three minutes, daylight cycle here is seven minutes, day-night cycle here is 10 minutes. And then Aquilo, a freezing wasteland, wasteland of oasin, oceans of heavy water and fluorine vents. Structures and belts will freeze if not at, heated by adjacent heat pipes and other heat structures or hot structures. Solar power in space, 60, and then Solar system edge. Solar power in space, one. Shadow planet. Ooh, don't know what that is. Ooh. If you have a question for the ice and iron, you can direct the feed, direct the feed the ice into the chemical plant and no longer need to track the sushi belt. Oh, okay. I, I did not even think about that. If that's correct, of course. If I, I can't swap these. Because if I swap them, then they can no longer input. Like, I'm relying on them inputting directly, so they have to be positioned here. I suppose I could then build them over here. But I'd still need to get that. Oh my god, you're ruining everything! Oh, that's actually a really good idea. That's a really good idea because, okay, so I'm thinking that one goes here. But then the caveat is that then I'd still need to get the iron ore into that one. But we could do that on a belt, which means this one can't be placed here because that would interrupt the belt. It can't be placed here because then it can't insert into the here, but it could be inserted here. That's not a good idea, uh, or here. That really wouldn't work because it can't pick up from the belt up top. But if I do that, then it can actually pick up from the belt on top. Yeah, blueprint this one, yeah. But it would be nice to not track the ice here. Which means it then becomes like, what are we actually tracking out here? Nothing, really. I mean, yeah, we do tracks because we do get stuff inbound. Yeah, you know what? It actually doesn't matter very much because it's not like I don't need this belt anyway. I, I, I can't, I can't get rid of the belt. Yeah. Okay. Um, is Space Age streamer only right now, or can we play it early as well? Somehow. Nope. Uh, unfortunately, it is streamer only, so uh, it is uh, until it releases on Monday, twenty-first, and then everyone can play it. But so far, it's only content creators. Yes, I think it's time to take off. So, what are we gonna do? We are gonna take a safe game. Six. and I'm going to take my break and then when we come back we're going to send it out in the world I'm not going to send it out while I'm uh, so we'll just get this to Alcanus see that it's okay bring it back, hopefully okay and then we'll get start up with all the crap we need in order to go to Volcanus. Directors in save games, oh yes so I will be back in two minutes and then we'll go uh, on our first space journey
and welcome back. <coughs> oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> I assume it's actual photos and not make pretend in satisfactory. Yes, that's correct. Uh, let's look at it here. Yes, you can actually make that. And I just made it in, I just made a folder and then I just saw that it worked. And I was like, didn't that always work? I don't know. So, so we're ready to go. Exciting. Are we not really researching anything? Is that correct? I mean, we might as well research this one. I just don't want it. Maybe we need it for the demolisher. I don't know. Maybe. Volcanus Express. All right. So, we add a station. Volcanus. Add weight conditions. Nah. Just go there, right? All right, blueprint it. Let's blueprint it before it gets blown up. But then again, if it blows up, then why do we need a blueprint for it? This one. That's what we call it now. We'll I'll come up with a better name for it. And this one, I think the nomenclature is that we want to make it like this, so we know that it's a space thingy. Then I want to put a thruster in because I want to know it, tell it that it's a spaceship. And then, I don't know. Ah. Uh, oh, I was about to say I want I want to know that set up a planet here. There we go. Ooh, it's so exciting. So exciting. Are there, will we reach volcanoes on this ship? Yes, I think so. Let's see. Da, 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 it's saved. It is an auto save before. Ah, look at that. We're going. It's so happy. Man, there's a lot of thrust. And we can see the progress here. It's not, it's, it's very close. It's, uh, and these are just grabbing stuff. Really? Are there no big asteroids? Oh, there we go. But it is actually a good point about this one. Um, that there is... That there really needs to be more buffer up here. Not that it, this did anything. I wish we could get it from here. Yeah, see, this is a problem. Ah, bu 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 it, ah it's bumping into it. Ah, kill it. Kill it all. Uh, okay, so we've learned some stuff. Shoot it more! Shoot more stuff! That is getting really crowded here. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Okay, we're there yet. We're there now. Okay, so now they're coming at us a lot slower. The problem is we need to go back again. <laughs> Is the middle chemical plant actually getting water? Uh, that's a pipe. Yes, this one. Yeah. How how much did we use? We used the majority of it. Hmm. Okay. So this is a problem. We need to get. We need to solve that. How do we solve that? How do we get? The only thing I can really think of is just making a little belt so that there is a, a buffer here. But that's a, like a temporary thing by doing that. Oh, I can't do it on this side. Damn. Hmm. I kind of wanted to come back up from here. So this one cannot reach up here because it's jammed in there. I'm thinking maybe maybe if this one was pushed two tiles up
little bit stupid to build this when I don't have any spare components. Yep. But I also kind of want to make sure that I, we get safely home. I don't think I have enough of this. Ah, and I can't go in here. It hurts just throwing these away. Unfortunately, I can't make this on the other side. Actually, maybe I can. That's better, because now it's coming in from this side as well. How much we got here? We got enough. Big fan, YouTube Let's Play. Nice. Thank, uh, thank you and welcome. Why do you need turns on the thruster side? Because right now it's standing still and they could come in from the other side. So yes, I don't need as many as I have here, but I do need a little bit. What about the power now? It's not a problem. Six point. Oof, that's a lot of power we get from this. Maybe more ammo on the belt. Mm -hmm. I just don't want to jam the belt. That's the part, but we don't really have a lot of the other stuff here. Okay, it saturates pretty well. And let's see how many... We have one wall left, so that's not a not a lot. Okay, this is... I think this is an improvement. It's a lot, a lot more shooty up front, which is important. So let's go back. Oh, it, oh, yeah, okay. And it's a big ship. And I think this, this storage is really nice. Okay, shooty. That's sad. Uh, it's pretty crowded here. Running out a bit. But, okay. I think this one's running out because it, it everything gets picked up and sent forward. Shoot! Shoot! Hmm. Is it longer back? Wasn't it only 10,000 the other way? This is great. This is working really well. Is It does diminish, but that's fine. And then we're parked safely in orbit. Nice. It is successful. So I'm going to be changing this one. Sweet. More gravity on volcanoes. That doesn't make it further distance. Maybe planets move. Oh yeah, that, that's that's true. <laughs> they could move. Uh, it doesn't say the distance to it. Two hundred forty-eight tons. It's a big boy. Oh right, that's that's not really much to see. Oh, mouse over the lane. Um. 
15. Okay, there is 15. 15. 15. 15? 15. 30. And 30. Okay. And 100. And a lot more. <laughs> that might take a while. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have not reached the cars. It's now this, isn't it? Yeah. Well, we went there, parked in orbit, made a few adjustments, and then uh, that. So I think that we actually want to send up some here. You could add a chest to act as a simple buffer directly before that. Nope, there's no buffer, no chest in uh, space. That's a, a, a that's a really interesting design criteria. This is why we have sushi belt for storage. Otherwise, we could just have boxes. There are no um, no storage. Like if you look at this, like just at a glance. I mean, it's not the most beautiful shape. It's not exactly. Um, yeah, it's not exactly like a, a glorious star, a starship of the, the actions and all that stuff. Um, but if we look at it, like it, it looks, it looks almost like a cutscene thing with all the intricacies of ins and outs and belts and spaghettis and all that stuff. But um, I think it works. I'm happy. So let's get uh, that one out, and I'm going to put you. Get that in. Launch to Volcanus Express. I just want extra storage there. So now what we want to do is we want to compile uh, <laughs> what we need for setting up on Volcanus. <sighs> One of the things that I'm a little bit worried about, teeny bite, tiny bit worried about, is the demolisher because we are woefully unprepared to deal with the demolisher and I don't know if we aggro it if it's just killing us or if it's uh, if it's like oh run away then we can we can go so um so I don't know how much we need to bring in terms of defenses because I have a feeling that defenses are going to be completely useless um Let's see what we can do, right? Oh. Didn't you have a demolition free landing zone? Yes, I do, but I can't get sort of beyond that area. Uh, okay, so when we land on Volcanus, we have like an area and we need to find to sort of build up our own infrastructure again. And that's a little bit tricky. Hazardous 44, thank you for the prime. Um, and that means we really want to get to science packs because we want to get to cliff explosives and we can't get science packs without getting tungsten and tungsten is generally in demolisher territory so i i think that we have to be able to deal with a demolisher before or in order to get access to tungsten i don't know but i think so is this a basin book save nope it is a new save that's built exactly like it but it's built in a, a space age so that's why there's tons of uh, cliff, cliffs as well you even have to do some here but the of course it is uh, built with the blueprints wouldn't atomic bombs work on them i think so but i can't make atomic bombs there and i can't transport them so i'd have to transport uranium and all the ingredients themselves um can transport uranium that might be a thing because processing units i don't know so i think we're going to be ignoring that like all things we um, what we'd like to do is actually make a new group should i make that in space uh yes so let's disable all of these first And then go to here. And then now we want to make a group. We're going to make a new group. And that is Volcanus First Landing. What do we need for the first landing?
some substations. And obviously they're not going to be requested up here yet. Uh, <laughs> it's so difficult, like figuring out all the things we want. Let's start with this sort of the roboports here. We're also going to need to get some power. How do we get, how do we make power on this? I think solar panels is how we do power. Um, let's get 50 of these and then also get some 500. That's a lot of construction. Maybe we can make do with 200. Yeah. And then 500 of the, yeah, uh, okay. Okay, screenshot taken. That's good. Let's take 200. Let's be modest. And then get some. Then they get some requested chests, some provided chests, some storage chests, and that's it, I think. Do we also need other, or do we only use the substations? I'd like, oh, I think we need some of this, because you might need to cover some ground. Do I also want this for my... Uh, actually, then let's get solar panels as well. Solar panels. 500? That might be a little bit dark. A little bit much. Maybe not, actually. Let's get 200. And here, let's get 200 of those. Definitely going to need some of this 200. Oh, that means this. these are definitely needing some power poles then. There. Lights. And then we soon we go over to other things. Like we go to belts and inserters. Belts. 2000. Uh, 250? Rocket silo, you can't uh, bring a rocket silo, it's too heavy. But a cargo landing pad is something we'd actually really like. Offshore pumps are a really good idea. Or actually, I was thinking about uh, yeah, offshore pumps. Get a stack of that. We need pump jacks as well for sulfur. Then I guess we're going into the liquids here. You can see this is a lot of rockets and a lot of inventory space. Let's also get a stack of that. Available on planet? Why Why have we have zero of the logistics? Okay. I guess inserters we need that. Do we even want normal inserters? No. We just... I feel this is a little bit low set for this. We need some ordinary boxes? No. We need some of that. Just because. Yeah, we need a lot of pipes on Volcanus, I'm aware. Okay, so let's look here. I think we got most of the stuff, like combinators maybe. I don't know. We can make them if we need them. They're not 
critical. We're going to need concrete because we need concrete for making a new here. So we actually also... Okay, let's do buildings first. We're going to need some of that. 20. And we're going to need a lot of that. Assemblers? Oh, yeah. Not actually very many, I think. But we do need some. We do need a few electric furnaces, but we're going to be getting the foundry pretty quickly. Beacons. Oof. What is the stack size on... Rocket capacity 20. Okay. Then that's a bad number. 40 is better. Rails and trains to get over lakes? Uh, no, not really right now. I think I want to... This is for landing and getting there. Then we can always send another request later on for that. This is a lot of crap. Uh, now we get into the non-building things. Radar. Definitely get some radar. Um, how many radars? What is the radar... Oh, rocket capacity 50. Well, I guess we bring 50. Yeah, and uh, Spidertron, no, Spidertron is not researchable by, <laughs> by now. Um, yeah, right now, I've, I haven't gotten into actually items yet because we're gonna bring some circuits and stuff like that as well. So right now I'm just looking at buildings and trying to get those done first. I don't think there are any more buildings we need. No. No assemblers? I think I, I have no assemblers. There. It's red, so it's already checked. So now I can start looking at the other things. So modules, of course. Speed modules? Oh no. Just get a few of everything. This one though. I don't even know if I have enough inventory space here. I don't think I need a lot of these modules. And then I need to craft steel processing units, engines, and concrete. Steel. Concrete. Processing units. And engines. It sucks if I have to create engines myself on the planet. Are miners needed? Oh, yes. I think, yes, coal and calcite needs, uh, needs that. Oh, actually... We have coal, but we we do have water. We can get water from the sulfur. Our sulfuric acid can then be turned into water with some calcite and stuff like that. So, yeah, we could use some burner miners, but no, I don't think so. Acid plus calcite is steam. Oh, that's nice. Um, here. Steam becomes water. And calcite plus sulfur, sulfuric acid becomes a lot of steam. Like a lot, a lot, a lot of steam. And then this steam could be burned, but it's 1k. But one calcite, just single calcite. Wants to know if there are any was a way to see when the platform was full from the requests. No. It is not. 
Why take the old green modules? Uh, because I don't, first of all, I don't have enough. And this is just for filling up into miners. Just put two of those in a miner and it's happy. Doesn't need water to kickstart? No, because we pump sulfur directly out of geysers. Uh, okay, let's go through and see if there are any other things. Oh, look at that. Rock capacity 20. Oof. So let's not do that. Can't bring nukes. Nukes are not possible to bring. I think I just want to get a stack of each of these just because. How much weight of the fuel cells? Oh, that's a good point. Fuel cells. Oh, yeah. That's a good point. I should actually be trying to think about what I need to bring back. LDS. And then fuel cells. Right. One, uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, um, twenty two, twenty six, thirty, thirty four, thirty six. Uh, 56 <laughs> uh, 61 63 82, 87, uh, 89, 90, 92, 93, uh, um, was it 92, 93, 95, 97, 101, 103, 104, 114, 124, 126, 130, 31, 131, 132, 134, and this is 5, 34, so 139. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. But the thing is, we can drop a lot of these things down because we don't want them up here. Okay, that was too much of that, but whatever. See, we don't need these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And a lot of this is actually just stuff we're going to bring up here again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So this is this is too much still. So what do we think is the least valuable thing to bring? I think it's actually steel. We can bring we can make steel pretty easily. Have the ammo? Hmm. Yeah, I think steel is super easy to make on that planet, which also means like stuff like pipes is easy to make. Mm. 
This is 10 stacks. That's probably the easiest to get rid of. Then we should have enough now. Should we try doing it? I think I want to uh, save it as we do this. Oops, I think I forgot to save it. No, 6.1. All right, I think uh, all I need to do now is enable. All right, go faster. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. No, no, no! I just put my... No! No! Why? My productivity modules. Damn it. I wanted to go in here. Well. Somehow they're still up here. Which is good. They, I mean. We still need more. And we're going to get more. So let's try to be a little bit more careful. Go like. There, 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 there. And. There, 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 there. Good. I mean, it's not really a big deal. And now we're just going to get, like, endless rocket spam. That's a lot of rocket spam we're going to see now. If it was 139 or, like, 130 stacks, then that's pretty much the same amount of rockets we need to launch. Time to have more silos. Oh yeah, um, one, and there, and then they start working on the next one, concrete. Why do we not have concrete? Oh, that's excruciatingly loud. What is your problem? Oops. Now the bit the double beacon. You say it like it's a bad thing. There we go. I guess concrete likes water. Yep, it's the belts first. Can't blame the biters. Yes, stupid biters. Stupid biters. And just launch more. Is it? Are they working? Yeah, they're working. Nice. And they're also set automatically to request because of a copy pasting. So get more belts, get more belts, get more belts. Yeah, so I, I love this, but it feels. It feels great to sort of set up a logistics and then just let it go. But this is also why I'm I'm saying that even though you can go to space at blue science level, you really want to get to a point where you can just happily chuck along and build this many rockets without actually seeing any any problem. Is it only one stack per rocket? Yes. Most things it's about a stack. Some things it's half a stack. Some things it's less than a stack. And a few things it's more than a stack. So raw materials are generally... Um, more than a stack so iron, copper, steel that kind of thing, you can get multiple stacks in one rocket, while more complex items like centrifuges you can have one in a rocket one centrifuge in a rocket couldn't you already go there and wait for the things to get delivered over time uh, yes, but then I'd sort of be stuck there and not be able to do anything so I'd much rather be staying here and then Go there when ready. Uh, but what is also interesting here is that we actually have to clean out our inventory. 
Because um, we uh, have to go there naked. Woo. So we actually have to do this. <coughs> That's actually a really nice way of... Easy way to do it. Oh, uh, I should have... Yeah, okay, never mind. And that's the bombs. Electric damage. Find. Oh, that's dirt cheap. Let's get those. These. Alright, let's have a look on the Volcanos Express. How is that filling up? So, uh, long ago, many hours ago, someone said, are you really sure you need this much storage? And I said, yes. And I did. So it looks like we're almost done with the rock with the fast transport belts, and then we're going to start on some of the other things. Yes, ice hockey. It's on the twenty-first is the official release date. Oh, I need to do pause thrusts. That's important, so it doesn't go anywhere. I love this little ship. It's a nice one. This was such a great design. This one, mm -mm -mm. we love it. And everything is idle now. So we filled up our buffers. Great. Still forgot power switches. I did. What you store doesn't add weight. Yes, it doesn't. It's correct. It still weighs 248 tons. Yes, otherwise it would be weird. Did you blueprint the final result? Yes, I did. He said modular captain's hat. Why oxidizer tank is not full? That's a good question. Why are you not full? Water. Why are you not full? Because this stupid... Someone said, add more here. No. Oh. How did that happen? Oh, because this one is not constrained. Ah, this one needs to be constrained by the red one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That one. So this one is only enabled when ammo. Thank you for showing that. And is it? No, it is zero. Right. So we need to just delete some of this. So it spins. We still have too much on the belt here, but uh, it is what it is. This one is ready to go. You are actually building it. That means the cryogenic thingy. Oxidizer, yes. Oxidizer, of course. This one's full. And now it got stuck again. Damn it. Hmm. I will need to get the rest of this one out. And then without jamming the belt. There, okay. So now the belt is pretty full on the outer range or outer limit here. And they're just stuff going. I love the fact that they come in at different locations. It makes it so so nice that you can just see that it's not just one place, oops, but it's all the different places that it's coming in. Oh, right, that's. Yeah, build with them too quick when you take off. Yes, but I also want to make sure that I actually do have this one completely full. So we want it to be in a steady idle situation and not an unstable idle situation. Oh, and this one is just chugging along as usual. Oh, maybe we should... Maybe. Maybe we have 18,000. Maybe these two should be constrained a little bit. Uh, does it change if I do that? They still work. 
Uh, what else is going in here? Do these speak? These are constrained? No. Oh, that's because I I'm not using the condition. Yeah, I'm not using set filters, but I'm using condition. Okay, so that can be set to read content, and then these two should probably be enable disable when. Is less than I don't know ten thousand. So you're gonna be idling soon. So this one is like in infinite resources. Pretty crazy in a good way. There's also definitely gonna be a time when I'm gonna make a space mega base only, where we want to build everything in uh, in space because of course that's a nice challenge. A filter for carbon at the fuel line, but not at the iron on the coolant line. <sighs> Is there a reason you have the filters? On this. That one, that one, that one, that one. Yes. Oh, do you mean like here, but not here? No. Yeah, I need to drop the half tag of ammo from the platform. But I want it. But I want it. More stuff inbound. More. I think we have almost enough space and yeah, then it's the concrete. To send ore up. You don't need to send ore. That's the point. Like, you can get those. You, you get the iron ore and we get the copper ore. We can also get that later on. Froggy! Froggy Man TV. Thank you for the prime and welcome. Where does the cargo that just dropped from the spade platform land? In a so designated landing pad so when i trash something it just drops down here like the space is the space science is also coming in does more landing pads need more throughput no not really don't think that's and uh, oh uh, not only that i think you can only have one per per, per surface yes there was something about that. You can only have one of those per surface because they didn't want to sort of have to, that you could sort of send it up and then down to some other place. Because if you're uh, looking at it, then here you can just orbital drop slots, jump into the surface, but it doesn't specify where. <laughs> Make concrete in orbit. Uh, we'll, we'll do this this way. This way. Rocket launchers are um, 20 times cheaper now. Yes. Your insert is going from space drop point to the belt. Doesn't look like it has a filter. Okay, from your space drop point to the belt. Space drop point to the belt. Oh, this one uh, it does have a filter. Oh, it used to have a filter. It does not have a filter, but now it does. I wonder if some junk has been sneaking in here. Nope, no junk. Lucky. Hmm. Weird. And they are just launching like crazy. Thank you. All right, Volcanoes Express, how are we doing here? Pretty good. I mean, still a few things missing. That one is inbound. This one. We just. I'm just curious if there are some things that we don't have. Not enough to fill one rocket. I have zero available on the rocket. No. Oh, is that because of you? It's because of you. 
No, 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 no. Okay, okay, never mind. Uh, see, because it's going in here. Mm. And then more going in there. Stop, stop sending it in there. This is wasteful. So that's going to take a while before we get enough. Go faster. Okay, I'm going to go help it while I, I'm just idling here. So I'm going to go like this. Ha. Why are there so few missiles? Uh, anyway, it was a blast to get back in the evening. Unfortunately, too busy this entire week to hang around. Uh, so, have a fun pre-release week. See you soon. Thank you for joining, Timbo. Good to see you. Look at that. That um, beautiful golden train uh, suits you very well. And I'll see you maybe next week when release. Do the robots feel better? No. Um... I haven't noticed anything, which means, I mean, it's not going to get worse, but I have not noticed anything. Like, granted, I would not expect to notice anything because in a base like this, robots would not really be a concern or any kind of constraint. So, like, improving something that's already working perfectly fine is, is yeah, irrelevant. Not doesn't really, doesn't do anything. All right, uh, let's see. Is this one still stealing everything? You just stop that. Stop that. Stop stealing it. Uh, a new subscriber. Elfwin, thank you for Still gifting us up. To Mirage. We are building an army. There. Yeah, okay. I don't have anything in my inventory because I'm ready to go. Is the output for the rocket constraint, how many is it able to stack up? The output for rocket constraint, and uh, no. But it it does take some time to actually build the rocket and like more beacons and stuff would help, but. Mm, if you look at them, they are working pretty efficiently, I'd say. So this one is just going through the animation, then it's going to come in. Then I got that one, moved up to the top, ready to launch. I mean, it's pretty busy. The flamers are out of oil. They were never in oil, so it's not like they are, they are any more out than they always have been. I just didn't have the oil to waste on this, so and I didn't need it. So we are using uranium to shoot the biters instead of also the, the oil. I started setting it up and I saw that it was just consuming way too much oil, so I just turned it off and now they're just there. In the assemblers, since it's keeping goblin resources. Uh, yeah, that's actually weird. Honestly, that is weird. Why is it actually crafting one more? It really shouldn't be crafting anymore. Like, there's one here, there's one there, these are stuck. Stop shoving things in there. Like, I don't get where the last one got placed. Why it keeps building. Hmm. I'm just taking that out. That one as well. Don't know where to put it so that it doesn't go back in there. Did they change how much oil the flamers take? No, but it's just, it's a massive pipe all the way around. And every time they would just, and there's no need for it, so. Wouldn't it be more effective to take your stuff with your characters into it rather than rocketing everything into space? Yes, that's why it's disabled. That's why it's not possible. Launch here, travel, oh, rocket not ready. 
Um, can't travel to space with items in inventory, try slots, or ammo slots. Only armor and guns are allowed. So. Oh, look at that. The LDS is actually starting to dry up a little bit. And the rocket fuel is also drying up. So we are definitely doing it. Not even ammo. Nope, not even ammo. This is why we have to do this. Otherwise, I would just jump, fill my own inventory and get up there. So, all right, it's filling up. One, two, and all of these. Not enough to fill a rocket. Oh, right, it's still. You know why? It's this stupid thing. Just kill that. Damn it. This concrete here. It, this one is also sucking up concrete. Something has <laughs> And there's a really good reason why we didn't have the concrete because, well, hmm. That one, that one. Go, 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 go. Even more aggressively aggressive. How fast is it making? It is making 2.5 per second, so it's 10, 5 per second between the two of them. What is this snake doing? What are you doing? Ah, charging. Hmm. Good that there are no construction bots coming in for this. There they are. Okay, so now this is three point a little bit more. Hmm. Yeah, three point eighty seven. So it's seven and a half. Eight may not not eight per second. So it's still gonna take a while before it, it fills up all of these things. And this one is still no. Okay, this one's idle. And it's also idle here. Good. And I had to disable my rocket silo because that was eating all of the concrete. Okay. So this is coming in. On the way, 800 and available on planet. Great. This one? Not enough to fill a rocket. How much can be in a rocket? Oh, I don't have room. Crap. Hmm. Oh, here's a little weird thing. Why did we get so much electronic circuits? That seems a little buggy, doesn't it? Oh, because it's sending, oh, it's sending the stack. It'll sending 2000. Because it can send 10 stacks of circuits. Ugh. There. Okay. So I don't have room for 700 more of these. That's going to be 7 stacks. This one. Really need this. Not enough to fill a rocket. Oh, I have 199 in, in, in available on planet and I need 200 to fill it up. Also, why is this one not dropping down? Hmm? Okay, now it did. Two hundred on the way. Problem is that I have. Oh yeah, yes, of course. I can hand send them. That's what you meant. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Much nicer. So. There. And they're coming. Yes. There we go. Apparently, that's something we need a lot of. Do you need chips on the first go? Kind of.
You idle? Oh, you're not just you're not idle. You are just you are out of resources. Do steal yourself. I don't think we're building an army. Not you. Uh, Kodos, no. Thank you for the prime. And let me see if there's actually room for it. I need six four stacks. Okay, I think this one has to be changed to six hundred. Not getting LDS sucks. One, two, three, four. Five, six, two stacks. And then I just take two stacks of LDS. If I can find it. How are you? Oh, no. By the way, that's not a cool sound. It's a pretty miserable sound. No, don't do that. I wanted to. <laughs> ah! That sound. Okay. Oh, perfect. Ah, this one. I do this. Oh, this one, Charles' base. Like that. Does that include my deconstruction planner? Uh, how do you put? LDS into rocket inventory and not the progress bar via insert of them. I just dragged it up there, put it up there. Do I really need to throw my upgrade planners out? Can that be stored here? Sure. This one I can probably live without. Okay, now. Aha, now I can travel to space. Let's have a look. Well, that's one hell of an inventory. <laughs> uh, let me check the most important thing. That one. The landing pad. Yeah. We'll save the progress. And it's actually perfectly timed with another break coming up. I don't even know how many hours I have. Can you bring your gun? Uh, gun, yes. Ammo, no. It was uh, actually the blueprint things was the problem. Let me see if I can. Not requesting zero, just requesting one. There, coming? Yeah. You probably need that gun. I don't know. Does it go? Oh yeah, gun of quality, that's a good point. Range? A little bit of range. Okay, interesting. Railgun, Tesla gun, shotgun, combat shotgun, rocket launcher gun, flamethrower gun, gun gun, pistol gun. Travel to space. 
not right now. We're going to be looking at this. There we go. And I will, I just say, took a save game. So I'll be taking a little bit of break and I will be back in two minutes. Oh, wow. Uh, views have somehow increased again. Hello, everyone. Wow. I'll be back in two minutes. We're back, and as uh, as was rightfully said, then uh, yeah, we do have a. If I'm gonna stay up for three more hours, then I'm gonna take a third Red Bull for tonight. I'm gonna regret this, but my plan for tomorrow is record a video. That's it. And what we're doing here is basically making the stuff that I'm gonna record a video about. Sleep? No. And then going. Uh, to a two-hour workshop and then not staying you know tuesday is always my date night and uh, it's cancelled because of this but i'm gonna go to a two-hour workshop and then have to leave at nine at seven o'clock so i can get back and start streaming at eight o'clock tomorrow sleep is for the yes you can sleep when you're old all right good night um my first time back in over two years. I haven't even touched Victoria since then. Awesome to see the stream doing so well. Now that I'm back watching, I'm going to have to give this game a go again. Oh, yes. Putting once a long time ago. Never tried any of the mods, new content. Can't wait to start the new game soon. Yes, I would. It's going to be awesome. A new subscriber arrives. It feels Monster, thank you for the prime. Welcome. And here, so we have now, we are going to travel to space, go to Volcanoes Express. Whee! We're going to space. I'm going to change the title. So, um, we can say. A new subscriber. Come, steal yourself. We are building an come. army. And Lukibo123, thank you for the Prime. It's 1 a.m. now. All right, so let's see. We are going to Volcanus. No condition, yes to unload. Automatic thrust. Shoot! Now you have to... There we go! It's amazing, it's awesome. And we are going here. We're, shoot We're going at really good speed. Really good speed. You always respawn now, yes. So far, so good. We're a third of the way. And now comes the asteroids. 
Shoot them! Shoot them! Kill them all! Kill them all! Let's see if the ammo in here is decreasing. 600, stable. Here, 114. That should just decrease to 50, to 75. Okay. And nothing else happens in the meantime. Ooh, it's getting crowded out there. I mean, we couldn't make do with a lot less ammo than this. What about gun turrets, by the way? Uh, what do they have in... Base health? Oh, also range. Oh, that's actually really good. I think we want to get that. Oh, have we arrived? Stopped at Volcanus. Nice. And damage taken? No. Sweet. So, now... Mm, how was it I landed? Oh, there we go. Land on planet. Volcanus. That's me! Whee! Travel to planet Volcanus. Well, here we are. There's coal, and there's lava, and there are cliffs. What is this? Oh, that's the... Um, don't go there. Oh, they changed it. They used to have this uh, demolisher thing. That is probably like, don't go there. That's demolisher territory. Hmm. We're going to be just exploring a little bit here. And they said, crank up the music when you get there. So remind me in 10 minutes to turn it down a little bit. Small demolisher. Let's keep away from that one. I just want to try to see what we have available. That's a small one, yes. Oh, and we have... No. Oh. Oh, by the way, uh, the cliffs are a lot less annoying. They used to be completely random in terms of sort of where they were generating. Now they sort of generate, I don't know, something that kind of makes topographical sense or geological sense to someone who is not a geologist, at least. Oh, well, hello. Goodbye. Oop, and we switch to night vision. Like, these plateaus are annoying. I don't know with the aggro range. Want to find out? Ah, it's fine. We have sulfuric geyser vents down here. Good. We just want to figure out what the area we have available, what it has for us, and how big it is. So we get a sense of, okay, this is our, these are our constraints. And it really is the demolishers that's going to be uh, boxing us in. Pretty clearly. Oh, there's another one. That is so cool. I love this one. I mean, it, yeah, uh, damn it. I, it's so cool. Because they are exactly what they should be. Ooh, look at that. That's my tungsten. I want that tungsten. So I need you to go away. Yeah, they are exactly what you'd expect. So you don't know anything about them, so they are dangerous, they're fearsome, and you don't know if you're... You don't know how dangerous they are, and so therefore they're more dangerous than they seem. Alright, so what do we have? We have some calcite. Not much. We have a lot of sulfuric acid. And we have... A dash of coal, like a big area. Oh, we have some tungsten up here, and not much, and a little bit of tungsten over here. And that's what we need. Uh, so this is going to be our area for build, I think. So let's build the... Let's go up. Yep. And then take that one.
there. Because it drops where you landed at the beginning, not where you are right now. <clears throat> this is going to be our center of our base. And that means now things will drop into this location. That one. That one. That one. Uh, this one. This one. This one. There we go. And that means now I can start deleting stuff. Yay! Tungsten carbide researched. Uh, entity, big volcanic rock. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Allow you to make tungsten carbide, a hard heat resistant ceramic, easily accessible tungsten ore can be found in some surface rocks on volcanoes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> a little bit. And then we can also make carbon from sulfuric acid and coal. So that's good. Let's see how, if we're actually getting some... Okay, we're getting some tungsten ore. Okay. Ah, oh, that's going to be draining our resource. Our and let's get a deconstruction planner and then mark it as trees and rocks only so they just keep going on this what oh that's projectile fine so i would love this to be a bigger grid like a 20 by 20 grid but we don't have the uncommon power lines yet oh look at that the drones are actually taking damage Right, we're gonna get a little bit of this. Ooh, I know what we're missing. Hmm. We're missing some... Did we actually bring those? I don't think so. No... Oh, that one. There you are. There we go. Let's also get some of this. We need that right now. Get a little bit of this one. We'll bring stuff down as we need it. That one. Chip, chip, chip. Get it. Get all of that stuff. And start making rubber ports, which are not going to do anything because we don't have any power. So let's set up some power somehow. Hard to tell the difference what is a. like on the map. Which one of these are stones and which ones are cliffs? Well, once we remove everything else, we can see that the stuff that didn't go anywhere is cliffs. Ooh. All right. Uh, they do heal. They, they, um, they usually, right? They do heal. It's from the burning things that they take damage. They don't take constant damage, they just kind of take damage sometimes. How do you generate electricity? Well, we brought some solar panels, so that's going to be my idea. That's actually pretty nice. Horizontal flip. Yeah. Let's do with this one again down here. Except not you. But yes.
power output. Okay, so we have power and it works. Great. Oh, man, like the music. Like it. And then we don't have any more. Let's get this one back to number three. So our base is slowly starting to come together here. Get our RoboPort coverage out. Yeah. And we probably should put some robots into this. Yeah. How many do we have active? I can have 50 active. So that one can also go in. Good. Then let's get some RoboPorts or some logistic stuff. Welcome home. Welcome home. Stormcrow. Thank you for the seven months. That one, that one, that one. Let's get a little lights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Things are working. This one's still shooting. Ah, uh, is it? Is it staying? Yeah, okay. I think it's healthy enough to stay up here when it's idling. All right, uh, this needs to... Get some of this. Uh, do we want to just build it next to it? Yes. Yeah, and trash unrequested. Maybe I actually just do this. Trained no. Nuclear no. Tiles sure. Beacon modules yes, and then I can trash unrequested. Poof. Gotta run. Oh, Linear J. Linear J. Thank you for joining. See you another time. I hope. This is good. We can keep the drones working. And then this part. That's now going inside this area with uh, that. Um, but I think this area is big enough that I'd, I'd rather want to force my own grid than I want to support the whatever, uh, the ideal mining grid, because I don't think that matters very much. So, uh, let's start building something. Let's do some of these stars that don't turn into swastikas. That's kind of important. More than a little important, actually. like I've never built this before. Input, input. No, that doesn't work. Input, input. Output, output, yes. Input, output, output. Yes. And then I will be taking... Yeah. Like that. This one. Like that. And. There. So I just need to get going on, on converting stuff here. Yeah? Uh, have you seen any possible way to softlock? Softlock, yes. 
But it's not... Oh, uh, let's make some of these. Uh, yes, it is possible to softlock, but it's not... Um, like, you land on a planet and you didn't bring anything. Then you can just mine stuff like this and you can get started. You can do that on all planets. Lancor, thank you for the prime. So it, it's not a really a... It is a soft lock, it's not a hard lock. Alright, let's start throwing more things down. Miners, we probably need that as well soon. That one, that one, that one. Ah, okay, let's... Modules are coming later, I guess. And they're coming in, filling up my inventory if if it's something I need. And I think I don't want to have trash unrequested because we're going to need to pick up stuff here. <clears throat> and now I also have some iron and that means we can make some of this. Good. XXRXTX, thank you for the tier 2 for 68 Welcome months. Home. And now that works. That should help on all of the repair requests. Oh, we should also get some radars in. Didn't I? I brought radars, didn't I? Yeah, maybe I just didn't pick them up from here yet. 20. There. All good. Ooh. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I was panicking because it's not on this planet. And uh, let's see. A new subscriber. Come X effect. X effect. Thank you for the prime. <laughs> Welcome. Right. So now let's let's try to figure out what it is we want to do. And uh, let's see. The stuff we want to do is here. Entity calcite. So when we get some calcite, we learn this recipe. Simple coal liquefaction. And then we get the foundry, Ooh, which means I need tungsten carbide. And let's see, how did we make the tungsten carbide? That was in an assembler. Okay. With sulfuric acid. Okay. We also brought pump jacks, right? What? Why no pump? Didn't we? There. And let's just take everything down. This one's for the rocket silo back, so we don't need to bring that down there yet. Oh, hold on. Um, this is important. Disable that. Otherwise, when we come back, it'll start requesting it immediately. That's no good. There. And more pipes, more pipes. Right, so let's see. We need to get some calcite, which we get down here. To me, that those territories are shown without any kind of scanning needed. Uh, yeah, I can understand that. Ooh, that's lucky. Tons of junk being picked up. How is this? Oh! Oh, right, because they copied that one. Uh, should have been here, but it's not. Oh, no, that's horrible. No! Can I go out there? Can I go out there? Can I go out there? Yes. So we retain the pattern. Once I get locked into a pattern like this, I am going to be completely useless. And there we go. Calcite thingy thingy is discovered. That's good. 
don't think it's one-off. Uh, I don't think it is. I think it's this one is one-off. Like if this one is working, then it would be fine. But everything else, there's no overlap on any anything else. It's because this one was one-off. Everything else is good, right? So I'm aware that this one's one-off. They just really don't want to be placing this. That's so odd. There we go. Oh, the music. It's good. I like it. Very epic. All right, so we got a little bit of calcite. Uh, let's see, what is it we want to do? We want to make some tungsten carbide, which is... I think we just want to make it like in a very small quantity. And we have... Something down here. So we get a pump jack. And yes, this is too small of a build, but I think I just want a little bit to unlock the foundry. And when we have unlocked the foundry, then everything's gonna be better. Good, so. And also, by the way, I need to make sure that we are propagating. The oh no, cliffs are in the way. It's awful. Right, tungsten carbide. That's a triangular thing. It's a fixite trigon. Get those in there. And the sulfuric acid is happy getting in there. Perfect. And then the only thing we're missing is the carbon, which I know we have. We have a little bit of it. Okay, maybe a little bit more than a little bit. Yeah, and there one. We got tungsten carbide. Ah. Oh. Wasn't that, that was useful for something, right? The funny is that this icon is, they changed this icon. The tungsten carbide has a now a triangle, but they forgot to change this icon because that was the icon it was before. Aside from space, how do you get carbon? Um, you get carbon from, yeah, space, or you can make it like this with coal plus sulfuric acid. So you can produce it here as well. We just want to see that what it is we want. We want to get to the foundry. Craft tungsten carbide. Oh, it's green. Ah, we got it. We got it. So let's make a oh, reinf oh lubricant. Oh. <laughs> is the mod going to be available on YouTube as well? Yes, but not immediately. Oh yeah, uh, Gleba is probably also with all the carbon thing. So it's. A I feel like the trees here should give carbon instead of what they do. So, how many hours of uh, steam, steam, stream? I guess. Um. Oh man, love the music. I know it might be a little bit too loud, but damn it, I like it. That one. It's going to be a zero. It's the first time we're on this planet, so let's enjoy the music and just let it be a little bit loud. There. And also tungsten carbide. Don't want that either. Or tungsten. There. Okay. Okay, that's not so loud. Thank you. Good. Um, right, so the foundry. Foundry needs... We got new items, but let's go over here. This is what we want. Why do we want this? Because it's insanely amazing. 
There we go. Easy. So we need to make ref refined concrete. We have the tungsten carbide. We got some electronic circuits. We could make more. Um, steel plates, we need to make a little bit of that. And then lubricant is the bigger one. So let's start with the other things. I am going to make a robo hub here for all the things that we want to do. One, two, three, four, five. I think I'm going to do it like this. In, out. Let's see. And how would that work? It could work up here, yes. This is just the small things we need uh, to build, which is way too many here. I want to craft that one. Laser weapons. Mm -hmm. Actually, this one, firearms, is still always going to be valuable because it makes the uh, attacks in space better. So let's keep working on this, even though it's 8,000. It's giving Aslan vibes. Mm. I don't know. It does sort of some bombastic feel to it. Copy paste. Let's just see what we got. Uh, the carbide is fine. The electronic circuits are fine. I'm going to just make this one into making electronic circuits for us. This one's going to make electronic circuits. Because then this one can make copper. Yeah. Copy paste. Mm hmm. Paste there. And here. Yeah. Very simple. Let's get just a little bit of that just going. Um, yes, then refined concrete is going to be annoying. Maybe we need to make the whole chain for concrete. Refined concrete is steel, iron sticks, and concrete, and water. Oh, that's really complicated, honestly. Huh. Okay. Um, but the concrete is also water, so we kind of need to have the one that's out here. So that means this is... This one's con is refined concrete. Then this one's going to be concrete. I know they can't be transferring immediately, but let's do that. That means we need stone bricks and we need iron ore. Oh no! Let's get some iron ore inbound. And we need to figure out how to do water as well. And this one. Uh, concrete. I mean, I do have concrete, but let's, uh, let's, yeah. And then you need the sticks. That means I'm going to build a thing. You two sticks. I feel, it feels like Lord of the Rings to me, this music. And we get the paste up here. Yes, no, and yes, that one. Okay. So let's also get another one of these out here, which will not be that, but let's get uh, ste uh, iron inbound. Good. And yeah, okay. I like that. Let's go out exploring or at least uh, harvesting a little bit more. We, this is how we get resources to begin with. Mortar factory. Yeah, I mean, if it gives mortar vibes, then I think that's fair enough.
No Angia. Um, okay, I think I also want to ditch this. And also sulfur. Don't want sulfur either. Don't know how we got it. Oh, it's probably from uh, these geysers here. These ones. Yeah, chimney vents. They're repairing. All good. Are we close to the edge? I have to keep an eye out for the big friendly worm. Oh, there it is, right? Don't know where it is, but it's probably somewhere. Couldn't you send your ship home to collect more stuff? Yes, I could. But I need to build up anything, something here anyway. Can you go say hi? Uh, I did go say hi, but I think it's moving away. Now it's gone. Oh well. So I don't know how it aggroes when, uh, I, I guess when I'm starting mining operations in its area, then it's, sh I think that's what makes it trigger. Don't know. I guess we find out. When you build in the area, yeah. I thought it was when you mine in the area, but not just build, but it doesn't matter. We'll find out and we'll, uh, we'll regret regret that afterwards so let's get this out here and then it's built so we can get a little bit more coverage out there good and now we're getting rid of all the stuff in our inventory As I said, uh, 30k hit points is like 10 biters. Seems like no biggie. That's true, but it heals like 24,000 per second. So that's the bigger issue. It's not the hit points. It's the fact that it it heals insane amounts. So. <laughs> I love that they commented on, uh, on the fact that they wanted to put them on Fulgora. And then when I look at Fulgora, then it makes so much more sense to have them there. But I go like, yeah. You can't have giant worms on a sand planet. Pfft. Too much of a cliche. Well, I don't think uranium ammo would because <laughs> the DPS is simply too low. I think they're more intimidating on this planet anyway. Yeah. Okay, we are working on this part. Uh, we need water and we need concrete and water, obviously. So let's work on concrete. No, water. Uh, how do we make water here? We get that from sulfur, I think. We get it from steam turns into water, okay? And calcite plus sulfuric acid turns into steam. Okay, let's look at ratios for this. This is on a five second cycle. So it takes 200 sulfuric acid and makes 2000 steam. Mm -hmm. And then let's have a look at over the other one, the one that condenses it. How are, how are you doing on condensing? It takes 1000, so I need two of these. Okay, and that gets us 180 water per second. Okay. And not much calcite. And so I need water up here and I need to have sulfur down here. Not ideal. 
I'm just going to make like its smallest of awful small hacks because I I need to sort of get a sense of what, how, where I want to build my base. Oh, there it is. Hello. That's a, oh, that's a small one. Psh, puny. Does not like to be disturbed. Mm-hmm. Oh, it also has laser resistance? Oh, really? I didn't even see that. Uh, oops. 100% fire and... Oh. But there's something about, like, the head is... Explosion damage is less. Poison damage. Poison damage. Mmm. But then the other segments have are different. Then one is a 99%. So you want to explode the face and poison the face and then physical the rest of the body. Is that what I'm seeing? Poison to offset? Yes. That's a small demolisher. Yes, yes, yes. I think we need to build a little bit of base. And... Alright, let's try to find out. Get more. This is nowhere near the territory, so no problems at all. Ah, I wish we could jump. If only there was like a suit of armor or something that would allow us to jump in this game. Why are we going up here? I don't know. Before these are get infested with the, with setups, then I'm just gonna copy it over here. Just I don't know why. <clears throat> this one. This is like the most disgustingly uh, inefficient build. Calcite and sulfuric acid. All right, so let's get some sulfuric acid turned down here. This one's just chugging along. What is it uh, missing? Oh, carbon. Yeah, because we don't produce carbon. making something and then making something else and then that can go over here and get in bout for this part and then we need to figure out what the next ingredient is there uh, maybe I should actually have a box for this Good. Are they happy? Yes, they're happy. They might even be more happy if I do this. You happy? Oh, it goes into my inventory. Well, that's not really intended, is it? So that gets us one more one item closer. <clears throat> the last item we need is the lubricant. And So we need to figure out how to make lubricant on this planet. Bio lubricant? No. It comes from heavy oil. Okay. Heavy oil. How do we make heavy oil? Coal liquefaction. But we also have a bad coal liquefaction, right? Simple coal liquefaction or good coal liquefaction? Steam and heavy oil. I 
I think this is just worse in every way. Just start with a better. Twenty-five sulfuric acid for happy oil. I mean, it's simple, but it's ten coal. This is also ten coal, but this one would then require us also set up processing for the light oil and the petroleum gas, which I don't really bother right with right now. So I think we'll do the calcite plus sulfuric acid, which we have already right there. Um, plus, then bring in some coal, and then it should be fine, right? <clears throat> here that means we need a processing plant here yep so I need coal we got the calcite done And then we just need that airbound and then this one honestly the only thing we really want it for is this one, this, this one which we'll get ah do i want do i even need it no good so this here Get a little bit here. It was more a little bit, but whatever. Right, so that should get us everything we need. And then, how many? to buy the spawner no no that's not what we want <laughs> not right now thank you though there 20 yes and by 20 i mean 50 they're amazing with a symbol it makes heavy oil so you would need to convert it still did i see that right um it, this is so much simpler. It just makes heavy oil while the other one makes heavy oil and light oil and petroleum. So I'd have to s sort of figure out what to do with the light oil and petroleum. I mean, make fuel, but this is also using calcite, which is, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Steam is cheaper because these two become steam and I just have steam over here. So I could just take the other one, but then I have to deal with the other things. But this is certainly generating enough, I hope. Uh, 10 lubricant per second. Don't think I'm going to need 10 lubricant per second here. Nope. No, 2 per second. So this one is working. Oh, actually. No. Is it? Isn't it like this one can also make itself? Yes, it can make... It can make itself. So that's the first thing we want to do. Like, stop, 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 stop. And then all of this just goes away. Because you're going to be making yourself. Oh. Hmm. So let's see what it can make. It can make big mining drills and make it make foundries. Sweet. And the other one was the big mining drills. Oh yes. Let's see what else it can do. can make belts and pipes and oh and underground pipes nice okay well i mean if we want to make that and we do then let's make it here because these ones have a built-in 50 percent productivity bonus 
which is insane. Productivity plus 50%. So anything we can build here, like belts, we will make belts on this planet. That's it. Um, because you get 50% productivity on belt creation. Good. Plus, on casting gears, casting steel, casting everything is also 50%. Mm -mm 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 -mm. This is like, it goes quickly then. And even low density, casting low density structures. Productivity on belts? Yes. It's good. Plus build in productivity on the gears as well. So you get gears making, oh man, it's just good. It's just good. So this is actually where we start. We start by making lava into uh, in molten iron, molten copper. And then we take that and make it into, or we can take this one, but that's kind of what we want to avoid. Um, then we take the molten iron into iron plates or molten copper into copper plates or molten iron or molten iron here. Yeah, yeah, like that's super amazing. Ooh, also molten and oh, okay. I did not even see that. Okay, stone bricks, but I can't make stone bricks, but I can make concrete. Okay, so definitely, but also only concrete, not the better concrete. Okay, no mind. Then uh, you're going to go away. Concrete. Ah, right. Yes, molten iron. It's a little bit out of reach right now, so never mind. You get to live a little bit more. Never mind. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, one cake. But it is nice to make it. Let's see what else. Is there anything else we want to make, like in small quantities? <sighs> that one. That one. We want to make this, but not right now. We want to research the next tier and then just go crazy with that. This is all something we're going to be building a proper build for soon. So let me see. Lava plus calcite gives us the molten, molten iron. I mean, I could do that just for this one, right? Or I could do yeah, like this. Oh, this one requires two things inbound. Water and... Hmm. Make more than cover, more than... Yeah. You know what, this calcite is really not a problem. Like, this is so low quantity, isn't it? Get a little bit of calcite in. Missing a little bit of lava inbound. And uh, where do we have the nearest lava? Hmm. Over there. Right now, what we're building is building all the infrastructure things so that we have production and yeah, we have the stuff we need when we need to scale up. I think this is going to end up being too big of a location or too big of a belt. A pipe, sorry. But I want to see it. And this is not inside there. The 
biter area there. Big biters. And we just take this water pump here, which doesn't care whether it's water or lava, it's just chugging along. Fine. Yeah. And then, oh, it doesn't uh, complain about too high. But you can see here, now this one is completely full. Easily. It's a little bit ridiculous how efficient this is. Copy, paste. This one. Go, 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 go. Oh, 1.2k, that's also a little bit much. Uh, let's actually just see if I can... I'm actually just going to do it this way. Go, 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 And there we go. And you? You got everything except the concrete. And now I can delete this. Get that out. Get that out. Get that out. Get that out. And it's working. And how much do we need? Just get a full stack. That's simple. How many beacons can you fit around these things? A lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. Because this is a 5x5. Five five. In the tube, 5x5. Five five. Have to say it. Alright. Yay. That's good. That's good. What are we missing? Oh, we don't have any substations. Oh no. we. I should have brought more substations. Huh. That's kind of sad. Hmm. Um. Let's make some substations. A little bit excessive quantities here. go right and this is why you bring a lot of robots because then it just makes everything else on the base like this so simple to get started i wonder if that's going to be a problem <clears throat> maybe connects right so now we are kind of still struggling with the capacity let's figure out what it is we want to um, how do we want how do we progress here tungsten ore plus molten iron and that gets us into the science pack which is carbide and tungsten plus molten copper Put in the, this one on a border, that's a good point. It's 220 and 90,000, so not much. But the mining drills are also going to be amazing for this. Oh, right, we're not actually making the mining drills. Let's actually go over and fix this so that we make the mining drills here. This one. Copy. Paste. Okay. Fix 
50. And you? Oh, this is molten iron. Has that one as well. Mm -hmm. So maybe we do it this. Hold on. Okay, so I'm just going to do this. Oops. And I hope I can get out. Yes, I can. And then... Okay. You're happy. <clears throat> there we go. And... Oh. It's getting harder to move around here. Copy paste. Oh, we do need normal mine drills. Okay. Uh, that means I actually need to craft mining drills over here. Copy paste. And have none of that. That's a little bit bad, isn't it? Oh, don't bring it into me. I don't want any of these anymore. Friendship with those are over. No more reds, no gears, or no electric, uh, and then tungsten carbide. Okay, we're kind of running out of everything now. Yeah. Cast gears and plates, yes. <clears throat> but I want to make it in a proper build. So instead of, so, hmm. And I guess we can build something up here. I guess my this was probably where everything got consumed. Yeah, two two ninety six. It's the iron and steel that disappeared. I want to build something proper. Five of these. That's not much. Hmm. New expansion in advance or need to wait? You need to wait. Hmm. Okay. Um let's uh think about what it would look like. And then I also have a break. Yes, let's do a break. Eight, yeah. So, I think that... <clears throat> I think that we're okay. Maybe we should send the ship home and then just uh, gear up with a lot of stuff that makes it easier for us to build. I think that chemical plants would be nice to have. Um, on the other hand, just let's just make the stuff here, right? Is there oil on this planet or make it from uh, or anything to make plastic? You make oil from sulfuric acid. So you need sulfuric acid to make oil, heavy oil and then you can use that. This is the process we have here, the coal liquefaction. So you have coal liquefaction as a method of making oil and then you work from there. All right, I'll be back in two minutes. See you in a bit.
I didn't quite fall asleep, not just yet. <clears throat> but I am... Mm, I think I'm, I'm not tired, but I'm getting a little bit exhausted. A little bit exhausted. We've been at it for... I don't know. Eight hours? No. Yes, eight hours. I started two hours early, and then we got two bonus hours, and there's still two more bonus hours left. Woo! <clears throat> Yeah, eight hours of streaming for an old dude like me is a lot. Okay, I think that the easiest thing for us to do, or best thing for us to do, is to send a ship back and bring stuff in here. So what do we think? What do we want to bring in? Um, there. Not this, certainly. I wish we could collapse it, but I, I think if we delete it, it still exists. Volcano's first landing, yes. So, what are we going to get? We might as well set it up now. Um, let's get some more solar panels and stuff, because that's still... We don't know how our power is going to be like, but that's probably good. There. Uh, let's also get... We don't have a lot of space, so that's going to be constrained in anyway. Then, that one is 200. <laughs> yes. Uh, what else? Maybe some more, more of these. And some more of the other ones. Why not? Why not? After all, why not? When you kill one of the worms, will it expand your... Will that expand... You're permanent, or will they respond? They, uh, you, you, you basically take their territory, which is amazing, super amazing feature they did. They did, uh, and I want four hundred. That's like one load. Easy power plant. Mm, yeah, that's that is an option. Okay, what else do we feel that we need here? What are we running out of? Oh, circuits. Yes, yes, yes. Definitely red circuits. Red circuits are annoying to make on this planet, so definitely make red circuits. They come in in stacks of 1,000, so let's get two stack, 2,000 of that. Green circuits, no, really a bother. Um, let's get some of this here. Do you have a vision of what you want to make on Volcanus in the end game, or have you not decided that yet? I don't know, but I think that I I know that I'm gonna make belts, and I think steel might be something that is so easy to make here that it's just no reason not to just ship it out uh, out other places. I don't think I'm gonna ship out iron and copper. But the majority we use iron for is going to be belts anyway, and then we may ship out belts, which is much higher compression. Mimin, Mimin Code, thank you for the two months. Welcome back. How much is one rocket stack of steel? It's uh, ten, um, four stacks. That's pretty good. Like 400 steel and four rocket. I think it's worth it. It is. Yeah, roboports. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Roboports are also shortage. Always. Let's get another 50 roboports. So this is starting to be a significant amount of stuff we're bringing in, right? Beacons? Mm, let's get a few more beacons. I don't know. I th we already have 40, but I don't know if we need it. Science labs? Nope, we don't make uh, science labs. If now it runs out of iron copper, you can ship it in, but then it's probably easy to just bring circuits from Fulgora. Exactly. So I think it like circuits, modules will be on Fulgora, uh, belts and steel, and maybe iron and copper, but I don't know. I would think that Gleba would need iron and copper shipped in instead of built on site. I think it's just way more efficient to build that. Chemical labs. Yes, chemical labs. We need quite a few of those, actually. Uh, let's get another 50 of those. Good. I think this is fine. Roll for stack to 20. Stack size 10. Rocket capacity 10. 
Better to ship calcite and foundries. That's okay. That's a good point. That's a good point. What? Actually, let, let's just look at the calcite. Five hundred. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that might actually be. Yeah, but you need lava as well. So calcite and foundries, and then what are you going to combine the calcite with? Lava on the other planets? You need more solar panels than accumulators. I don't know. I I think it almost re almost even is probably fine. I mean, just just for you, I'll make it two fifty. Final offer. Let's send it home. Um. I'm not sort of sure about this, so I'm, I prefer to just get it. So, how would I... All requests satisfied. Right? Then we do go there, all requests satisfied. No reason to bring this, to bring this back. So, all requests satisfied, and then go back to Volcanus. And then it'll get stuck on it could get stuck there. I just wanted to make sure that it gets stuck. Can you barrel the lava? No. So I think <clears throat> I think this might be working that it goes there. Oh uh actually I also need to Time passed. Yeah, thirty seconds. Because uh, I think I maybe it just didn't whatever. We'll try. There we go. And I'm going to follow it. Not that I need to, but it, it's still not so familiar that I'm confident about it. Ah, anything? Steel productivity? Carbide that requires... Oh, big mining drill. Nice. Oh, yeah. We... we the rock animation is actually mainly the this part that looks good. This is a really good ship. And there was someone who made a very intricate diagram on Discord. Thank you. 30 it it is end so it has to fulfill all these requests and 30 seconds. I just don't want it to get there and then trigger and go out. So let's see if um, how it works when it gets there. Thruster, uh, the oxidizer, they're actually almost out. This is perfectly timed. Nice. Okay, so let's see. These are coming in. And if it, it decides to go, then... It's just a problem. <clears throat> I want to ride on the Volcanoes Express. So let's see if something comes in. Like this is the first time we do any kind of automated transplanetary, interplanetary express. So there we go. Okay, so it is accruing here. It would be nice if I could play a sound when it leaves or send a notification <laughs> not or yes are uh, you limited to one platform or you can have multiple you can have as many platforms as you like i have two platforms right now one is the science blob that just makes uh, lots and lots of space science and is idling over our novice and then the volcanoes express which will eventually be bringing stuff back and forth we'll automate it at some point but not today. It's too late for me to do advanced automation. Sorry. <laughs> Let's check if any of these are complaining. Available on planet? 200? Three, <laughs> three stacks. Okay. And then let's go back to there. And... There we go. Do you have to manually send science down or is it requested on novice? It is requested here. It's pulling it down. And uh, later on when we 
have the next then we'll have a we'll have a dedicated science ship that just goes back and forth and drops off uh, goes pick up science drop off science pick up science drop off science and then when we had a third planet then it'll go pick up pick up drop off pick up pick up drop off and so on that's the intention at least because you can't make them uh, them sort of you can't do the same thing that you can do with trains where it pulls it in because there's no way of sending requests sending circuit connections between planets let's have the volcanoes express how is that one coming along long way off just making sure oh available on planet 32 that doesn't seem like much all right so um this is the bigger issue and we need more steel so i'm gonna go out and use this as an opportunity just to harvest stuff manually and let's be careful not to go into uh, worm territory I love this idea. Like this, it, it's so brilliant. This is what I've been requesting that they would do in um, in the normal game, where there would be like territories where there would be a queen biter and then you could go in and you would kill the queen and then you, this area territory would be safe. And I even explained it to uh, some of the developers. I think it was um, V something something. But, but, La Lasco? I don't know. I can't remember. The, the guy with the, the, the numbers. And he was like, oh, that's a good idea. And they were like, they have the tech for it now. So, yeah, that would have been a nice thing. Do you feel extra logical on this planet? Extra logical? They did it already. Look. What? Did what already? Add fuel as a weight. Oh, that's a great point. That's a really good point. Yes, yes, yes. Absolutely. This one. Also, um... Item count. Passenger not present, passenger present. Item count. I think it's item count, but... Cargo. This doesn't count as cargo, then. So that's not it. It has to be on a circuit, then. Than zero. No, this should be the value. This should be greater than, I don't know, 22,000. And right, like this. And then we need to make sure that these, this value goes uh, in here, read content. And send the contents of the circuit network to the platform so they can be used for weight conditions. Yes. Twenty-five thousand, twenty-three thousand. We are lacking everything. Uh, 
Okay, not not uh, not ammo, but everything else then. Fourteen, one, one. Mm -hmm. Well, it has been burning through here on stacking this one up, but now it should be stacking up here. This one is almost ready. Yeah, okay. You don't need fuel condition. You can craft fuel as fast in flight as on orbit. If you run out, we'll just stop and wait. See, but amount of time that you would wait uh, on orbit with condition. Uh, yes, but I'd much rather wait here where there are no meteors coming than uh, being stuck waiting in a meteor, uh, yeah, meteor shower and standing there and waiting for this to process. So I want to trans traverse the place the distance between the planets as fast as possible by having full power and therefore it's much better for me to have full thrusters because otherwise it stops and then it grinds to a halt and it's just slowly moving forward and it gets overwhelmed because the meteors keep coming But fuel producing is slower than what drives need. It takes more than 20k. Yeah, it basically they ended up being at, what was it, two, three thousand when they arrived, which is pretty good. So this one, all good. I mean, I can even go up here just to make, I don't want to say 25,000 because then it gets a little bit. Are you moving? Why are you moving? Oh, okay. I think there was just coincidence that it started just as I was looking at it. Let's keep a monitor on this one to see the thruster. So when seven five seven five, then we're halfway. We're halfway now, and it's we spent fifteen thousand. So it actually looks like we're spending more than twenty five thousand to get us there. But the speed is 252, so we're running at maximum speed. And then see if it decreases speed before it reaches the end, or if it reaches the end and... And... Empty. And stop the Vulcanus. Brilliant. Good. So at Vulcanus, we're also going to add these conditions here. Uh, I'm going to say passenger present not because I need it but because then I guarantee that it doesn't accidentally go when I'm uh, there. so allow it to unload this group mm, this group should have a name I don't know delivery to because then I can use this one to request it at the ground level Like, here's the thing, like, this is requesting, but it doesn't say if it's requesting from, oh, import from, import from Nauvis. There we go. So all these are import from Nauvis. That means they're not going to try to request them from, from uh, uh, Volcanos. Good. Let's set this up. And so all requests satisfied. I don't know what that actually means. We're definitely going to take like 30 seconds of waiting time always. And then the... Ah, any requests zero. What does that mean? So... I want to empty the inventory, but how do I know that the inventory is empty without sort of building a condition that is explicitly item count this thing? I think I just need to set it to 30 seconds because if this one, uh, let's see here, if I then say this section here, uh, something with volcanoes. 
What? What? Okay, it doesn't work. Delivery to volcanoes, that one. Then it starts requesting stuff inbound. I hope. Yes, indeed. But it's also going to get a little bit overcrowded. Oh no! Let's rush over there. I should actually have had. Um, oh yeah, see here's a here's some fun stuff. Get it out of there! Everything, get out of there! <laughs> Oh, that's weird. That's really not what I wanted. Yeah. Four hundred logistics, three hundred and fifty construction. Because I keep that some of them myself. There we go. We got rid of this. Not pretty, but uh, um, it's an option. And then in orbit, Volcanoes Express, then I'm gonna do that. So once it actually completes this, it'll just fly home. Oh, yeah, don't do that anymore. All requests satisfied, that means it's just gonna go back and forth. I just wanted to stop there. Passenger present is just something I'm putting in just... Yeah, I don't know. Or maybe we just park it over... I don't know. It, it, it's weird. I haven't really figured out how to control this so that it doesn't leave. Uh, quality is not required to be the expansion. You can just... Uh, well, you can actually disable it, but you can just not use it. I, I, you're not really using it right now. Yeah. And... I really like the music, yeah. Don't know if this is valid or reasonable. Right, so now I don't want any more of this. Oh yeah, the steel is not working. <clears throat> Why is steel not working? Mm. Okay, so let's start designing something, I think. Yeah. Okay, let's start from scratch and say, what is the first thing that we need? We need lava coming in. Lava's coming in and making molten iron. Let's do the iron stuff first. Good. That one, that means we need a calcite belt coming in as well. That means probably gonna have a belt that just runs by here. This is outputting 250 plus the productivity, I suppose. Yeah, so it's more. 93.7 per second. What an odd number. I think I want... <clears throat> I think I want these to be like continuously crafted and then we sort of have uh, branches out that make the various stuff. I think that makes sense. But we also need a belt outbound. 
3.75 of the concrete or the stone. All right, and then the rest is going to be. Let's get it a little bit further down because I think I want. to make it I really love this music I, I'm just I'm just being quiet so I can listen to music I love it it is so good should we drop in the lava? Uh, I don't know if you can drop it in the lava, but no, I'm going to use it for stuff. Concrete and stuff. Yeah, <laughs> this is so good. It is. Like this, there is like a sense of impending doom. That's the best description I get. It, and I love it. I love a sense of impending doom. Uh, I'm kind of thinking that maybe I want to mm, spread them out a little bit more. Like that. Then this one is middle, this one is here, so that means if I did this, it would be perfect pattern. Oh yes. Oops, I forgot this. I like. Then my idea is that I will have as much as I need here, so I can scale this up independently, and then out here I can have sort of uh, the next shrine. That's going to be a problematic one. <clears throat> this will then be uh, making it into stuff. So we'll have one that makes iron, another one that makes steel another one that makes gear another one that makes uh iron sticks and then we'll iron sticks really really uh load on structure later on that one later on but i think i want iron and steel right now primarily steel so let's start by getting steel ready 30 iron okay let's see how much are you consuming you're consuming 37.5 It has to be like this, and then the belt outbound. Yeah, it's just so simple. I mean, I keep sort of thinking, like, what am I missing? No, nothing. You're not missing anything. It's it. It is just that good. Don't need this many connections. But I don't know which one I don't want then. So let's start by just putting it into some boxes here. Just Yep. Are there locals? Yes, there are locals. I'll show you some of the locals. There we go. That's a local thingy. Eh, it's not nice. Oh, look, it's attractive. <laughs> Long locals, yes. And they don't like us building in their territory. So there's one here. There's another one there. So, 
And they're protecting our tungsten. All right, let's get some calcite in on this. I know it's going to be a long and annoying belt. That doesn't really matter. Oh, uh, I need to see if I got one of these done. No. Really? There we go. Make some big mining drills. And look at the progress bar on the bonus production. Yummy. Da -da -da, we got the tungsten. Tungsten steel. Sweet. And we got a big mining drill. Let's get more of these. I think that most of it has sort of stranded down here. I can't remember what I was building. It's a carbide, right? Oh, that, that disappeared. Ah, right. I don't have any uh, carbon. Okay, so we need to make carbon as well. So I haven't really figured out if I'm going to make a robot base. I'm going to make a bus base. But I honestly think that it's going to be a little bit difficult to make anything uh, before we get cliff explosives. Then we're just going to make a nice small base here. So this is getting down here. Oh, okay. Calcite, sweet. And then so that it's following the new line, which is nicer. Until I realized that this is a bad idea. Yep, there we go. I realized it now. It is an incredible spaghetti base I'm making here, but uh, you know, first time around, and uh, we'll we'll figure out why they what we're gonna do differently. Like, look at that, they are just stealing the steel. And this part, I am just gonna put into a box, right? Steel chest. So I don't think I need this one for much anymore. How are we doing power-wise? Uh, that's a mystery, honestly. I guess we expand the power. Let's expand it. Mm, I can't even expand it down here. Where do I want to expand it? I wanted to expand it down here because it's a kind of useless area, but now I've just filled it up with junk. Well, I mean, I filled it up with junk, so that's kind of... Let's, let's be honest about that. Then. Oh no, don't, don't. Okay, never mind. Uh, this sulfur, sulfur acid is... Maybe I can get it down here. So I'll also just go away with that. Go away with this. Go away here. Barely passing. And here. It's going to be interesting to figure out how to take care of the worms. 
because we at some point we're going to be trying something and let's see if that works right so now i can copy this part yep not a moment too soon Power poles are done except for this one. So I can accept to build one. And I got stuck in here. Nice. Ah! Help me! Alright, that helps a little bit with our power, right? What about now? Certainly spiking. So I really need this one to keep going. And it's the tungsten carbide. <laughs> well, that's a problem because that's something we can't really get. And we really need to go out and figure out how to get the tungsten. Oh, right. They're actually working on this. Uh, yeah, tungsten is the issue. So we can keep harvesting this, or we can go out and sneak in and take some of this and just hope the worm doesn't care. Obviously it will, but... Trying to see if we can get something going. Kind of. We can get at least that one going. And then. S s Can't seem to connect the whole area here. Oh no. Oh yes, like that. How are we going to do this? I don't know. Yeah. And that would be here, but that's not happening. So that one and that one and that one and somewhere out there. And then let's get a radar. Still outside the area ish. Maybe these two are inside that area. And this is the part that can't be connected with anything. Damn. See, this is why we need some higher value ones. Uh, let's actually have a look at Navis here. We got 23 good ones. Hmm. Those would be nice to bring. Landfill doesn't work. You, uh, The landfill we need is... Um, yeah. Late, 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 late game. So late game that it's... The game is then done by then. Alright. I wanted to discover this area. So the problem is that if I go in here and start mining this and it comes in and crashes through my base, then I go like, well, that sucked. But I don't know if we can sort of go in and mine and just bring it out, rush out and bring it out. I don't know. Uh, they're not triggered by pollution. There's no pollution on this uh, planet. They are triggered by tremors. 
So when you build inside the area, then they'll... This is kind of what I've been told. They will react to it and then come come, come at you. Um, but maybe you can sort of time it so that when it's far away, then you can mine it. And then when it gets there, like basically with like sandworms and dune, that you can sort of get something and go out. Sounds like a problem for a railroad. Why does it? Really? Pull some uranium and then see if we cast explode spell. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure that uh, works. If you walk without wounds, will you not attract the worm? That's correct. What do you make a hundred turrets with red ammo? I don't think it makes it. it I don't think it kills them. Uh, because it, it heals 24,000 hit points per second. So that's kind of a lot of hit points that I need to deal. That's At least that's the big worms, I think. Um, maybe we actually can look in Factoriopedia. Uh, can we see a worm on the map? There. There. Massive territorial... Uh, oh, 2,400 per second. So how, how, much, how much damage do we do? Fifteen. So 2,400 per second. I mean, and also the part about the 100% impact resistance, that also kind of makes a difference. So, like, 100% resistance is something. And if I check this, it says physical. Good. Small demolisher, big demolisher. Yeah, 24,000 for the big demolisher. And 300,000. That's a that, that's a nasty, nasty one. Um yeah, poison is interesting. I mean, bug it. Let's tr let's figure out what options we have. Do we what what do we have poison slowdown capsule? Poison capsule? Creates one poison cloud. Damage 8. <laughs> I don't think that's going to make it. But I don't know. Maybe it also just prevents regeneration. And that would make it. Um, I think we need to make a strategy. Like Railgun, obviously. But we don't have that. Um, we don't have any particularly good ammo. Like explosive rockets. Like they do a little bit of damage. But I don't think they deal enough. And even this. It would have to shoot like 30 of them before it munches on me, and I don't think that's a thing. Um, capture butt rocket? Butt rocket. No, not a butt rocket. Shut up. Spiritron is not there. Do you have uranium? We have tons of uranium ammo, like as much as we want. So, this is the base damage, right? Or is this 24 plus, this is not, is this before or after our our attack? Let's, uh, let's actually figure that out by um, making some normal ammo rounds. I, I wanna try it because it's fun, right? This seems to work, that's nice. And we also need to find more stuff. Because it will make a huge difference if we could remove that. Okay, so let's just harvest everything that we have inside of our area so that we can get some tungsten carbides and stuff like that. We have basically cleaned it out. I wonder if that happens if I send my drones out. It's probably fine. Uh, let's get a little bit of that, a little bit of iron. Uh, 
The iron just has a tendency to disappear pretty quickly because it goes over to the steel. So let's actually just stop doing that. Because we probably need the iron here. Okay. Let's make... Just make a little bit of normal ammo. Uh, did that disappear? Oh no, it's down here. Is the plus 8%, is that from our... Does it deal 5 and then the 8 is our dam extra damage? Is that the research bonus? Okay. Okay. Um, what about turrets? Maybe... Like, I feel that maybe the answer is that I'll place a million turrets... And then with ammo. And then I'll be having some rockets and shooting. It could also be like bringing a tank over. Because the tank is pretty neat. And especially with uranium shells. And we can only bring 25 uranium explosive uranium shells. That seems so sexy. Is it more damage? Piercing power, a lot. What is, whatever piercing power means, that's probably passing through. Damage is 2k plus 10k, 10k physical? You kidding me? That's a lot of damage. I think we want to go home and do this. Oh, I can't. I can't go home because I I don't have a one of these fellas here. There we go. Whoop. And Modus Pones, thank you for the four months. Wow. Don't know what that sound is for. Uh yeah. Let's uh, try to bring those in. Uh, first things first, that one. It doesn't need to be fast. And this is... 100 of those. Uh, LDS, 100. And then... 100. Oh, good. Why do we not have processing units? Are they being put into this one? Yes, they are. Don't do that. Let's take this out. Yes, please. Now, plus 50% speed. As I remember, when you looked at Worm, it said 15% 15% plus 5 defense. If you hit it with yellow, minus 5, 1 damage per shot. Plus 5, okay, let's have a look at it again. Don't think this is a good idea, but I think it's a, a fun idea. And that's that counts for something. There's a Worm. Ah, uh, but it's not in radar. Hmm. So, currently don't have any worms available. It would also be nice if we could... Okay, so this looks like this territory is here. So, we really should be seeing it somewhere. And this is the one we really want to kill because then we can get this territory. When they die, you respawn now is right? I don't know. I think so. <laughs> Just added some plutonium rod nuclear energy plant to my satisfactory room. That was a task. Yes, it is. Um, 
There we go. So we can actually go back. I do we want to go back? Oh, as soon as we get here, it actually starts flying back. I think uh I don't actually need to go back. I could do everything from from here. It's just a little bit more difficult. So, let's see. Um like we have enough here and we have we have the rockets here so we can send off the rockets and we could where is this one oh this is artillery shells yeah not really happening that one explosive cannon shell um, is explosive the best one? Uranium is 2k plus 10k, or here it's a lot less. I think it's uranium cannon shells, not uranium explosive cannon shells that we want to make. Yellow rockets do more direct damage. It's the same here with that one. 50 plus adds nothing. 200 plus 150, yeah. Yeah, explosive is for AoE, and this is not about the AoE, except if you can hit multiple places. Plus, there's also the part that they were immune to... Ex no, explosive works, and piercing did not work. There we go. Hello, little one. Steam rolling through it. Electric, 20 out of 20. Explosion, 60%. Physical, 50. And then if we look at the other segments, then it says 550. I don't know what 550 means compared to 50%. Is that means that it subtracts 50, 5%, 5 first? Yeah, only 10% poison, yes. But I, I don't know. Poison does deal, doesn't deal. Yes, but which one is first? It makes a big difference whether it's minus 5 divided by 2 or if it's divided by 2 minus 5. It, it's twice as good, one against the other. Um, that Poison, yes, but I don't know if poison will deal you any damage. Right, so what is it we want to do? Uh, let's kill that group, then let's... Uh, oh, that's not it. This one. Volcanoes Express. I am not going to do that. Then it's uh, to kill a worm. Maybe. What do we want to get? Lots of stuff. We want some cannon shells. Stack wise, it's only 25. How many do we want? 200 that's eight rockets who cares um and that one this is also 25 so 400 that's not much it's an investment 600 then i think actually the first thing i need to do is i need to start trying to get some better rockets or the better turrets with more range. That one. Come on, get in here. From there. And then we hope that it'll proc, proc some of these quality ingredients. Probably won't, but it might. Back to here. We're we saying more. Okay, we'll go one thousand. 
That is for 40 rockets. Ouch. Then we need some turrets. Preferably good turrets. Uh, preferably like that. But I don't think I can do that. I know I can't. So let's just do the other one, the normal ones. And then I need some rockets for me. That's this one. These are also heavy. Yeah. It's just, I'm not going to live long enough to get more than 200 off. And what else? Oh yeah, let's also get some poison capsules. Don't think they work, but whatever. There. And then of course I'm not making them, so let's uh, find a way to make those. I'm not making any of it. Um, poison capsules. Let's actually just make it up here. This one, poison capsules. How are none of these in logistics network? That doesn't make any sense. Or maybe it's because it's a ghost. With how they move, adding slow might help. I don't know if slow will work. This makes no sense. Do we really not? I mean, I know we have steel in our network. Oh yeah, can I send a tank with a rocket? That's true. That's what we wanted to do. I wanted to actually drive in a tank. But not just any tank. It actually has to be the good one. Yes. They don't want to plan it. Really? Okay, now they're coming in. Okay. Uh, logistics. Tank. That's a problem because we're going to get the wrong one. How the hell do I find the right the right one? I'm no longer crafting tanks. This one was the one that was crafting tanks previously. Um, yeah, that sucks. So I have to have to request four tanks. Okay. And then what else? So the idea is that I run the drive in a tank, shoot these, but I'm not going to use the rockets. So who cares? Then I can still throw capsules and then I, I have a lot of this. Landmines? People say landmines are good. Are they? They're actually okay, I think. Rocket capacity 100. Sure, let's get a few of those. Sure. Let's uh, build that as well. Don't know if that's in inventory. Hmm. Uh, let's see. I think this also just needs to be a little bit faster. Ok, 
Got it. And this one will then be enabled. And then I want... Paste and then this is yeah. Don't forget to take a break. All right, we need to take a break and then we'll try to get this one off uh, in the next hour. In the final hour, I think it's just a fun little challenge to do. Not sure that it's correct in any way, but it's a fun challenge. All right, we are going to take a break and then we'll be back for the last 55 minutes of the stream. And then remember, I'm also streaming tomorrow night. Let's see if we're probably not going to be a 10 hour tomorrow night. Anyway, be back in two minutes. Right, if we want to get the prediction to actually get somewhere, then I have to uh, focus on getting somewhere here. So we get a tank, we get that, we get... Um, probably need a little bit of rocket fuel, by the way. So I'm actually going to send some rocket fuel as well up here. This one is... Or maybe nuclear fuel. Do I have to have that? Um, maybe? I think we build it down here. Oh yes, we do. Nice. And these are just chucking along as, as usual. Oh, I don't understand how I get 1k of that over here. I actually don't get... Oh, right! Oh no! Oh, well that needs to be fixed. This used to be uh, filter inserters, and they're not anymore. So this is supposed to recycle some of it and then get that in, but now it's sending everything out here. Yeah, okay, that sucks. Hmm. Yep. All right, let's send the Volcanoes Express home to... Um... Let's get send you back to Novus. And we're just going to enjoy this. All right. Let's say that this is a great ship. I think this is a great ship. It has pretty good inventory. Not like, amazing, but pretty good inventory. And it's a decent size. It runs at pretty fast. Less fast this way, though. And it can get the, diff the distances between the planets quite efficiently. So that's also nice. And this is the time I'd want to watch. Ah, yeah, sorry, Anonymous, but... Yeah, I don't think that I could sustain a streaming schedule at this time. A little bit difficult if I had the kids. So, next week, it, I'm really happy this... Like, for me, it fits really well that this is the start day, and not the start day is a day where I have to bring the kids to school early in the morning. Two fifty-two, and look at the th uh, thrust. The storage tank is not empty, and we have now arrived with two thousand left in storage. Great! And to kill a worm, maybe. 
T the four tanks are the first things. Uh, planet, planet, yes. Available on planet, yes. Available on planet. Oh, wow, they were quick. Available on planet, yes. Available on planet, yes. And not enough on planet. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that needs to be crafted like instantly. And by instantly, I mean whenever. These things, isn't that the same I need for that one? That's a normal cannon shell. Why? Why? Oh, this one is still outbound. Okay. So that would be the cannon shells. And then I need to make it. I think actually I need to make it something like this. What would be the uranium? Oh, man. I don't even know how to do this. I need to build a hack for this. Or I need to replace all of this. I'm never going to use this. I don't know if we're going to use artillery. Maybe sort of leave this here. Because that could actually be useful. Maybe keep this. And then try to figure out what are the ingredients we need for this one. It's just uranium. So it's basically just what we have now plus uranium. So one, two, three, four, five. What is the crafting time? Eight seconds. And the uranium one is how fast? 12 seconds. So we need a little bit more of this. And this will just need basically this one, which will filter. The cannon shells in. comes out here and then this belt is junk right now so I need to remove that belt come on remove the last bits okay then I'm just gonna stamp it down So what I'd really want is this uranium. Ugh, spaghetti awfulness. I really want it to go in and merge right here. just doing this ah silly but that will get us get us there and that is then input input up, output output and then input input output output and then this one will just go into a box that and 
Maybe? Sure. It does something. If tradition isn't up to snuff, I vote for tra tra Trainsaw. <laughs> yeah, um, I think that also is is something that it, it kind of makes sense to actually be able to do that. Why is this one not working? Ah, uh, because it still has like junk on this belt. Okay, this is producing pretty quickly. Uh, let's see, where's the Volcanoes Express? You are still stopped at Narvus and you're still waiting for things to come in. Not available. Uh, it's working on all of these uranium ammo. Oh, that's going to be so many rockets. In the meantime, let's see if we've actually created some good... Ooh, five. <laughs> five. Yeah, uh, impact immunity, yep. That's uh, Fighters, that one. Impact, 100%. So, explosions and physical. And I think that... This is explosion damage, yes. And this is physical damage. So those are the two things. And this one is also physical but also explosion. I don't know. So physical explosion is is the name of the game. Plus poison, poison capsules should be doing maybe something. Who knows? Who knows? It's gonna be exciting. As exciting as things can get at this time. Right, twenty five each. That's crazy. Oh yeah, explosion damage. Uh, strong explosives, landmines, and rockets. Sure, but. It's actually this one, that one, and that one. This is the most valuable one, but it's eight thousand. While this one is five hundred, so we can we can probably take this a couple of times. Eight thousand, six hundred. Okay, whoa, six hundred now, and then you can't get it any further. It doesn't heal. Uh, that's also what I thought, but it doesn't actually heal that much. Uh, let's see. See, the big one here is 24,000 per second. That's a little bit much. But the, the small one is only 2,400 per second. So, you know, that might actually work. Especially if we look at it on here. This one deals 10k damage physical. So even if it's only half, then, you know, it's it adds up. That should be 5k damage per hit. Which means if I can hit more than once every two seconds, it goes down. And then plus whatever else is there. So that's uh, that's my my intention, my idea about this. Ah, uh, this is taking forever with this <laughs> uranium fuel. This uh, the good news is that the uranium shells are built on time. This one's built on time. This one's built on time. This one's built on time. And it's really the uranium cells that here that it's taking forever. Let's look at Navis and just go up here. Is it? Oh, actually, this is not sending it inbound. Also another one. There we go. Okay, so they were not set to request. So we were only firing four rockets where we should be firing six rockets. Silly me. Yeah, the railgun is a little bit out of reach. A little bit out of reach. And this is now waiting for the uranium round to get in. Ah, uh, buffer chest up here would have been nice. Should have done that because then... Is it too late to do that? Uh, 
Expert driving skills. Nothing could go wrong. Exactly, Sujin. Exactly. So there are five planets, four additional planets, and this space. Uh, well, now there's plus four, plus the space, which is kind of another layer. Has different design categories and stuff. So we get 500 in here. Once we get those 500 in, it'll be easier to ship it over to the other ones, I think. Do they take from buffer chests first? What does quality do for a chest? Nothing. Just a little bit of hit points. Unfortunately, no, no, um, no extra storage or anything. Six hundred and twenty-five. Okay, so it doesn't really matter that much on with this one anymore. Maybe three hundred instead. It'd still be nice if some I could. Oh, there they are. They're still coming in to pick it up. Uh, hold on. This one should not be infinite. Oh, it's not infinite. Okay. This one also should not be infinite. It's not infinite. Perfect. All right. So let's see if anything is going to be picked up from this location now for the, these ones. Probably not because they're already scheduled. Yeah, they're already getting that inbound. Yeah. So they're just idling while waiting. Strong explosives. Yay. Yep, 25 mag uh, magazines per rocket. Yes, that is Kovarex who nerfed it when uh, he saw that everyone was uh, was just, instead of creating... Uh, you're supposed to be creating ammo and using that ammo up here. But everyone was just like, ah, whatever, just put, put uranium ammo. I was like, no, you're not supposed to do that. I'm going to nerf it. All right. <laughs> so, more rockets, more rockets. That's a huge nerf. Yes, it is. What do you mean, what more rockets? Uh, I mean, rocket silos? No. Where are we at? 700, 725. And on the way, there's a lot of stuff on the way. So uh, the rest of it is on the way. That means we can now start seeing this one. Yay! Being brought in. Now with Science Platform is a little platform that I built. That is just chugging along, grabbing stuff from the surrounding, making it, making science, science packs, and uh, until they have ten thousand here. Really? I'm not. Oh yeah, it's actually hovering around ten thousand. Nice. So making ten thousand signs and then just dropping it down to to the ground. But for cannon shells, doesn't matter. It's already en route to uh, to sleep. if it's already here, then it's already coming in. On this one, just 75 more. And then we can get started on some of the other things. This will be two train, two truck, two loads, right? Seventy-five on the way. Oh, that's also twenty-five. Oh man. Yeah, I should have buffered it before, but it whatever. Yep. It is what it is now too late to change it I mean if I if I change it to buffer up here these are still in route so it's not gonna change those anyway okay so that's the last of the ammo so now we get to the next big one which will also be eight more rockets so it's gonna be eight more rockets of this there we go we've now completed all that so eight more rockets and then we can start on the next one Ah, huh, funny on the way 100 this is close by as well. Oh, and I got this. So one of these is a good... This is a good one. The other ones are junk. Should I then remove this? And put these back? There. We keep you. Hmm. <clears throat> 
you got 75. Keep a spare one. No, it doesn't matter because they're not good enough. Uh, this one has uh, le two extra legs because tanks need extra legs. This works, then you will probably need more for the next worm. Maybe. But I, if it doesn't work, we get a sense of if it's like almost working or if it's like that even close. This is not going to work. Uh, we have to come up with something else. I mean, it's it's just getting a sense of it in in, in terms of what is what is going to work. So 400 on the way, 52 on the way. 52 is weird. Oh, that's because it hasn't picked up, the, so it's going to be 50. So everything is now being sent here. Good. Rest is coming. There we go. We're starting to get that one. Landmines inbound. 50. Now that's coming in. Just 25 more. And then we can finally get it. I'm going to take that one. So now when this is satisfied, it'll just go immediately. Optimistic on one tank. I mean, the tank is a special tank, so it can run away faster. And I'm I'm an expert driver, so you know, you know, what is there to worry about? I mean, this has four additional legs or two additional legs, I guess. So it's a really, it can run faster than any other tank because, well, it has legs. And that's it. We are now shipping it back to uh, Volcanus, which will have this one condition. Enjoying this. It's Cliffs and Tank is going to be a bad time. Fun time. Especially at 3.30 a.m., then, I mean, I'm sure that's going to be a perfect time. Uh, yeah, I don't want this one. And Michael J. Caboose, thank you for your subscription. Uh, that must be encouragement for all that we're doing here. So I need a tungsten plate, and then we can actually research this. This is not actually that far away. And once we have that... Cliff explosives. 500. That's going to be the whole purpose tomorrow is going to be cliff explosives. And then let's see, then tungsten belts, speed module 3, rail support foundation, oil ocean on. Oh, wow. Oh, right. That's only there. And then low density structure productivity. Isn't that cool that we also have that? Liquefaction. Hey, it's just Babo. Thank you. And we're done? No, we're not done. Oh, I was looking at science, so it stopped. Ah, oh, okay, never mind. I was thinking I could just look at science while it was moving. I cannot. One hour and ten minutes. Uh, yeah. Until we get this one. That's an expensive one. It, oh, don't. Oh, wow. That Don't do that. I'm not going to waste that yet. I'll resume. Oh, this is the next one. 11 is the... Okay, so 8,000 I can do. 12,000 is a little bit much. Looking at this. We're going to arrive with stuff... With still remaining thrusters. We're running at maximum speed. This is such a good spaceship. This is ridiculously good. I'm so happy we spent extra time on, uh, on designing this. And we have arrived... And it's not going to go anywhere. And so let's go here. Remove that. Add section. This one is two killer worm. Maybe. That one. And then it requested inbound. Ooh, exciting stuff. <sighs> I don't even know how to, to get us going with this. Uh... So, 
The problem is that I kind of need to drag it away from this area because I can't really kite at all with all this crap here. Like I can kite in a straight line back, but that's it. Maybe even, maybe not even. Do not forget the tank. Oh yeah, that's true. The tank is actually still up there. How long is that gonna last? Not long. Oh, didn't we actually request... Oh, we did request a little bit of this. Oink. Can't imagine that I've been more than 100. Yeah, I can also do that one. Why not? Ah, okay. I'm gonna take a save now, just because I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, so we have that and that and that and that. Yes, I'm gonna put this into my. Uh, actually, let's uh, let's get a new one here. That will be throwing these and. I don't know what else I need. Uh, turrets, yes. And then is ammo. Yeah? So smooth. So smooth. Yeah. Okay, but look at that. It didn't even break. I don't think I want that in here. Or that one. I am not in the territory. So, so my idea is that I'm going to be turning it. I'm going to be backing up there. So now we're kind of on the border. Then let's see where it is. It isn't. Why is it gone? That's not a good sign. I thought we... Uh, yeah, it's just fog of war. So where do we want to build stuff? Like, I think I want to do like a long sequence of turrets so that they it, actually it should be every turret at once, right? Where's the music? Is it disturbed? I I don't want to disturb it yet. Oh, landmines. Is it coming? I don't know. Where is it? No idea. There you go, that's it. Mm, can I make more? I'm so panicking. Uh, oops. Ah, oh, crap. Ah, okay. <laughs> I 
Ah, crap. <laughs> Let's kill some more. And then... Oh, look at that. It actually... Oh, this is so amazing. What an absolutely amazing feature. Like, the fact that it just clearly indicates... Yes, this territory is safe. I think it was my driving that actually made the biggest difference here. What is this? Oh, it's made of uh, of tungsten ore. Hmm, juicy. I think I want to kill one more. Mm. One, of the, one of them broke. There we go. The landmine is, is damaged? Like, um... Don't, don't pick it up then. Look at that. I shot four times with my, uh, my, my thing here. So, all good. Perfect driving. Perfect driving as always. There we go. So, I want to take... I want to take somewhere where we can actually get some build area. Like, this is the one that takes build area. Gives build area. But this one gives us some more tungsten. So, I think I want to try to get this up here. So, how about we build it? This is not in its area, which is perfect. Mm -hmm. And then I need to make sure that I do not point at it. Because then bad stuff happens. And then I can do this part. Which will be inside the area now. I don't see it, so that's good. The fact that we don't get a warning is... What the hell? Oh crap, wrong way. Some some level of panic has, is ensuing. Good, and now we take our trusty tank and go in there. It was really nice that there was this warning, that trigger, but now I didn't get the trigger, so now I don't know if it's triggered or not, and if so, when, where. Come on. Yeah, kitty, kitty, kitty. Well, you'll know. Uh, oh, I see it, I see it, I see it. No, I don't see it. That one, I see it there. Trees, stupid, stupid everything. Yeah, let's waste my drones on on this. Mm. Let's put that here so I can run it over. Looks like it's up there, right? There's something there. Oh, I forgot my uh, the, the poison capsules. Come on. Am I not building on it? Ah, oh, there was a uh, safe game. Ah, <laughs> just good thing we don't panic for no reason. Ah, I don't know if we build enough on this one. Let's 
Build some more. Beacon. What is that? Is it there? Is it not there? Okay, I see this one. Maybe we should just have taken that one instead. I don't see it. Go to the second one and the first one shows up. <laughs> I know, this is this is, would be typical me. Uh, machine with power? Yeah, I don't know why. I mean, the, the previous one was just these ones. So I think that you're right. Let's do something that actually triggers it with power. Maybe that will do something. Oh, it's coming. Oh, it's coming. It's coming right here. Come on. Where are you? Look at me shooting. Nothing happens really, but okay. Come on. Okay, that's incredibly easy to kill with uranium bullets. That is very, very easy. So maybe we over prepared a little bit, but that's better. Better than under than under preparing. Okay, they could have been a little bit tougher, but I think that these the small ones they are We also have a lot of upgrades and we're using uranium ammo, so that's something. Can't submit one. I'm actually going to kill that one here right now. Ow, 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 ow. Don't do that. Oh, that's a big shockwave. Is that, is that still a medium? Oh, don't, don't. Oh, look at that. It, I don't know what that is. There we go. Got it. Yummy. Lots of goodies here. Tungsten ore. Yay. And this one just deleted. Don't need this anymore. New territory unlocked. Yes, indeed. We've got... Pretty good territories. This is so cool. This is unbelievably cool. Like, sure, they could be a little bit more menacing, but um, but the idea of just unlocking terrain, like areas, unlocking areas, so cool. It's so much more rewarding than just killing the same biters again and again. Like this idea of just okay, I want that. I want this tungsten mine. Yes, or I want this area down here, or just building stuff right when we get when we get um cliff explosives then we can actually start using the space properly and then this area is probably a good place to build because there's there's nothing nothing here this is a good area for building good between the lava here it's a good area Ooh, candidate thank you for the eight months this is amazing well that was great uh like, this doesn't really allow us for much more, but at least we can do tungsten now. And the funny thing is you can't... Well, it, it, funny and also logical. Something that I didn't think about, and then I was annoyed about it, and then I was thinking about it again, and then I was like, oh yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, so um, let's make it underground. A kind they are not connected, because you can't underground under lava. Hey, Safrahash, the better thing to do would be ride the worm and use it as a transport. Yes. 
Uh, they will not retake the sectors. This is uh, this is a one-time thing. So you kill them, and then this is my territory. This is why it disappears. And it's not like the other ones will expand in there or anything like that. It's it's just. They just need to buff the HP so the fight let takes a bit longer. Yeah. Uh, maybe. But it's also like a ridiculous amount of damage we do here. So. I'm I'm going to be testing my fate and see if I can go out and take out one without uh, any support. Conk. <clears throat> Because so one. That's probably just a not not updated map. It's a bad idea to run in 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 all these. Mm, I need to get over here to to be able to see. Such a bad idea. Oh, it's right, right there, that one. So they're actually docile until I build in their territory. How? I'm also achieve internal travel with my own intelligence lift. To not to leave the main world. Maybe. Or you can get the save game that I already used, and that will be... Uh, Getting you nice and easily into space. Well, bump. Okay. So that's no longer here. It was just when there was a random scan that covered it. Don't want to do that. I don't want to do any of this. This is a... I don't know if it's a bigger area. But it's... It's an area. Lure men by a substation. Mm. I don't have any... Thing that can power. I don't think this is going to be enough to... I, I would imagine that's not enough. I, uh, I I think this is the best way to spend the rest of the day, the last 10 minutes. Instead of trying to set up new production lines. There's still a certain amount of panic here. <laughs> like I I'm a little bit on edge. I don't think this is enough to to trigger. You'll have been looking and looking. See if you can find a big one. Nope, not now. Suddenly need a And I also think that it's nice. Like Basically, you go out there and fight it in the beginning and then realize, oops, but I knew that it was dangerous, so I had overprepared, and then it turned out to be easy. However, that um, the next ones are probably going to be way bigger. Okay, that's kind of in a different territory. I mean, they're still roaming in here, so... Should still be some here, somewhere in here. I'm actually only on the border. It could be all the way up here. It's kind of roaming on the edge of its territory. Yeah, build more buildings. I think it might be like powered buildings and stuff. Just 
looking. I have to look once in a while to see. That's certainly going to be triggering. Maybe also a little bit of waste of RoboPorts. Same damn thing again. Yes? No? You should be aggroing now. Got the radar over here. There we go. Big minefield. <laughs> mm. Come on. I'm freaking out. Isn't it triggered by vibrations? It's it's triggered by... Uh, buildings. Apparently, well, at least it said so when I just built a, a, a military building in here. Then it did trigger it before. But even if it's like far away, then it's still moving slowly. And we did see it suddenly sort of coming, um, beelining towards us. I'm thinking it's over here. I really wish there was like a, a Nidus worm call where it went like, and like, okay, then you know it's incoming. Especially that exact sound. Hmm. Come on. Maybe it's just not home. Maybe it heard the rumors about some worm slayer. Okay, or maybe it's just clever enough to go like, I'm not going to do anything because he's going to get bored and then he's going to get over eager and then he's going to do something stupid and then I'll strike. Yep, that's very likely. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. There he is. There it is. Ah, panic, panic. Or maybe don't take that then. I'm going to bump into this one and kill myself. Um, small demolisher. Good. Oh, that's a thing. Okay, that did not take very long to kill it. Oh, what, what? What happened? What the hell? What the? What? Weird. Sparkly. Cool. It works. Sweet. That was... Okay, right, so that's, let's just say we kind of know how to deal with these, the small ones yet, uh, by now. Cool, and we got a lot of nice tungsten for free, plus, oops, we liberated some, 
some tungsten ore as well there and we also got some calcite we got some nice space down here we can take this one out if we want to and just to hit 10 hours yes it did hit 10 hours that's crazy been a while since i've been streaming for 10 hours and yeah so now what we're going to do tomorrow is actually more factory building here let's build something big and beautiful what that means is we're going to be building something up here in a smaller scale that will be taking care of getting the space science or the volcano science once we have that once we have cliff explosives we're just going to go blow up everything here and then we have a nice big space here for a little bit more structured base and then we're going to set that up under cliff explosives that's definitely what we want the potential for cliff clearing using the monsters is real yeah but a little bit too dangerous i don't know if they i i mean you're on this planet so why not why not just um research it as the first thing and then build it move on and be happy then we're going to be shipping cliff explosives back to Nauvis in bulk so that we can clear everything there Ooh. all right well thank you everyone for joining we hit some records here i think that's also i don't know if that's a record but it's uh, it's, it, it's a significant amount of subs today and uh, it's also been a significant amount of hours and uh, yeah in case you wanted to get started on so i'm gonna make a new video tomorrow uh i don't know what it's gonna be about it could either be making a spaceship or it could be looking a little bit into quality but it's really difficult to get anything done with quality without getting uh, recyclers or it could be like uh these are the new cool thing 20 new cool things and number 17 will shock you like that kind of thing right will you be streaming later this week i'm gonna be streaming tuesday at 8 p.m central european time and wednesday not thursday and friday but then again saturday and sunday so a lot and then all of next week as well and uh, next week as well until dyson sphere comes out in with something in the new year so oh, it's already tuesday oh yes so i need to get a few hours of sleep and then up and record an episode for tomorrow and then uh, start streaming again tomorrow night at 8 p.m central european time thank you very much for watching thank you for your subscriptions your hype trains your uh, orderly behavior in chat good night take care stay effective